the heck is all this about oh my god look at all these screens what am I supposed to do with two screens that's more than I need that's more than I asked for funky layout is right it's a nightmare trying to get a layout to work with this many screens and things hi more screens you got it touch the bottom screen go ahead touch it I'll touch it you can't tell I did Hi, welcome. Yeah, you got slices, you got dices. It slices, it dices. It can scramble eggs. What can't it do? It's everything. Panic. It's fine. We can go back to this one if you want. But then I have to. Um, there you go. Listen, listen. I thought of almost. I, I. I was gonna say I thought of every situation. That's not true. There's definitely gonna be some stuff that comes up. But um, yeah. I, I got, I got. We, we can do it like this. We can we can do it like like uh like this. Wait, there we can do that. And then also if I go back to this and then do that and then do this, we can enhance on just the bottom screen because for some reason in Professor Lane the Curious Village, the cutscenes are only on the bottom screen and the top screen is black. So I figured we could use that as well. So that we have lots of options for Oh god, what is this DS game doing? Because in testing, I've learned that every DS game just does its own random stuff constantly. So I'm just gonna be juggling a million things and a million cables. But we're done, thank you. Bookable layout just in case, even like side by side. I don't think that comes up. If it does, then I'll just jankily do it live. <laughs> I, I thought about it, I was just like, mm. I can only think of like two games that do that. So don't chew on the corners. You can chew on the corners. <laughs> I can't stop you. I have to embrace it. Why, chat? You got lots of room for activities, chat. Spread out and have some have some enjoyment. Um, a cool graphic design challenge. It is a graphic design challenge, Joshua. I was talking to some friends about it. It's it's a it's a issue of priorities because you have like a finite number of things you need to lay down and lay out, and what takes precedence. Like I wanted to have the the top screen take priority. Also, it's wide because this is a capture. Technically, it's a 2DS, but it's a 3DS. Here, I can press a button, and then it'll... Oh, well, it... Thanks for the $10. That's fine. I said Thank you. for the $10. And there's a million things I can buy with 10 bucks. Thank you. Like, uh, some lettuce. Going wide. Look how wide he is, Senator. That was the hammy button on the DS. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, wide cam. Yeah, I could have just made it square, but look, you can... I don't know. It's just kind of a mess. But, um, listen. I needed something so I can try to start doing DS and 3DS and see how it goes. By all means, criticism welcome. If you're like, hey, I don't like how wide chat is. Too bad. Because <laughs> it's it's like either, like, if I make this screen bigger to make this side smaller, then, like, now I'm running out of room over there for, like, this wall of text of newest subscriber and follower and, and tips and stuff. And it's just like, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, honestly, I'm down for Sans Returns. Um, I own a lot of DS and 3DS games. There's a bunch in the office that Gerard owns. Um, actually, I think a lot of my old games are floating around. Because I have a lot of empty boxes on the shelf in my own. Anyway, uh, uh, thank you. It's my first laying game. No, I, I've played all of them, asterisk. I haven't played the Layton X Phoenix Wright one. But I've played like the five or six main Layton games on the DS and 3DS. Can I physically show it? Oh yeah, sure. It's a wiry mess. It's like it's like I'm handling a bomb. It's like just um, first of all, shoutouts to um, big thank you to Jake Doodle who sent me this 2DS. Just just sent it to me. Didn't ask for nothing. So Jake Doodle, if you're watching this, or you're watching the VOD or whatever. Thank you. This is your fault. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I have an audio cable coming out, the USB cable for the capture, and then a power. Coming out, which I probably I think it's full. Look at that, beautiful. Um, I had a hell of a time uh, getting this thing working and set up, but it's 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 happening, and the fact that it's seems to be working is good. I'm excited. Do you like it? How's like how does it feel? Um, 
You know, uh, uh, leave it to me to look a gift horse in the mouth. I'm not a big fan of the 2DS. I've never held one before until Jake very kindly, through the warmth of their soul, sent me this beautiful device. And I'm just sitting here like, it is a little bit awkward. <laughs> but listen, it works. It gets the job done. Mostly, I'm really used to, because I had the regular 3DS, and then I got a 3DS XL. Not New 3DS XL. Thank you! Noise pollution is not Thank a you. big deal. They are wrong. For this setup, absolutely. Just blood That's from the your eardrums Thank is you for not the train. what I'd call fun. Sheesh. Put your fingers in your ears. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, we're talking about soul warmth up in here. Appreciate Heed it. Not the God damn it. Who scream. Noise pollution right, is Tom? not a big Big deal, right. they are Feeling wrong. It. Blood from your eardrums is not no. what I'd call fun. Put your fingers in your ears. <laughs> this is a little loud in here. Big pog bones. Don't say pog bones, Kim. Also, hi. Just talking about how I could want to get to shit three gonna be for me. Yeah, absolutely. Appreciate it. Also, uh, uh, cousin Dan Jones helped me figure out this overlay. Because I was complaining like a month ago. I was like, I, I don't know how I'm going to set it up. It's a mess. And he roughed out a, a sketch of how he thought the layout could work. And this is relatively close. There's a couple things rearranged from what he wanted. No, what he wanted, from what he recommended. Because Dan's great. Pogbones. Pogliacci. Thank you. Yeah, shouts to Dan. Shouts to Jake Doodle. Shouts to you. Shouts to Chat. Um, the gotcha look on these games, right? Yeah. Thank you. Um, what is this? Well, Chompy. What the. What the fuck is Pogbones? Twitch global emote. What the fuck is this? <laughs> How long has Pogbones been? What? <laughs> is it? Is it? Is it? Uh, is it me meant to be Clanker from Banjo? What is this? Also, chat. Why are we saying nice job, Viz, on the Power Wash VOD? I don't remember, and I don't remember either. It's pretty Pogbones. I'm glad that Jabase did is still here. But Poro sad. What is that? I didn't watch the Ratchet and Clank run on GDQ. I apparently do. I listen. I I didn't even stream them on Tuesday because I got was it Tuesday? Wait, what day? Is it? Say Thursday. <laughs> I don't know what it is? No, today's Tuesday. <laughs> Sunday, which was the first day of GDQ. This goes to show you how I've just been watching GDQ. I was just like, I was like, I need to get ready to go go to the office to stream. And then I sat down on the couch. Bath was watching GDQ, and it was a Donkey Kong Country race. And I was like. I'm not streaming. Sure. <laughs> it was about three seconds of thought. I felt guilty for how quickly I went from, all right, I gotta get ready to stream. I don't know what I'm streaming, but I, I got some ideas. And then I just sat down and was like, wait, it was a really good race. It's gold twin, I love it. What is that? Hungry Paimon? She's edible, right? Isn't that a thing? Highly recommend the DKC2 race. There was some great stuff on the first day. GDQ's a great time. I'm enjoying it. Kill chair, thanks for the raid. My pog bones have pog steoporosis. Oh, God. Um, a League of Legends fish bones name of Jinx's rocket launcher. Oh. So me sitting here being like, did they really make a Banjo-Kazooie reference in 2022? And it's like, no, it's League of Legends. That makes sense. I'll just pretend. My head canon now is that it's, it's a, 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 a Clanker's Cavern. Um, anyway, hi. Hello. We're going to get into Professor Layton um, in a minute. But Mr. Woke has a Katen. Yeah. I'm gonna do it before Gam. Uh, there you go. Done. Nice. Get into him. We're gonna get inside of Professor Layton. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at, th look at that. Would you look at this? And that's a cat. Well, thank you, Killer Chair. Not doing anything. Heck, you said Pogbones wasn't Pogbones. I don't, I, I don't know what Pogbones is. No, oh, God. Thank you for the hype trading mode, chat. I appreciate it. I don't know what this is. I got like a- Wait, is this a cool dolphin? What the fuck? Wait, is that a reference to- I- What are you- Why? Thank you. <laughs> is that a reference to cool frog and dolphin? Or is it just a random cool dolphin? It might be. Um. Okay. It's working, Jake! Shoutouts to you. This has happened. This has happened. Everyone say thank you, Jake. Or don't. You can do whatever you want. I'm gonna get caught up alert so we can play the goddamn DS game. How's that sound? How's that sound? It's gonna be a time. Um, oh, oh, speaking of uh, how cute chat is, someone asked if I could tally up from last stream how many chat is cutes were spammed. 
because there were a lot. There were 48 total over the course of that stream. Normally there's like, I want to say like five to 10 per stream or so. Yeah, we could do better. <laughs> we could. I mean, when chat's cute, right? You got to acknowledge it. Uh, and also in between streams, Spunky, Spunky streams, we subbed for 46 months with the tier two. Oh my God, going world record pace. Those are rookie numbers. Look at that go. <laughs> Vod watchers. It, it, it is, there's nothing but chat is cute. Uh, spooky. Thank you, Spooky, for resubbing. She said something about wanting to check the list of permitted phrases. And then resubbed while she was here. Thank you. Um, and also, right before I started, Screaming Flamingo. Thanks for six months. Enjoy your golden key. James Chimney, 21 months. This sub anniversary reminds me of a puzzle. Winter Rose, thanks for 49 months. No comment, but thank you very much. Is that a GDQ reference or just... Thank you. <laughs> Sub La 14, thanks for 11 months. Happy you're playing Professor Lane. Thank you. Also same. What are we at now? I mean, I could I could, I could, pull it up. Um, it's it's going. Um, Rio the Necromonster, 29 months. I think I got the C19, so I'm stuck inside, but I get to kill time with Stardew and you guys. Rhea, I hope you're okay. And I hope if you do have a, a sickness that you have a very mild one and you bounce back really quick. Um... Chat, chat. We're already over a hundred. Chat is cute. They don't even. They don't. Even, it says a hundred plus. It doesn't go beyond a hundred. I have to like redeem them in batches of fifty to find out. So <laughs> we're good. World record. New record. Lupin doing with three months. Do, do shooby dooby do wop do wop. Celebrating three months with the Katamari Bop. Enjoy your silver key. Thank you. It's two cans of soda. Capture the DS. I hope you do catch and release. Always. I'm gonna throw it back into the river. I'm done. Tell me, Bumblebee, thanks for a year and a half. Second Twitch, baby. Yo, I think I'll name this one Potato. Enjoy your very mild, very mild, the Chris got the key. Gam, 49 months. And it's here, too. Pogfester Late. Un. No. No, what's your name here? I'm sorry to hear it, Rhea. I mean, listen, I mean, that, that's just kind of how it is right now. Uh, but it, I'm, at least you are vaccinated, so it is going to be hopefully much less of a thing. Don't wet the DS. You can make a little damp. How good a puzzle am I? Bad. Wet the DS just a little bit. I didn't catch it live, Sargoto, but I caught it. Um, I caught the VOD. Nuts. They, they're, they're uh, at GDQ. If anyone doesn't know, GDQ is uh, games done quick. They have two. Oh, Universal Fireworks redeemed the hydrate. Thank you. A poll is chat cute? Yes, no. Professor Layton's hat, maybe. Thank you, Bouncy. The D and DS stands for damp. Damp screens. Um, uh, games Done Quick is a speedrunning marathon. They play games fast and raise money for charity. They do two main events every year. There's Awesome Games Done Quick in January and Summer Games Done Quick in June. I think it's June, maybe July, whatever it is. Um, and uh, normally it's an in-person event. It's been online for the past few years for obvious reasons. And um, AGDQ just started a couple days ago. It runs a whole week, 24-7. So no matter where you are on the planet, you can catch a little bit of it live if you have internet. Um, around your B-Day. Get a, get a cheesed burger. Past tense. It was previously cheesed. Seen a bit once, though. Wonder what's gonna win the poll. Uh, what comes after that, Metroid Man? Professor Lane's hat is in the lead. <laughs> no, God, no. I don't wanna, I don't wanna deal with that. Um. Uh, be, be a jerk. Okay, all right, all right. There, there's there's like a chaotic energy going on today, and this is a game about solving puzzles real slow. So we need to calm down. Um, but uh, uh, what was it saying? Oh, GDQ. Yeah. So there there was a um, they do a bunch of weird games and weird categories and stuff. And on Sunday, there was a guy who did the first chunk of Metal Gear Solid 2 blindfolded, which was dope. And speaking of Metal Gear Solid, the final game of the event Saturday night is Metal Gear Solid 1. Um, so, hey, I just streamed that last month, so if you watch the VODs or the streams, we're all caught up and ready to watch it explode. Nice. Which I'm really excited for. I always love watching a speedrun, like, right after I finished it, and I'm like, oh, I can actually respect how insane this is. It's Saturday Night Live, exactly. Every day's live. Sorry for not being cute, how dare you, Blue. Can you please upload MGC was just for the day? I will... I'll try to remember, <laughs> but yes, I will do my best. You might have to poke me on Friday if I inevitably forget. Stutter J, thanks for nine months. Enjoy your Ruby key. Charmaine Kano, 21 months. Integral, 16 months. 
This being a new era of DS game streams. It might, if today goes well. But yeah, toss them in that recommendation form. DS and 3DS games. Um, definitely down to, to do more stuff. Yeah, right there. Thanks, Cam. They're doing Sekiro Blindfold the whole game? Nice. Phantom Hourglass soon, TM. Mario Party 7 download play. Mm. This series is great. I love Professor Lane. Uh, Sephora T, thanks for 16 months. Still watching the Roman stream. I'm a go, but get ready because it's almost my birthday. Happy early birthday, Sephora T. It's a ghost party. 31 months. Thank you. Turquoise Sun, comfy Layton stream. Yay. Thank you for the bits. Pentamant, 11 bits. But... Adam Five Numbers, thanks for 100 bits. Hype Train, theatrical 8 bit, a hammy. But when will we read a story about baseball? <laughs> baseball, Professor. I want a story about baseball, Professor. Those cartoons are embedded in my brain. <laughs> Thank you, 8 bit. Ugh. That Venny video, Bleaty on the thumbnail is hilarious, Barry. Thank you. I was relying off Google Translate and some, some guest, guesstimations. I was like, I, I, I assumed, I was like, if this is wrong, some Latin, I was going to say speaker, you know, some Latin knower would correct me in the VOD comments and I would just fix it, but memory unlocked. Never played Elaine. Well, we're going to, hopefully you'll understand very quickly why I adore this series. It, I, I, we'll, we'll get to it. Uh, Dynamic Type, thanks for the 100 bits. Yay for DS games. Swervo27, five months. Thanks for being you, Barry. By the way, I pronounce my name like the tequila. Stay awesome. I think you've told me that before. Cuervo. And I, I appreciate the, just keep poking me till I get it right. Thank you. And thank you for your patience with me. Toaster Posey, 15 months. I'm afraid of layout change. Seriously, these 15 months have been great. I'm glad to be here. Chat, you're looking especially cute today. That's a nice shirt. I agree. Starlight Supernova, thank you for the hammy. Have a hammy for one of my no-joke fave games in series of all time. Lost slash unwound future best game. It, it's it's a good time. Yeah. The true fact about my shoes. How'd you know? How'd you know? Classic Professor Lane. Right? I never... The, the later... The 3DS games are fun, but I just miss the 2D art. The 3D just doesn't quite do it for me. Um... You pronounce my name Pogbones, right. <laughs> Aerog, thank you for the hammy. Hype. Appreciate it. Turquoise Sun. Chat is cute. Thank you for bits. Toast the toasters with three years. Enjoy your Oki. I appreciate it. Gamer Deal, I'm 100 bits. Mighty Q, 20 months. How Here to share my resub. Say I love you all. And thank you for being wonderful. That is all. Back to VODs for me. Hope you enjoyed the VODs. Thank you, Mighty Q. Killer Chair with a raid in 39 months. I was power washing, and now I'm here also. Subbery do hoonty hoo. Thank you, Killer Chair. Hope you had a good wowsh. Sargoda with $14.99. I don't understand it. Look at this. No, you. I'm looking at it respectfully and confusedly. Oogly boogly moogly. 23 months. Nearly two years. Ooh, woo. Brandosaurus Rex. Two years. A house key is yours. Thank you. Triumphant Obtuse. 19 months. Did you know that Chad is cute? I did. I did. But it can't be, it can't be overstated. Sargoda, thank you for gifting a sub to Calviberry. Swift, ent Swift Entropy. Thank you for 29 months. Hi, Barry. It's been a while since I've been able to join a stream. I'm happy to keep supporting you because I can. P.S. Used to be Swift Soldier. Thank you for the update. Thank you for the resub. Thank you for the kind words. Appreciate it. T-Dragon, thanks for gifting us up to a lizard, lizard birth for their ninth month. That lizard birth has been born. That's... That's beautiful. It's a beautiful sight. Look at that egg. Alpacosis, thanks for eight months. That's almost a babby. LJ Rideholm, 21 months. Kurt, only chaos. Thank you for the bits. Starlight Supernova. Thanks for 69 bits. Thunk and Thonk need to stay forever. Please and thanks. Um, I certainly can throw them up on a BTTV once they're no longer needed. I just, I, I really like the idea of doing a, a Layton as Bar Thunk. So I did, and I immediately was like, look at his dumb little face. I love it. And I was in, in a call with some friends last night as I was working on it. And I was like, I don't have an idea for Luke. I feel like if I have Layton, I need to have Luke. And I don't remember whose idea it was. Uh, you squished them. Should've squished them. Thinking really hard. <laughs> With the thinking. <laughs> that's great. Um, I don't remember whose idea it was, but that's, uh, someone in the call was like, just have Luke also be thinking. And it was just like, oh, pop, they're fine. Thank you, I'm glad. And I just really like, I mean, it's, as an emote, it's incredibly redundant to have two of the same emotes, but I just really like the tiny Luke just also having no thoughts next to Layton trying to have a thought. 
That makes me happy. Um, they kind of have gungle faces. I don't know how to think. Never did. Uh, Jeffero, thanks for subbing. Welcome to the house. Enjoy the emotes. Enjoy your uh, crayon drawing of a key. It works as well as a real key. Don't worry about it. Ah, Flax, thank you for 47 months. Hell yeah, Layton. Oh no, we lost Luke. He's fine. He just got turned to stone. It's a puzzle. He'll be fine. Thank you. Ah, Flax. And Palfro fell out with 39 months. And the months keep passing. They don't stop passing. We're old, man. Thank you, everyone. I really appreciate it. That was a lot of stuff. And you know, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I hope you're ready for some Professor Layton. So, I love this series. I think I played all or most of them. Haven't played Curious Village since it came out. So, you know, 2007 was only a couple years ago, right? So it wasn't wasn't that long ago that I played this. So, it's fine, right? Um, he'll just walk it off. Yeah, he'll be okay. He just gotta solve a puzzle. This, real quick, is indeed a cat. Sleeping on top of a computer. Who needs uh, air in their computers when you could have cat? Instead. 2007 was 78 years ago. Oh. No, that's a dog. Gotcha. Play the vibe you first made. Really strange thing. Oh, the, the original funk. She put hair in it. Mm-hmm. Plays DS and left the game when I didn't touch for like a year and stayed on that whole time. Wow. That's impressive. Hurts good. Yeah! Nice! Oh. So, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have ourselves a laden. I'm actually gonna switch over to this view. Um, because, as, as I said before, the cutscenes are on the bottom screen, so I'm just gonna enhance the bottom screen. And I'm just gonna have to juggle these multiple different views. Uh, and we're gonna do it. We're gonna have a Layton as a treat. Pokemon! Think, think, think. It's for 14 months. Appreciate it. So! Not yet. The three Bs of the trench coat. I was about to start. Not yet. Uh, there's more subs coming in. Thank you! Random question, did you ever finish Echoes of the Eye? And if so, what'd you think of it? I did finish it. It scared the pants off of me, and it was delightful. And then once I finished it, I consumed a ton of content about Outer Wilds. Um, if you're interested in Outer Wilds and you don't care about spoilers, I already finished it. The Unity YouTube channel, like the engine, the game engine Unity, did a long form interview thing with two of the artists uh, from Outer Wilds. And they actually have the Unity projects open. They're like flying around showing how they made things. The, there is a spoiler point where they're like, after this point is Echoes of the Eye, but it was... It's like two hours of just like, num, 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 num. oh, how did they make that? Oh, that's so cool. There's so many cool little insights and stuff if you're a fan of Outer Wilds. Really recommend it. Um, and also there was a, uh, no clip did a uh, documentary about the making of Outer Wilds. And they recently did a podcast. It's not a video, it's just audio only interview talking about Echoes of the Eye. So I consumed all of that. I was like, oh, give me. So good. I love it. Um, yeah, the fact that they make it, and, and it's like, even if you think about Outer Wilds and you're like, oh man, this seems like a complicated game. Once they get into the specifics of like, yeah, so because all the, all the planets are spheres, most stuff designed for game engines is based off flat terrain. All the weird tricky hacks that make certain effects work don't work if you just wrap it around a sphere. So they had to rewrite a lot of their own stuff just to make it work. And then they get into really fucky stuff of like, on one of the planets, on several of the planets, their paths that go down, but they're like, in order to feel flat on your feet, they're angled. It's like, it showed like, they showed this little um, spiral walk path that goes like down, not even crazy far, but the entire thing is tilted because the gravity is changing as you're getting closer to the center of the planet, and then it's a sphere. It's just like, I don't know. Anyway, I can't explain it. it it's better as a visual, but it's incredibly powerful. That's a weirdly shaped the hole to be filled with Disco Elysium. Nice, though. I need to get back to Disco. Anyway, um... Joe Sketchy, thanks for 30 months into Tier 2. Whoa, the big 3-0. Here's the 30 more with this wonderful, cute community. Enjoy your outhouse key. Thank you so much. Ran, can we not acknowledge the absolute absurd battery life of the 3DS? I haven't plugged in my 3DS in over 6 years, and the battery's still 80% charged? Holy crap. I should dig out my old new 3DS. See what kind of... Heck! So kind of battery still has. Appreciate it. Plofay up thanks for 26 months. Greetings, live watchers. I'm a visitor from the Vodlands to tell Barry and y'all that you're excellent. I'm subscribed as many months as I am years old, too. That's pretty neat. Thank you very much, Plofay Upman. I think you're pretty neat. Ichan, thanks for a year and a half. New key, what does it open? Well, it's very mildly cursed, so I think it opens up your soul? Or your dreams. One of the two. Maybe a random, random door. Thank you. 
Uh, ba, 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 ba. Sargoda, thank you for the five gifted subs. To Sir Backstein, Backstein, Pyro Salamander, Cosmic Blunder, Goose 1083, and Strident Song. That is very kind of you to do. And without further ado, how about a Leighton? Let's do it. I hope for the the for whenever I play DS games, I hope you enjoy looking at the top of my head as I stare down at this tiny little thing. Uh, let's go. Um, how about my name is um Pogbones? That's my name, right? Sonic. No. Pogfester Layton. No, wait. No, no, wait, what? Prum Prumgles. Pogbones with a Z? <laughs> no, I'm just gonna go Pogbones. That's fine. That's me! To my dear friend Pogbones. Mm. The things we saw that day in the village became a secret we would have to keep from everyone for the rest of our lives. Mm -hmm. Because, you see... Oh, wait. Let me enhance. Oh my god, look at that compressed video! It's gorgeous. I love this so much. You can taste the pixels. You've been invited to smash, my boy. Oh, wait. There you I go. don't understand, Professor. Why are we going to help solve an inheritance dispute? Um... Eh. Look, my boy. Do you really think I would take on such an ordinary request as that? I- I filled out every single, um, Smash survey asking for Professor Layton. Partially as a joke and partially because I just adore this man. Um... You really think I'd take an ordinary request? Ordinary request! This is the first game, by the way. So... Don't worry about it. Oh, no. This is an altogether unique and exciting situation. And it has piqued my intellectual curiosity. Leisha, don't murder Luke. He's a small boy. He's having his first thought. Let him be. But I suppose it would be best to explain the case before we arrive at our destination. Mm-hmm. Two months ago, Baron Augustus Reinhold passed away. Oh, no. Shortly after his death, his will was disclosed. The contents of it were fascinating, to say the least. The Reinhold family treasure, the golden apple, is hidden somewhere within this village. Mm -hmm. To whomever successfully locates this treasure, I offer the whole of my estate. Mm -hmm. They put him in a chocolate bar. Those who attended the reading of the will immediately set out in search of the golden apple. <laughs> but in the end, Everybody came back empty-handed. It turns out that no one had even heard of such a treasure existing, until it's mentioned in the will. Mm hmm Wow, that's some puzzle, all right. Quite. Augustus Reinhold staked his entire fortune just to create one more puzzle before his death. This game scared me when I was a kid because they were dying? Oh. No, they're fine. How's the 3DS capture doing? It's so far so good. I could I could switch. I could switch over. Wait. I can go over to this and then do that. Is that better? Or do you prefer it just kind of being a tower of screens? For this, it doesn't really matter, maybe. Uh, technically, yes, Pedro. Wow. Tower's fine. Tower. I like the tower. This is the 2DS. Nice. Yes. Right. Fine. All right. Tower, please. You got it. Uh, I gotta do that and then that. There you go. After all the effort I put into making that, it's fine. I figured most DS games, I'll probably have to just stream like this. Even though it's like the slap, slap, sloppiest layout. I, it's just like, boop, there it is. But a lot of 3DS games tend to be like the main games on the top screen, they have like an inventory on the bottom. So, slappy. It's very slappy. How many plugs? Currently two. I got audio down here, and I got the USB here. I unplugged the power, because I think I'm good for now. <coughs> I'm good. All right. Uh, yeah. What a perplexing individual. I wish I could have met him while he was still alive. 
The two screens on the layout are separate and have you in the middle interrupting this place, so it gets jarring. Yeah, again, on, if I do like, like Ocarina of Time 3DS, which I don't plan to do exactly, Link Between Worlds, better example. Like, the inventory's on the bottom screen. You're not really looking at it all the time. So I think for games like that, it kind of makes sense to have it off to the side. But, see, I can make the top screen bigger, but then, yeah, whatever, it's fine. Uh, uh yeah. It certainly sounds like you two would have gotten along, Professor. Also, I do have giant black bars on the side. That's just because that's the width of the 3DS's screen. And I didn't want to... Yeah, it's fine. By the way, just what is this golden apple anyhow? Friggin' non-tower game. Gotcha. Don't remember sound like that? No, that's just what it sounds like. Some speculate it's a rare antique, <clears throat> while others say it could be a gem. Yet, its identity remains elusive. But Luke, oh, God, I shift. can't shake the feeling that this matter is linked to some larger mystery. Something huge. Big mystery. Could you do a bomb screen on big... on big shot? What? What do you mean? <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't think I understand. Ha! Huh. Is that your famous intuition acting up again, Professor? Hmm. Well, our first awesome. step is getting to town. This is all so exciting. Bear part of the layout. I mean, I could swap them, but I think for most games that doesn't make sense necessarily. I don't know. Um, I hope Saint Mystere is ready for the famous archaeologist and puzzle-solving detective, Herschel Layton. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Luke, you know as well as I do that game. I'm no detective. Yeah. Augustus Reinhold's wife, Lady Dahlia, has asked me to investigate the situation. His name is Herschel. I missed that. It doesn't come up often. Uh, I played it a little bit back in the day. Just catch I never finished it. It seems she came across my name by chance when reading an article about me in the papers. Swap the light every five minutes so nobody's satisfied. You got it. That one I can do. Uh, yeah. Name's Professor Gobbins! Uh, I can't my chance reading an article about me in the papers. Mm-hmm. And you immediately decided to take her up on her request, huh? This game is weird. All of these games are weird. Oh, In a delightful well, way. Well, look, a true gentleman never refuses the request of a beautiful lady. He's a gentleman. And slightly condescending towards if women. If you say so, Professor. We should be netting the town by now. Look at the map in the envelope and help me Power with directions. Bombing. That's fair. Yeah. And they're on the wrong side of the road, but they're in jolly old England town, they is. You I think. got it. Yeah. What in the what's this? Lady Dahlia seems to have given us a test. We'll need to decipher this map in order to find the village. Mm-hmm. She wants to see if we're capable of cracking the mystery surrounding the Reinhold fortune. What the fuck, Professor? It's a map, Luke. What? What kind of a puzzle is this? You use it to find out where you are and where you need to go. Care to give it a go, Luke? Yeah. I'll do my best. A puzzle like this should be a snap for the apprentice of the great Professor Layton. Mm-hmm. This puzzle's well, hard, isn't it? I'll leave it's not this a puzzle. To you. Think of it as a warm-up for things to come. Luke, that's the IHOP menu. What do you want for breakfast, Luke? This is some puzzle, isn't it? Wow. Where's the town? Puzzles were ten pick rats. Hmm. You hear this theme that's playing? Get ready to hear this every time you close your eyes for the rest of your life. My village is on a road that leads to no other towns. I look forward to seeing you there. You're just asked to draw a circle around the right village and touch, touch submit. It can be in my head. Mm-hmm. It slaps, though. Draw a circle around the town in one stroke. Once you circle the selection, tap submit. Hmm. So, so it doesn't touch any of the other... Um, there's, there's, there's this one, and it kind of whoop de doo that, that, That's fine. And then that goes over here. Did I find it? Is it this one? Well, here's my guess. Oh my god, he pointed at me. Legend's apprentice saves the day. He did it. He saved the day. <laughs> that's correct. The only town that isn't connected by roads to the town is the one in the upper left area of the map. Looks like you're all ready to start solving puzzles. I should have done bar you as Luke, huh? Nah, I'm fine. I like him having there a little fun. There we fun. go. Now we should be able to make our way to the village. 
Right you are. We should see it on the horizon any moment now. Huh? Professor, do you mean to say you already figured out the town's location? I love the static image of the car. All it needs is motion lines and some... slow down Daytona. <laughs> I'm afraid I couldn't help myself. A basic puzzle like that is easy enough to solve with a glance. God damn, dude, he's a child. Anyhow, you'd best gather your things, Luke. Well, slight run the night. Professor, I can't solve this puzzle. I'm stumped. Look, I just asked which McDonald's toy you want with your meal. This is some puzzle, eh, Professor? We've arrived. We did it. Wait, is it a cutscene? No, it's not. It's tall. It's 999, yeah. Actually, I don't think it has Sudoku. I lied. I just meant it's a puzzle game with just like, connect the dots. <laughs> and then you're like, dude. Hmm. All right. All right. Let's go. They went hard. And we love it for it. We love them for it. Okay. Yep. I could, Figment. Good. Oh no. How curious, my boy. Interesting. It appears that this drawbridge is the entrance to the village. And we're stuck on the outside. I'm looking in. I can see through you. See to the real you. What should we do, Professor? Look over there. There's a man standing on the other side of the river. Maybe he can help us. Yeah. Head for Rhino Manor. Tap in here and investigate. Let's leave. I'd like to go home. Not even the Layton Mobile could make it across the river, huh? But of course, much as I adore the contraption, it is just the car after all. Stop calling it the Layton Mobile. It's just the car. It's just the car. <laughs> what is this, Memphis? It appears this drawbridge is the only way in or out of town. Okay, good. It flies late in the city. No, it doesn't. There was, a, there was a trick of the light, my boy. Strange weather this town has. Look, I'm tapping. Um, we could swim across, but it'd be terribly cold. We could just be inconvenient. Need an operator. Hey, you. Morty, we gotta get in the village, Morty. Good day, sir. We'd very much like to gain access to the village. Could you please drop the bridge for us? Do I look like the sort to go dropping the bridge for a bunch of fancy looking outsiders? Herf! You got a lot of nerve! We received a letter of invitation from Lady Dahlia. I don't suppose that changes things, does it? From Lady Dahlia? Well, then I sure, I'd sure i sure like to lower the bridge for you, Mr. Fancy Pants. But the engine is busted and I can only move this blasted bridge with the hand crank. Herf! There's all these infernal slots I could put the crank in, but I got no clue which one to use. Oomph. Smart guy got an idea which one's the right one. Sounds like a puzzle to me. Welcome to Professor Layton. I'd love to help you, but I solved this puzzle. And then we'll figure it out. The best ones are when it's just like, I just remembered a puzzle and this won't help you, but do you want to solve it? And you're like, yeah, that's why I'm here. It does remind me of Triplets of Belleville, Polish. I don't know how many people will get that reference, but it's very inspired by that art style. I don't think it's the same people at all. 
Um, there's no way to lower the bridge and get across without inserting the crank into the correct slot. Choose the slot that fits the crank shown below. Tap the crank, change the viewing angle. Oh my god. Um, it's got, it's, it's a little, it's a, it's a pentagram. This one's got, uh, one, two, three, five, one, three, five, one, three, five. Number three is six sides. That's not it. Um, and it's got a little triangle bit sticking out. So that's number one. Gimme. Give Gimme give that. I'd love to help there you, but I'm go. quite lazy. You did it. Another puzzle solved. I did it. My stretch one, this three also won't take forever. Yeah, but he's very lazy. Drop that bridge! Drop it. That'll do it. Hold on a second, I'll let her down. I'm gonna say it again. Just don't feel right about letting outsiders in the Saint Mister. But if you're a Lady Dahlia's guest, I guess I'd better. Ah, thank you. At least give her my regards, you hear? We did it. The day is saved, my boy. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, my God. It's a 3D bridge, my boy. I have not, Camille. We did it. Yes! We finally arrived in St. Mysterio. I'm so excited. One of our mysteries await us here. <laughs> well, Luke, we'll find out soon enough. Just be careful not to let your excitement cloud your ability to analyze your surroundings. I say, Luke, this is a perfect time to explain how to move about during our investigation. Give that shoe-shaped icon in the lower right portion of the touchscreen a tap with your stylus. After you do this, a set of arrows will appear on screen. Tap one ahead in that direction. So remember, when you want to move, tap the shoe. Give it a try. I can do that. Puzzle mystery game, good music, great, I really enjoy it. Nice. Tell you. Tap your shoes, my boy, like this. Something very curious about that tower. I wonder if that in here gets many guests out here in the country. Yeah. Oh! Don't you think we should head to the Reinhold Manor, Professor? Oh. Hey, you lady. It's your boy, Statue Scarfin. Uh, hello. Pleasure to meet you. Welcome to St. Mystere, where our local export is the puzzle. Before I foregore, you should know that every time you solve a puzzle, you earn a set number of picarats. The more picarats a puzzle's worth, the tougher the puzzle will be. They say lovely things will happen when you gather enough picarats. Uh, imagine that, a reward for solving puzzles. For practice, try this little riddle that your hat reminded me of. Think good and hard before you answer. Hmm. Pick a rat, any rat. Strange hats for strange rats. These four top hats are all the same height, but the length of each brim is different. In other words, the hats are equally tall, but vary in width. One of these four hats has a brim and height that are the same length. Which hat is it? What? The hats are equally tall, but vary in width. Which of the four hats has a brim and height that are the same length? So, so, just which one's the same? I'm assuming C. Just get a ruler. Let's use my thumb. Uh, yeah, I think it's C. Find out. That should do it. Ah, shit! Ah, I suppose I thought wrong. Look again! Let me try, let me try again. This is a good puzzle, lady. <laughs> you got me good. No, 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 we still got a lot of pickle rats. I've already filled the, the... <laughs> it's the SAT. Mm-hmm. Um, um... Um... Yeah, I don't know. They all look like hats to me. What do you think, chat? The front of this point kills me every time. Yeah, it's like you disappointed your dad. It's an optical illusion? Is it A? Or is it... I don't think it's D. I don't think it's D. Restart the run. We failed it. All right, you guys are saying, ah. Do it. There we go. Puzzle equals optical illusion. Yes. You did it! Every puzzle has an answer. Why is that right? It's a very famous optical illusion. Optical illusion is a visual phenomenon where your eyes perceive things differently than they actually are. There are dozens of known optical illusions. Literally tens. What's the world coming to when you can't even trust your own eyes? Whoa. Slow down there, game. Okay. Nope. 
Luke, dear God, you punched him in the face when God's name is wrong with you, child. I solved the puzzle, Professor! There are 20 optical illusions. No more. Bravo! I think you've got the hang of this. You try your options one by one, you'll eventually find the answer. However, you'll also encounter lots of puzzles that can't be solved by simply trying all the answers. If you answer incorrectly, the pick rats you can earn from a puzzle decrease. Tough stuff, hmm? Goes to show you how important it is to think for yourself and find the answer on your own. Well, best of luck to you two. I'll be rooting for you two. Strange hats. Make you question yourself. Mm-hmm. They'll like, ask you the simplest question. Like, how many fingers am I holding up? And you're like, wait, hold on. There's gotta be a catch. And they spend like 20 minutes being like, uh. And they're like, actually, there was a mirror in the background. And I was holding an extra finger behind my back. The answer's three. And you're like, damn it. Hey, Stash and Scarf, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> what a dandy set of fellows you two are. Must be new to St. Mystere, eh? My name's Stash and Scarf, and I got some advice for you. Go tap that barrel back there with your stylus. Don't ask questions, just do it. Tap it. Slowly. Give it a tap. I found a hint coin. Lovely animation. It's gorgeous. I love this art style. Felt good, didn't it? The way you tap that barrel. Around these parts, that's what we call a hint coin. When you find yourself up against a doozy of a puzzle, you'll want a hint. Trust me on this one, fellows. And it's just those times when you'll want to use a hint coin to purchase a hint. I bet you think puzzle will be a breeze now, eh? Think again. There are a limited number of hint coins in this world, so don't go wasting coins on any old riddles. Because if you do, when you come across a real stumper, you'll be sorry. Real sorry. Mind your hint coins won't always be stuffed inside barrels. Check any object that seems sus. Got all that? Good. Seeing you around. Goodbye, Stash and Scarf. Mm-hmm. A thick stumper. Yeah. Well... I gotta be on the lookout for hint coins, which means time to tap everything. What's that in the town? Yeah, the first hint's always like, read it again, but slower. <laughs> like, okay. And the second hint is a real hint, and the third hint is here's the answer. I've been thinking, Professor, shouldn't we be keeping a record of our investigation? You've brought up a very good point, Luke. Let me explain how to go about saving your game. Tap your stylus on the trunk in the upper right corner of the touch screen. This trunk contains all manner of information that you can access by tapping the icons. Touch the icon marked save to save your game. Tap the journal to read over notes about our adventure in St. Mystere. Next, we have the puzzle index icon. Tap it to view all the puzzles you've encountered. Puzzles you've solved have to check next to them. Puzzles you've seen but haven't solved are blank. You can retry any puzzles you've solved from this screen. To retry puzzles you haven't solved, you must return to the actual site of the puzzle. Don't be afraid to use the items in the trunk to help our investigation. It'll be second nature soon enough. Let's make our way to Ryan Old Mayor. We need to head in the correct direction. Lead the way, Professor! You know I will, Luke. You know I will. Oh, God. Chapter 1. Make your way to Ryan Old Manor on the east side of town. I can do that. I would like to save. I don't know who these people are. But I'm going to save over... No, I'm not. I'm Pogbones. Tap the sandwich to have a little snack. Mind you, don't have too much of a snack. That clock tower is rather worse for the wear. Speaking of clocks, I've got just the puzzle for you. It concerns a more modern type of clock, but never mind that minor detail. I am Pogbonesachi. Digital digits. 50 pecorats! Imagine a digital clock like the one shown below. How many times will the clock display three or more of the same number in a row over the course of one day? In case you're wondering, this clock in the puzzle displays time on a 12-hour scale, not military time. I was wondering because that changes the answer to the puzzle. So thanks. Um, oh, I can... I can, I can... Hmm... 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 This reminds me of a puzzle, my boy. Oh no. Oh, what's happened to him? He got stung by a bee. Hmm. I wonder, Luke. <laughs> He's fine. Um, how many times will be displayed? Three or more of the same number in a row. Three or more. So, uh, 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 1222. Right? 
Oh god. You got that, and then you got, um, 111, and then 222, and 333, and 444, and 555, and is that it? Wait, no, you got, oh wait, no, hold on, there's a bunch more. Because you got, like, um, you got 10 o'clock. You also have 11, 10, 11, 11, 11, 12. Oh no. Oh no. This is a lot. Um, um, uh, 16, 17, at 18, 19. Whoa. 1222? I got 1222 in the top left. You got that one. 666, our favorite time. Remember, double at the end. Right. <laughs> so it's all these, and then you double it. 11.01? No. Oh, one does it. Three in a row. Three in a row, not three total. Everything with three zeros. Uh, that's only 10 o'clock. How about 000? zero, zero? It's a 12 hour clock, so it'll never show zero, zero, zero. Yeah. So, if this is it, are we back? Yeah, we're doing it together. Um, then it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 times 2? Is it 34? Maybe? Let's try 34. 34. Come on, Professor. How does this Oh, sound? yeah, Gam, you can turn that off. Oh, my God, we're so smart. I did it. Yes! Look! Oh, we're drowning in pickle rats. Nice. Very good! Wait. Oh no, they're saying that those are- wait. Did I miss some of those? How- No, 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 we're good, we're good. No, I did all those. Yeah, we're good. I was like, wait, I don't remember doing- yeah, no, we did. Yeah. Maybe we'll forget about combinations like 10 o'clock or 11, 12. Yeah, but we did it. Because we smacked. Precisely the answer I was looking for. Look well done, my boy. My boy. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a smart boy. Something very curious about that tower, Professor. Does seem it's gonna open anytime soon. Get to the tower through this door. I'm sure I am checking for hint coins. Oh, door. Hey, welcome. Why don't we see what that person has to say first, Professor? What happened? Professor? <laughs> Shit. Oh, hello. It's Percy. I'm Percy, St. Mysterious unofficial writer in residence. Ryan Old Manor, you ask? Head up that road to the right. It's immense, so you'll know it when you see it. Before you go, why not try your hand at this puzzle I thought of? See if you can figure out which house is mine from the instructions I give you. I'll even sweeten the deal. If you manage to solve this puzzle, I'll tell you about this village. How about it? You will try, won't you? After all, a writer is nothing without an audience. And a puzzle is nothing without a puzzler. Where's my house? He just got lost, didn't he? Find my house. Go out the front door of my place, turn left at the first intersection, come across, take a right. Turn right again at the following intersection, you'll come face to face with the morning sun. Circle my house. Well, um, well, um, okay, so, um, uh, go out the front door of my place. Let's start with this one here. And then, um, turn left, which is this way. First intersection, take a right. Turn right again at the following intersection. And then you come face to face with the morning sun. And the sun rises in the east. So, no. It needs to be this one. Weast. Turn left, then make a right, right again. And that's the morning sun. So this one? I think? Yes. Here's my answer. That way. Ah! Sorry, it's like every a jump scare every time he says I'm right. I don't expect to be right anytime I solve anything. Set rise in the up. The sun rises at the horizon. That's right. Did it. Every puzzle has- Impressive! I thought I'd set out quite the puzzle, you made short work of it. Now for that gossip I promised you. The Reinhold family owns all of the land this village is built upon. 
They own the whole village? I hear they own all the buildings too. I guess you could say this town sort of belongs to the Reinholds. It's route to point, Professor. It rises up, not east. <laughs> well, I'll be on my way now, but rest assured, the next time we meet, I'll have a harder puzzle for you. Okay, Percy. What's the garage code to get inside what is certainly my house? Now, point out the most valuable objects that I own in this, my own home. Wah! Thank you for that. Now, yeah, can I go in there? Professor, isn't Lady Dolly expecting us now? Okay, fine. Tap my shoe, Professor. Tap upon it. Okay, fine. I'll go where you want me to go. Dahlia, hmm? Look at that man standing in the street! He looks weird! He's blocking the path up to Ronald Manor, how terribly rude! Perhaps a move for us, but I have a feeling he has no intention of doing anything of the sort. I got a feeling he doesn't want to move. Okay, stock one. The fucking thing. There's a lot of room around. Hold up! Never seen you two here before. What's a couple of fresh faces like yourselves doing here? We're here by invitation of the Reinholds. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have business through the gate. Business with the Reinholds, is that so? Something strange here, you fishy pair, hmm? I don't trust you, that's for sure, but I'll let you pass it so you can solve that riddle, see? Just to warn you, it's a tough one. It ain't gonna be easy, in it? No way it ever not gonna be easy. What's two plus two? Uh, hmm. This is quite a predicament, Luke. We have a small, uh, eight small weights that all look the same. One of the weights in the group is slightly lighter than the rest. You can scale two times, you can find out which of these weights is lighter than the rest. Which weight is the light one? Using the scale twice? Um. Well. Wait, well, the weights you want to measure on the scale times when you range them, the red button to weigh them. If both sides stay level, it means the loads on both sides are equal weight. Once you found the right piece, place in the answer. Yeah. Well, what if, you, what if you just, uh... Do half and half? But this is gonna take three, isn't it? Because then you split them in half to get two and two. So... How do you do it? Maybe we just flip a coin. Shit. Alright, hold on. Wait, is it the same every time? Because this would be amazing. Wait. Maybe it's randomized. Uh, seven, eight. Nope. It's random? Hmm. So, okay, okay. Here's here's my dilemma. So if I do half and half like this, then we'll get... Okay, that one's heavier. Which of these weights is lighter than the rest? So one of these, five, six, seven, eight, are lighter. So now I can split it two and two. Now, it's five or six, but I don't know which one is the thing. And I'm out of, of times to, to weigh it. I gave it solve one. So there's got to be some other smart-ass way to figure it out. That do be the thing, though. That do be the nature of the puzzle. It doesn't refresh on a restart? That means it's either five or six. But I thought I weighed those two. It's not. Why weigh them all at first? Uh, to narrow it down. If it is random. Use the ones from the group you know are wrong? Well, if I know it's wrong, then why would I weigh them out? If they bounce into 7-8. Oh, James! Smart. Smart. Boom. So now, I know it's... 4, 5, or 6. Wait. How does that... Do I have to flip a coin? Oh, because I weigh them, and if they're the same, it's the third one. Yeah, no, 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 this is good. This is good. So, it's four, five, or six. Let's do four and five. Now it's six. Good. Well, there you go. That's smart. There Look how smart go. you are. This chat is as smart <sighs> as they are cute. You know what? Another puzzle gamer, is... gamer, 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 gamer. That's right. Three weights on each side of the scale for first measurement. If you manage to get that far, the rest is easy. Smart. Not half bad. Pretty sharp bunch, ain't ya? Pair of good sharp apples, the two of you. Talking about apples? 
like a golden apple? You playing Minecraft in this town? Have we satisfied you? May we pass now? Of course you can pass. Move along, you better make sure to give my regards to Lady Dahlia. Lightweight. Don't sharpen your apple. Um, any, anything good? Anything good to tap on here? Okay, I'm looking for hint points, my boy. It's not gonna open anytime soon. Well, what kind of shop is this? Professor? Nice. It must be Reinhold Manor. Tap my shoe, Professor. Tap it. Oh. Um. The garden's big, but not much to look at here. Can you imagine living in such a massive place? That bush had a hint coin in it. Naturally. Hello. I do be doing the tapping. And just who might you be? My name is Leighton. This is my assistant. We received an invitation to visit Reinhold Manor. Ah, yes, yes. Ah, hoo, hoo, hoo. We've all been expecting you, Professor Leighton. But, ah, hoo, hoo. You'll have to excuse my skepticism. Can't trust anyone these days, you know. For all I know, you could just be another hoo, hoo, hooligan in a top hat. <laughs> How do I know you're the real Leighton? Did you hear that, Professor? That never this fellow. Let me have him. Surely you aren't gonna go through with this after an insult like that. Now, now, Luke, settle down. So are you saying that you'd like to test me to see if I am the real Professor Leighton? Precisely, Professor Leighton. Now, if you don't mind, would you please solve this puzzle for me? He might be part of it. Wolves and chicks. Oh, no. Get the three wolves and three chicks seen below to the other side of the river while obeying the following conditions. No more than two animals can ride the raft at the same time. There must be at least one animal on the raft in order for it to move. If more wolves than chicks stay on either side of the river, the wolves will eat the chicks and have to start over. You can move the straps as many times as you like. The feat can be accomplished in as few as 11 moves. I remember this one taking me a while. Load animals on the raft by dragging them over the stylus. The raft can carry a maximum of two animals at once. When your raft holds one or more animals, slide it to the opposite shore. It can't move without at least one animal on board. No more than two animals can ride. There must be at least one animal for it to move. If more wolves than chicks stay on either side of the river, the wolves will eat the chicks and you have to start over. Yeah, you sell the helicopter. You, you dam up the river and they walk across. Um, so, they're in danger. Mo move them over. And then, um, bring, bring this gentleman back. Oh, no. What? Why is that oh, no? Oh, because at no point can they have a di Okay. Okay. Oh, no! Yeah. Oh, no. Um, how about we, we get them over there? And then, um... Oh, we can have, we can have one on there. And then, uh, uh, do that. Oh, no! So they always disembark. I can't control when they get off. Um... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So then, uh, 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 we'll leave, we'll leave, uh, you there. And then, um, nope, can't do that. Nope. How about, nope, can't do that either. So that's not right. So, two wolves is the opening move. Just like chess. Um, and then move one back. And now, these two? No, because that's not gonna work. Um,. Need to bring over... No, can't do that either. How about we bring over all the wolves? Now we bring one back. Now we do... Two of these? Oh my god. Wait. I thought I was done. I'm not done. Wait, so then I need to bring a wolf back. No. Yes. Bring a wolf back. But that's not good. No! We're fucked. No, 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 we're fucked. Because if I grab a chicken, then this chicken's dead. If I grab a wolf... Then the chicken on the left is dead. Wolf plus chick. Isn't that what I just did? How's that? Um, how's the bees trigger? How is it? Uh, make a flow chart. No. Um, um, can I just do that? He's close. He's so close. I don't get it. Um, so if I do this... No. 
I need to move one wolf or a wolf and a chick. If I move one wolf, then it's bad. If I move wolf and chick, I'm back to exactly where I was. Two chickens? How do I do two chickens? How do I make it chicken time? Nope. So then... One wolf? Is it one wolf? And then just fairy wolves back and forth forever? Two wolves. Uh, uh, that should uh, do it. Tell me a bit. Another puzzle solved. Goddamn wolves and chickens. The Fun fact time! There are several variations of this type of river crossing puzzle. They've appeared in writings dating back to over a thousand years ago. Makes me feel better about myself. Oh, to excuse my earlier rudeness, let me show you to the manor. Everyone's waiting for you. You could have just checked my ID, good sir. Everyone? I was under the impression that Lady Dahlia was the only person expecting me. Right this way, please. Did it. Facts are not fun. They're just facts. They can be fun. Nice. Oh! Is this the manor, Professor? Oh my god. It looks better on my screen with the slight gap between screens. It's positively gigantic. Just look at the size of it. Not all rectangles are squares. It certainly seems we've come to the right place. Make your way to Reinhold Manor on the side of town. Chapter's solved. We solved the puzzle. How are we feeling? We feeling smart? Feeling like we're real smart with brain? The Professor and Luke finally arrive at Reinhold Manor. Let's head in, shall we? Yes, sir. It, oh, um, you got any hint coins in the bushes? Wait, wait, no, no. Okay, fine. Tita, thanks for the hydrate. Oh. Welcome to Reinhold Manor. Thank you for coming. I am Matthew, butler and servant to the Reinhold family. Everyone's waiting upstairs for you. Ah, oh, before you go, I have a message from Lady Dahlia. She's requested you take a look at this puzzle. Please do not be taken aback. Madam has the strangest sense of propriety sometimes. To move a match... Go on. Try moving the match. Why is it like I'm not gonna be able to? They're like, gotcha! It's just a picture of a match. Drag it from the center and it's rotated. Tap one, uh, drag one of the hinges. Uh, yeah, it's fine. You absolute buffoon. You ignoramus. You thought that was a real match? These are pixels on a screen. Shishine Paun match! Give it a spin. Bam, 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 bam. To the puzzle. One poor pooch. The matches below are arranged in the shape of a dog. This poor little guy was just minding his own business when a car came barreling down the road and ran him over. I don't like this puzzle. Move two matches to change the picture so it shows the dog after the accident? All puzzles are a matter of perspective, so don't assume that you'll be looking at the dog from the side by the time you're finished with this one. What? What? Why would... Did he- did he get Chris Blatted? Is that it? Is that- I don't- I don't- I don't get it. It's wanted me real sad when I was a kid. Yeah. What? Um. Oops. Oops. Oh, I had to hit the submit button. Submit to my fate. Like that. I do it. Luke, here's my answer. I thought it would be like you did it. I don't like Another this puzzle, puzzle solved. I don't like this puzzle, Professor. No! <laughs> Why does it have to be an extremely adorable dog? Let this be a lesson and be aware of your surroundings when driving. I hate this puzzle. I hate this puzzle. This is a bad puzzle. That's absolutely correct. My commendations, sir. 
You do know your way around a dead pooch, am I right? And again, I do apologize for the strangeness of the request. Please walk this way. We mustn't keep Lady Dolly and company waiting. One poor pooch. I didn't kill a dog. The dog was already dead. But it doesn't make it any better. The moaning of that puzzle. No. Look at these paintings on the wall here, Professor. Ah. It's a very nice portrait, isn't it? I bet that's the late Baron Reinhold pictured there. No. But what about this one, Professor? Who could this pretty girl be? The two portraits are next to each other, so they're likely family. She's probably the Baron's daughter. That's exactly right, sir. They're looking at a portrait of Flora, the late Baron's daughter. Pardon me for asking, but I couldn't help but notice your keen interest in art. Would you care to take this old frame with you? What? It used to hold the most wonderful painting. However, now that all that's left of it is this small scrap. Found a painting scrap. The painting option has been added to the trunk. You can assemble the frame little painting here. Okay. This is a piece of that old painting, then. How interesting! We did it. Okay. Let me look at it. Let me look at it, Professor. Touch a piece to go to the screen where you can place the piece and you'll send the place for piece of the screen. Yeah, you just send it to the screen. Yeah. Move a piece of table screen. Draw a piece of piece of screen. Touch a 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 piece of screen. piece of screen. Touch a 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 piece of screen. Mm hmm. Yeah, probably, probably, it looks like a corner piece, so it probably goes right in the middle. Like that. Good. Yeah, they all have different mini games and stuff. It's delightful. The current player went ham. This chandelier casts a lovely warm glow. Oh. Could this be another Reynolds family portrait, Professor? Professor? Please make your way to the second floor. All right. I'm on my way. Oh. Wait. Mm hmm. Oh. <sighs> Got ourselves oh, a real. You must be Professor Layton, I presume. It's an honor to make your acquaintance. Oh, no. The pleasure's all mine. No! Look! Oh, oh, come back, sweetie! Mm hmm Great. <clears throat> Meow. He's a gentleman. Dang it, Luke. Honestly! I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Welcome to Raccoon City. And on the DS, right? Like, yeah, it's extremely crunchy, but remember, this was the DS. Why am I constantly surrounded by incompetence? This is the disaster. It's a real Knives Out situation in here. Whatever is the matter. I love the animation, and the later games still have 2D animation, but the in-game character art is 3D models, and they're very cute and charming. I just... The, the 2D art is so good. It's great. This is simply terrible. My dear sweet baby, my Claudia. Your Claudia? Sweet, sweet Claudia, my little honeykins, my smoochie pie, my baby, Matthew! Hmm. Still face four in the first one? Yeah, I mean, it's fine. I remember enjoying them. I mean, if you like solving silly puzzles and unraveling the most ludicrous, stupid mysteries of all time, like, Absolutely, chat, if you're familiar with these games, no spoilers. Don't talk about anything related to the plot today in the games. I will say, unequivocally, that these games have the dumbest mysteries of any piece of media I've ever consumed in my life. Like, at no point do they feel like the kind of mysteries where, like, you know what? I'm piecing it together as I go, and then when they're like, here's the reveal, you're like, oh, uh-huh, I got it. Like, they always are like, by the way, here's some nonsense you never saw coming. In the most... Uh, worst than Mr. Kim Arts. I don't want to go there, but... No, they're perfect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Third game's the most wild one. <laughs> I forget if it's the second or third one. Unwound Future is probably my, my favorite, like, gotcha. And it's like, what? That's <laughs> so stupid. I have not played Zero Time Dilemma. I have not. There was a one. Yeah, it's Buck Wild. It's, it's, like, it's so well set up. I don't know if it's set up. Maybe if I replay it, I'll be like, okay. I don't even want to listen. If I finish this on stream, you'll get an idea for how the rest of them go. So, speaking of which, let's solve some puzzles. Um, you got any coins? Oh. I might have to. There's a puzzle hidden here, Professor! A hidden puzzle? 110, the vanishing cube, what? They're all weird. I love them. On uh, the table below are four cubes made up of matches. Can you change four cubes to three with a single match? Um, yes. Yes. Yes, I can. Well, here's my guess. No? Is it? Mm. Um. I've let you down, Professor. Uh, I can fool your eyes to see three. Fool my eyes. You need to finish me in the cube at the back. Oh, okay. Rotate. I didn't move. It's still part of puzzle. Oh, um. Oh, 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 oh. I gotta rotate. Put it there. There you go. That's better. How does this sound? How about this one? I've heard Ghost Trick is good professor, too. Professor, I've solved it. Look at me, Professor. Very good. Very good, Luke. Very good. And Layton is just staring at the lady. Moving a single match to complete changes your perspective on the shape. Was it difficult thinking about things in 3-D? When you add a hyphen, it looks a little bit more like a weenie. Thank you, video game. I have not heard Luke's voice in the PAL version. Let's go find more puzzles! Hmm. Ghost trick, my beloved. Hello there, sir. You... <laughs> you... Solved the puzzle. You're Professor Layton, yes? My name is Gordon. I'm among those who requested your services. I'd like to explain our situation further, but right now it's probably best to do as Lady Dahlia says. You crank that soldier boy. How many times should I revolve this crank to sufficiently have cranked that soldier boy? Hmm, that's some puzzle. Madam, what is it? What in the world happened? My little Claudia got scared and ran off. Didn't you see her dart out of the room? I must have missed her. I'm terribly sorry, madam. Oh, you're just useless, aren't you? Professor, you didn't see which way my baby ran off to, did you? Your baby, madam? If you're referring to that white cat, I saw it run out that door a moment ago. What? And you simply stood there and let her escape? Well, she is a cat. They're animals, after all, and animals must run about from time to... You fool! She is not just a cat. She has a name, and that name is Claudia Reinhold. She's a delicate flower. She is simply a mess when I'm not close by to comfort her. Matthew, I need you to find Claudia and bring her back immediately. About this little inheritance problem of yours, Lady Dahlia. That can wait. Can't you see that we have a more pressing concern on our hands at the moment? We could have stopped her and you didn't. So you have a responsibility to find Claudia and bring her back. Hm. Sending the professor off to find a silly cat? The nerve. Who do you think you are? Ha. Oh, it's fine, Luke. Besides, Lady Dahlia does have a point. It does seem we let Claudia run off. Madam, if you'll excuse us, we have a cat to track down. Thank you, and please hurry. My Claudia is such a delicate flower, even the coarse outdoor air might prove too much for her. Noise at the manor was added to your list of mysteries. I solved it, it's the cat. Write that down. Lady Dolly's cat has escaped search St. Mister for the runaway feline. The whole town. Yeah, I can save. That's fine. I'm Pog Bones. That's me. Cat wipe me off. You there! Spectacles! The name's Shimon. I'm Baron Reynolds' nephew. My father's little brother of Gordon there. Or rather, he was until he kicked the bucket, as they say. But I digress, so you're the famous Professor Layton. Thank you, Polish Bear. That'll work. We'll get her back. I gotta speak into the DS microphone. Huh, I thought you'd have more presents. 
Well, never mind that. I take it you won't mind if I throw a puzzle your way. It shouldn't prove difficult for a man of your ability. Yes, if you're as good as they say, this shouldn't amount to too much more than a distraction. It's on the DS, not PSP. Stop. Arc and line. As shown in the diagram below, you have one fourth of a circle. Within the circle is a rectangle ABCD, which touches the edge of the circle at point D. Assuming that point B is located at the center of the circle, how long is diagonal line AC? Input answer. Five inches? So the, the, um... Hold up. The, the radii is ten inches. Yeah, I love it's in inches. And then, so that's also B to D. Is ten. So it's five, ten. A squared plus B squared. Oh, can I can I write on this? Yeah. Hold on. So hold on. you got uh uh this is five, and this is. Oh wait. How long is that? That's ten. Right? Isn't that just ten? Yeah, it's just ten. <laughs> Unless I'm overthinking it, or underthinking it, or both. Cause cause it's saying this is ten. Which is from the center of the circle to any point on the, the, the circumference. Which means that that, which is the same as that, is 10. It's, it's just 10. No. No. 10! Yeah, it's a little math. There we go. It's a little bit weird because A was like slightly shorter than the radius, but... Every anyway. puzzle has an answer. I remember some things from school. Like one or two. It's the same length, but you only have the five and five, yeah. It's also a 30, 60, 90 triangle. I don't even think you have to go that far. I think as soon as you figure out it's the radius. I it appears that you're the real deal, Professor. I apologize for doubting you there. It seems you're quite the mind for puzzles. But oh ho! How unfortunate you've wasted your time on one of these ridiculous cat chases. They happen all the time, yet every time that cat slips out, Lady Dahlia causes the biggest fuss. Don't even bother trying to talk her down. The best thing you can do is just go and find that cat. If you're as bright as they say, you should have no trouble tracking down one little cat, right? I suppose so. You can do! It's more like... Yeah. No. Nope. I'm off! Tap on my foot, Professor! It's time to go! She must lose it a lot. Oh, I found it. Um, you there. The one that looks like a cat. Can I speak to you? I have some questions regarding the... Professor! There she is! Computer enhance. Oh my god. This is a very good cat expression. Ah, she ran away! Drat! She ran off. Well... We can't stop now. Let's give chase, Luke. <laughs> Cough, hack, hack, blast that burns. It looks like the engine blew out. Eggman, is that you? So this is Saint Mystere, eh? The famed stomping ground of the late Baron Augustus Reinhold. I wonder what kind of tricks the old coot set up in this village before he shuffled off. Oh, Leighton, you ridiculous dandy, just you wait. All the treasure you seek will be mine. <laughs> Yeah, they got Jim Carrey. Mm-hmm. And Moriarty. It's the same person. I've come to make an announcement. Professor? You see a cat run across a lake? A river? Oh, it's you, Mr. Um... Please call me Ramon. <laughs> Can I be of some assistance? As a matter of fact, yes, Ramon. Lady Dahlia's cat slipped out of the house. Have you seen her about? Do you mean dear Claudia? I think I saw her pass through here and run into town a few moments ago. Hit me with that long RG. I wish he caught her. No, Luke, that's our job. You say our love is draining and you can't go on. You see the one complaining when I am gone. Don't ch change the subject. Thanks for the ten dollars. What was that noise? Said Layton. We sure have some mysteries. 
No one has any clue. Not a single clue. Is that a... What is that? That's yeah, fine. Mysteries! Thank you. You know what? That is a good opportunity for me to get caught up on alerts. How about you? How about you and that? And those? You need something? You do, don't you? Yep, see it on your face. An open book is where you are. You didn't happen to see Lady Dolly's cat come through here a moment ago, did you? Fluffy white killer, yeah? Think she ran towards the town square. Yep, she went that away. I see, thank you. Think nothing of it, buddy. Only all questions were that easy to answer. Well, then I'll be off now. Who would have thought he turned out to be such a nice guy? Shall we head for the town square, then? Indeed, let's be off. Hold on, let's take a look at what's behind the blue door. You see it? Look at it, that blue door over there. Please don't open a crack. Yeah, let's look in there. Professor? Look, let's go in there, Luke. Luke, we gotta go in. <laughs> I did Starlight Supernova. I, I, I didn't have any interest in seeing the movie. There is a Professor Layton movie. And then I found out that there are puzzles in the movie. And I went, I need to see this. And there are, there are indeed puzzles in the Professor Layton movie. And it's excellent. It's very fun. And there's a sword fight. And a puzzle. Yeah, there's a movie. And it's gorgeous. The animation's great. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -da -ba -da -ba. Linium, thanks for 20 months. How y'all doing? How you doing? Felix Felices, happy Tuesday. They don't know how bad I want this on Switch. Here's some bits. Quasars, 41 months. Starlight! Thank you for the bits. Shout out to that puzzle. Yes, you know the one, the obscenely hard one that appears in the final act of the game that no matter what, I can never figure out and have to Google has to be one of my favorite genders. <laughs> That's... Thank you. I don't know exactly which one you're talking about, but yeah, I'm sure. The plot of the prequels. Mm-hmm. Does it bring a flame to the magic that is the Phoenix Wright movie? I didn't even know there was a Phoenix Wright movie. I mean, well, I'm sure I will. Get the on top of that building. I need the Hankoy. Marty. Ran. Cossack. Thank you for the bits. This man has been shot. He needs immediate medical attention. Hmm. I need to solve what type of gun shot him. He's bleeding out. Quite the puzzle. R uh, Rivendellian. Thanks for four months. Professor Layton and the mystery of the crunchy bees. Hey, sir, Professor. These are some crunchy bees. Luke, what's in your mouth? Nothing. Luke, your face is swollen up nice. to the size of a pumpkin, Luke. Did you eat the crunchy bees? We need those for our investigation, Luke. Oh, no, what you mean, Professor? Dr. Aspari, thanks for 33 months. I was promised there wouldn't be any math. I never said that. I promise there will be math. Easy week. Think of the bits. I'm just here to throw bits at you. Have a good stream. Thank you. Hey, Mr. Zem, thanks for three months. Popping in the sale level since I saw you streaming one of my faves. Looking forward to daylight savings so I can pop in regularly again. I feel that. And also, I appreciate it. Thanks for three months. Enjoy your silver key. Thank you, Mancho. 31 months. I just needed those latent emotes. Thanks. No problem. You got them. If I toss them up on a BTTV, I'll make sure anyone can grab them for their channel. Uh, Commander Squeaks, thanks for 15 months. Are we doing a brain? I will be absolutely no help, for my brain is smooth and made of soft pudding. Good luck, though. Well, with all, all of our thoughts combined, we might be able to solve a single puzzle designed for 10-year-olds. If we have enough of us putting our best effort in. Fiend the Falcon, thanks for the prime sub. Welcome to the house. Enjoy the emotes. Thanks for the prime. Scootsby, three years. This is many years. It is. Hope you enjoy your Oki. Venus Farnes with a dollar due. Thank you, Venus. Now, Zek on Wild, 13 months. I know this game is cool. Imagine how much cooler it'd be running on the PlayStation Vita. Yeah, does the Vita have two screens? I don't think so. You need it. This isn't a math free zone. Hash, unsubscribe. Yeah. You should probably. The Sony 1S. <laughs> One screen. Uh, Bale Teeth! Think of the name. Currently working in events here in PA, simply known as the Farm Show. I'll have to catch the VOD. I'll be sure to get pet the goats and cows extra for you in chat. Thank you, Bagel, for the hammy and for the pets. Big Cave Monster, think of the bits. The Professor Lane movie is more complicated and well written than the Da Vinci Code. That might be fair. Lord Charco, thanks for six months. I know nothing about Lane other than that I'm not smart enough for them and that Pro ZD's videos about them are goddamn hilarious. They're very good. Thank you, Lord Charco. Enjoy your golden key. Thank you. I will die on that hill. Hey, Blade of the God. Welcome. Oh, yeah, there was a live-action Phoenix Wright. Whoa. Can you touch the back of a DS to do touchscreen stuff that no dev ever actually incorporated in their game? Didn't think so. 
Checkmate. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, look at that candle. Hmm. Tom Hanks. Look here, my boy. This extinguished candles remind me of a simply wonderful puzzle. We love a good puzzle. How many are left? Professor, did you run in here because you saw a candle through the door? No. Ten candles stand burning in a dining room. A strong breeze blows in through an open window and extinguishes two of them. Checking back in on the candles later, you see that one more candle has gone out. To make sure no more flames go out, you shut the window. Assuming the wind doesn't extinguish any more candles, how many candles do you have left in the end? <coughs> zero? Is it zero? Because, I mean, what what's in the end? The end of time? Candles burn out. I think it's just zero. I want to stay at one of them. So one. There's one left. How many candle? In the end, it doesn't even matter. Candles eat themselves, too. I'm gonna say zero. Be more specific with your puzzle next time. How does this sound? It's not zero. Oh! I'm so embarrassed. No, no. Left in the end, what does that actually mean? It doesn't... Wait, 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 wait. Is it the number of candles total? Because it's not how many are lit? Is it 10? It's not how many are, are lit. It's just, it's just, there's, there's 10 candles. The ones that go out don't go away. There's still candles. How many candle? Is it 10? I'm gonna say 10. No. 10 candles. How does this sound? Give it a go. Shit! I'm so embarrassed. How many in the end? That's so 2012. This game's from 2007. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. oh so you got, you got a candle here, you got a candle here, you got a candle here. You got some of these. There's that one back there. Don't forget that one. One over here. You got some candles right here. Don't forget that one right there. And then so the, the radius. But no, so we have the circumference right. And then so that's over there. And then pi. We would we have two pi right for the side of the well and then we have we have this this the, the wind is coming in this this direction. When you close it, it's still there's still air in the middle here that's forced outward. And that might also blow out some additional candles. Um it's also who's this over here? So they're holding a glass. Is that a hint? That the glass is maybe through the glass's reflection, the angle of refraction. We can see there's another candle back there. As well. Karaoke needs to be timed out. Are we counting for entropy? Good question. Um goodbye, Teriyaki. Enjoy your timeout. Oh, what do you mean they're all wrong? His beard is also counted. You can set a beard on fire. And what time is it? Hmm. Is it three? Ten candles are, are in a dining room. Strong breeze blows out two of them. So you got eight. You said one more has gone out. Seven. You close the window. How many candles do you have left in the end? Wait. The lit ones melt. So the answer is three? Because the candles that blew out are still there? That's really dumb. That's really dumb. Okay. That's... I mean... I, think I've I guess my initial hunch that it was zero... ...was built on the assumption that you would eventually use those candles, but... ...that's not part of the puzzle. There. It... Yeah, that's fine. It's not stupid, it's clever. It can be both. It can be dumb and clever. Excellent work, my boy. Sometimes it's important to consider the obvious, too. Delving too deep into the implied can cause misconceptions. No good. Now let's get out of here before we get the police called on us. No one's working the shop. This is my shop now. You see that, Luke? I run this business now. 
The bread and cheese here are anything but fresh. Yow! That one turned into a coin. Everything here is caked with dust. There's something I find very charming about this chair. That reminds me, you heard this one before? Which chair? A new multi-purpose event hall has been built in the center of your town. Your town! It'll be used for everything from concerts to sporting events to conventions. With the hall complete, it's time to order the chairs. Five chair designs labeled A through E are being considered, but of all the designs, only one chair is completely suitable for the auditorium. Which chair is it? Um... What? This isn't a puzzle. Completely suitable is, a, is red. <laughs> the worst one? The stackiest one? I think E is the stackiest. Or maybe B? No, B can't stack. Simple logic. <laughs> is it E? My gut's saying it's E, which is why it's probably wrong. The office chair? C or Riot? I hate this. Uh, don't overthink. Alright, it's E. Done. Final answer. How does this sound? I know, Professor! What? Professor, <laughs> that's, I've solved it! That's not a puzzle. <laughs> that's right, E can be stacked. <laughs> that's not a puzzle. That's just... Well done! Professor! He found a painting scrap! Oh boy, hold on. You gotta check that out. This is huge. This is huge, Professor. This is gonna blow this case wide open. Alright, hold on. Um... Uh, it's pro probably just kinda... Just kinda... Stack them. There you go. It's looking pretty good. Professor's just pulling... Yeah, no, he's just seeing how far he can drag Luke along before he wises up. Oh, he's caked in dust. The shop sucks. Let me out. And, uh, to the town square. Hey, you two, help me out here, would you? I'm in a real prickle. What seems to be the problem, sir? Some knucklehead went and raised the bridge while I was on break. And as if that wasn't bad enough, that chowder had made off with my only bridge crank. Oh dear, so you mean to say... Here, you got it, buddy. Until that thing shows up, no one is getting in or out of town. I'm still looking for the blasted crank, but I'm seeing too much red to get anything done. Probably because your cap is pulled over your head. Here, what kind of punk pulls a prank like this anyhow? Oh yeah. I found this dude out in the street when I was out looking for my crank. Got any idea where it is? A strange gizmo. The gizmo's option is going to add to the menu. Touch the trunk to open it and tap the gizmo's icon. Try to assemble the various mechanical parts you've gathered around town. The vanishing crank. Crank on need a crank though. Hang on. Gizmo's gathered around the same material lined up on the touch screen. Tap one to snap it into place. Just what are you constructing, you ask? It's a secret. Seems to be a, a dog. A robot dog from the outline. Not much of a secret. I did it. Well, good puzzle. What on earth could that be? Crank! I found the cat, by the way. It's right there. Nice! Swift Entropy, thanks for the bits. Did someone say Entropy? Maybe. Excuse me. Fluffy, check. Purple bow, check. Soul expression, check. No doubt about it, that's Claudia, it is. Good eye, Luke. Now that we've located her, the question at hand is how to go about catching her. Leave this one to me, Professor. Luke canonically can talk to animals. I'd forgotten that you have a way with animals. Well, go right ahead, then. Here, Claudia. Here, girl. She's not into it. She's not into it. Aye! Luke, are you all right? I'm sorry, it wasn't much help, Professor. She's far feistier than I imagined. I need a doctor, Professor. No, you'll be fine, Luke. 
He's okay. Yeah. Whoa! Ooh. Yeah, I saw that cat. She almost scratched out your eye. I'll catch her, you say? Thanks, but no thanks. I like living. Did you see that ferocious beast? I'm not going anywhere near her. Could you at least tell us in which direction she ran off? I need a tetanus shot, Professor. <laughs> he got squished. I saw that killer scurry off westward. She has fangs the size of daggers. Wait to the west, you say. It really is that emoji. Sequence. Hermph. Harumph. To the west, huh? Wait. Let's go in there. Ah! What we got? It's a gorgeous chandelier, but it's all tarnished. Damn. Framed forms on the wall. What a loon! What a loony! Can we point and laugh at him, Professor? Forms and pens as far as the eye can see. Bleh. There's a bed here. Is he living in the town hall? Maybe. Better not touch anything that man will throw a fit. I'm gonna touch it anyway. I'm gonna touch everything. There's gotta be a coin in here. There you go. Hi. He's got cream corns on the wall, Professor. This is the town hall. What business do you have here? If you just moved to town, I strongly advise you fail to change of address form. Oh no, we aren't here for anything like that. Regardless, all town hall visitors must complete the proper forms. You start with this one. This is, a, this is a puzzle. Triangles and ink! Here are two shapes, one large and one small. Each is made up of little triangles. Dipping your fountain pen into the ink one time gives you just enough ink to draw four little triangles as depicted by the shape on the left. With that in mind, how many times do you have to dip your pen in the ink in order to draw the triangles on the shape on the left right? It's made of 36 triangles. Nine? It's, it's, can't be nine. Scratch Luke. No! Try... I remember this on my DMV fair work, right? Try force. So is, that, is that one? Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Is what? Wouldn't it, wouldn't it just be nine? Which is also how the math goes. Unless, unless one dip lets me make it gigantic. And I can be like, wow, they didn't say how big it can't be. And then I did uh, this as well. That's one. And then, um, uh, don't overthink. I'm gonna overthink it. It says four little triangles. Okay, fine. So it's nine? What else could it be? I'm doing it. If it's not nine, I'm mad. Oops. There we go. It's not nine. Fuck! Oh. How embarrassing. Do you need to draw a Triforce every time? I can draw a Triforce as much as I want. Nine segments per dip. And there's 36 triangles. Um. Well, I mean, they don't have to be in that arrangement, right? So you could be like, do that. And then, um. Oh, because you're saying that this line is being doubled up. So. You do this. And then. Wait, so that equates to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine strokes? Hey, Todd. Game's messed up, man. <laughs> Some triangles share a segment. Mm hmm. So you had nine strokes, and then how many strokes are in this big boy? A bunch. Well, this is nine. And then this is nine. And this is nine. Wow, this is messy. So, let me block off the ones that don't overlap with anything else. Yep. Yep. And then, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's six big boys. And then you have, uh, and this is nine. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But then you're left with, wait, no, I, uh, 79. So it's seven? 
Seven? After you finish streaming this game, I look forward to your next YouTube video. Stuck right for that special first lane. I would love to make him a move set. He could flick Critical hit coins at people. Success. He could block damage. You know, uh, Peach has the little toad she pulls out. It could be Luke. It's hit in the face. Um, he could pull out a sword just to threaten people. It's just this taunt. He doesn't use the sword to fight. Yeah, my impulse was to divide the triangles. Heck. It's fine. Get to solve entire puzzles. Turn. Yeah, well, that's his final smash. It's a randomly generated puzzle that everyone has to solve. But also, you don't have a time limit. You have as much time as you want. How embarrassing. This <laughs> room. Nicely done. As you might have noticed, everyone in this town is simply crazy about puzzles. Strongly advise you solve as many puzzles as you can. And while I might have strongly advise you drop in on Granny Rudleton next door, she's a veritable treasure trove of puzzle related benformalia. Just beware, she's not always at home. I found a strange gizmo. How odd. Why? That gizmo could be used to be the snoot of a dog. Or the tail is also good. Granny. Where you at, Granny? Um, can I go in here? <laughs> Professor, have you noticed that this door is a different color than all the others in the area? Look at these vines. Have you seen vines going on any other house in St. Mystere, Professor? And the nameplate says House of Puzzles. Sure does. Indeed. I'm not quite sure what else lies behind the door. But it's clear there are puzzles hiding inside. Sadly, the door is shut tight, and there's no sense in waiting around for it to open. Let's return later. Goodbye. It's an animation cell. So. Mm-hmm. But you're doing a Professor Layton tier list? Even harder? Nice rotator. Damn. I miss Vine, Professor. TikTok just isn't the same, eh, Luke? I almost forgot. We ought to visit the local inn and see if we can't procure some rooms in for the night. Sounds good to me, Professor. I was certain I saw an inn near the entrance of the village, just south of the plaza we're in. Let's head over right now and see if we can't set up some lodging. Yeah, all right. How you doing, Stash and Scarf? He almost forgot, but not quite. How go things? Learning the ins and outs of St. Mystere, are you? Solving puzzles is the only way to get by here. That's what the villagers value most. How about a puzzle right now? No practice will keep you from embarrassing yourselves in front of the others later. <laughs> ah. As a die-hard non-conformist myself, I'm a sucker for any puzzle where you need to find the odd man out. Yeah, all right. Why you call it an in when you in out hot sleep the bed? It's an excellent question. Yeah, we're just gonna you know, bunker down for the night. The cat's fine. Three of the four images shown below are the same picture rotating a variety of ways. Can you find the odd one out? The rotate? Um... Yep. Yeah. So the diamond is pointing to a uh, clover, which is then pointing at a heart. And then the heart is pointing at another clover, which points back. Yep. 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 And what about... It's pointing towards the tip of the heart. Uh, they look the same. Hmm. Wait, that can't be right. Uh. Wait, so in that one, they're prepare. And then when they're prepare. And they're prepare. What? The answer is yes. <laughs> the layering of the cards matter. Oh. Oh. I was, I was just looking at the orientation, but I think they're all correct. But yeah, so the... The clockwise one is on top there. That is correct. Wait, that one's wrong, I think. It's so going clockwise from the diamond to the heart. That spade is on top. Or not the spade, the clove. Clover. Uh, an hour shift at work. Just have a sit, Duke. You only get wrong thrice. You can get wrong as much as you want. Um, so it's, it's, it's clockwise from there is on top. And 
The one on the bottom right is underneath. So it's D. Methinks. Yeah, let's go with D. Let's do it! My nose is stuffed up! <laughs> Professor, I need a tissue. Oh, I spent a ton of time looking at the arrangement of the cards. But it's just one card was underneath. Fine! Oh, Todd, it's up! That's perfect for this game, Todd. <laughs> you certainly showed that puzzle was bust, didn't you? The training I've been giving you has paid off. Feel free to thank me any way you see fit. Well, I'll be seeing you around. Goodbye. Thanks for the painting scrap. You made the perfect emote. And he can be friends with Bar U. Toddly got it. It's excellent. I like that it has a different energy to Bar U. Bar U is more accusatory, and and Toddly got it is like, yeah, you did it. Um. Yep. No, that doesn't. What about? No. Great. Good work, team. Professor, should we be wearing gloves or? Working with the painting scraps? Not at all, my boy. Not at all. Um, the second floor. Bread's baking back there. What? A hidden puzzle, Professor. The vaguely threatening aura is part of what makes it good, though. And why I'm glad we have toddly got it, because it's happier. A work from a famous artist was recently discovered. The painting is a self-portrait of the painter in his later years is entitled My Beloved. Uh, assuming the artist wasn't a huge narcissist referring to himself, his beloved should appear in the painting somewhere. Can you find his beloved? Move the different sections with around your stylus. Touch them to rotate picture section if you find that. Yeah, well, it's probably the negative space if I had to guess. Um. Uh, can we just... Um. Well. Rotate. Um, um, uh, 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 wait, wait, that's a, wait, close, there she is, got it, I think his I'm beloved ready. is himself. That was some I puzzle, eh, Professor? Yes. 420, nice. That's right. The still of the artist's true love was in the painting. The painting must have been a tribute to his love for her or for himself. It might still be himself. Could be. Nice. Thanks, Todd. <laughs> what? No, that's completely wrong. He was a narcissist. Easy peasy, Professor. Ma'am? We would like to inquire about the rooms for the eve. Hello there. Welcome to the inn at St. Mystere. We're the only inn in town, you know. You see, visitors to our little village are quite rare. Good day, madam. We seek lodging for the night. Do you have any open rooms we could rent? Oh, my stars. What terrible timing. We're currently remodeling all of our guest rooms. The only rooms left are in the attic, but if you don't mind, I'll make sure you're very comfortable. Now you're really in it? I do hope you'll stay with us. It's been such a while. It's been a while since a fine gentleman such as yourself stayed with us. The rooms are not very big, but I'll be make sure they sparkle. Can you come back in a bit? And I'll do my best to get two normal rooms ready for you as soon as possible. Thank you, but you needn't trouble yourself on my behalf. As long as I have a bed to sleep and I'm satisfied, and Luke here likes the floor. It's true. Ah, yes, about that. What terrible luck. You see, all the beds are out being refinished. But don't worry, Mama Beatrice is going to take good care of you too. I even dropped the nightly rate. The inn option has been added to the trunk. The inn is a puzzle in which you arrange items in Luke's and the professor's rooms. Touch the trunk item, touch the inn. We obtain a new item for Luke and the professor. You'd be asked where you want to put it. You can always rearrange your items, so don't worry too much about where you want to first put an item. Front of rooms is too full to take on new items. And animal space. Yeah. What a bad business model. Here's something to make the place feel a bit more like home. A lacquered stool. Well, that's going to Leighton. I do like to sit down. Um, is that it? Is this unpacking? It is. Hello there, gentlemen. I've got a doozy of a puzzle on my hands. Why don't you give it a go? 
Is it is it your balance sheet? Is it how are we still in business? Is it just like Oh look at that! Here's all of our expenses and zero income! Please, Professor! Help us lie to the government. As you can see, what we've got here is some trash and a dustpan made of matchsticks. Can you move two matchsticks to change the picture so the dustpan is holding the trash? What? Two matchsticks is only the Oh. Um Yeah. How about I um just do a little bit of that? A little bit of that. And then a little do si do. Isn't that Isn't that it? I think that's it. Yeah, I think, I think it's done. 3,600 in candles. Please help me finance. Uh, less... Fewer candles. Every puzzle has an answer. Then it. That's correct. Do your part to keep St. Mystere clean. The art is very cute. No. Real doozy of a puzzle. First time I laid eyes on you, I knew you were a man who knows puzzles. Hand-woven rug. Why, that's going to Leighton. Professor, when do I get furniture in my room? Now, now, Luke. All in due time. Better get back to searching for Claudia, Professor. Professor? Thank you, Luke. Very good. To the weast. Oh. Well, that man's full of bees. That woman is pointing judgingly at the man full of bees. What changes? What do you mean? Luke's face the French menu is very good. Yeah. Yeah, don't, yeah, you can point. The menu for the restaurant. The choice I made? Uh, it's just this little mini game that they're talking about. Um, so if you go into the inn, you place furnishings, you collect in either Luke or Layton's room. Use your styles to move an item. When you move an item, it appears on the top screen of the room in which you placed it. The actual location of an item within the room is decided for you. Look, at Professor Lane will comment on how the furnishing of the rooms is coming along. Your goal is to arrange the ideal living space for both of them. Check how they feel about the rooms by tapping their icons on the touchscreen. So you get stuff, and then uh, as you play the game, you learn more about their tastes. You learn which one of them... It's, it's usually pretty obvious, from what I remember. It's like, stuff to bear! You give it to Lane, and he's like, Ah, I have no need for such trivialities. And Luke goes, Gimme, gimme! So you're like, okay, there you go. It's just like, they add these like little extra mini-games on top of the core walk around, talk to people, solve puzzles. All of the, the Layton games have stuff like this. They're all different. Uh, which is it's neat. It's like an extra little thing. The team in the game is too... Mm -hmm. uh, you always go back, change the layout of rhymes. Don't think too hard about it. If any new item in your rooms is fully been sent to the room with the main space. When they're both completely satisfied with their living quarters, something good will happen. The place is still rather empty, isn't it? Well, I don't even have any furniture, Professor. No good. What a fine piece of furniture even matches the walls. I am very fond of handmade things. A square rug? Well, I guess they'll do in a pinch. I really want one that's shaped like a race car. This still looks like it wouldn't be very comfy to sit on. What a dump! Yeah. So, it's not so much a puzzle as you got things, drop them in a room. It's fine. Homie's deciding on what to eat. <laughs> hmm. 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 And then Todd eventually going, Okay, we're doing this now. No one decided. A Ferris wheel. Quite a large one at that. A manhole. It wouldn't do to have... Wouldn't do to have... To, to pop the top and have a look. It wouldn't do. Yeah. Gonna hundo this? Probably not hundo, but... We'll see. I'm sorry to trouble you, madam, but have you seen a white cat run by? A white cat? Yes, it ran over that way towards the park. You may I ask where you're planning on doing it once you find it? I'm gonna take it back to Lady Dolly. It's her cat, and she's asked us to bring it back to her. <laughs> and you're gonna try and catch that cat barehanded? Oh, good heavens! That's a bit naive, don't you think? Listen here, cats love treats. Let's so try to lure it over with some food. What do you suggest? I've got some old fish bones around here that I'm sure the little thing would go wild over. You mean pog bones? That's my name. I'd be happy to give them to you if you solve this puzzle for me. Wow. Pig pen partitions. Seven prize winning pigs are lazing about in a pen. To make sure that the pigs don't fight with each other, you've decided to section off the pen with three ropes. 
can you hitch the ropes up to some of the posts shown below and separate each pig from its neighbor? Remember, not even a snout or curly tail can sneak over each partition. Dress us one point another draw a line when you finish Yeah. Hmm. Well, we got we got three ropes. Maybe that one. And then maybe um maybe that that one. And um maybe Shit. Can I do more? No! Um Yeah, this is fun. What is the pog bones like meant to play? That's what I thought too, Todd. I don't know. I, I apparently it's a league thing. The lines were super close to the middle one. Yeah. Probably at weird angles and shit. Um Hmm. Does that count? Probably not. Well, um No. Do, 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 do. Ba, da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. That's close. Do, do, do. Did I do that? Did I did it? Release the pigs. That should do it. Oh my god. This game is feel so smart until it makes me feel extremely dumb. An answer. Pop was the jinx thing. Mmm. Good job. You made those pigs very happy. Thank you. I must say I'm very impressed. Here you go, some fish bones as promised. Good luck with the cat. Fish bones. Good. But Professor! Oh god, the bees! Oh, I have just had it this time! I think I'm gonna explode! It's me, Pauly. Like a water balloon filled with rage! Not fish bones, pog bones. What's that? Why am I angry, you ask? Why am I angry? Let me in here, will you, guy? There are these three bozos in town, and we just can't stand each other. It's so bad that none of us want to see each other's ugly mugs, but St. Mystery ain't a big place, right? Sometimes we cross paths on the way to work, and just like that, bam! Time for a screaming match. I sure do wish we could find a way to keep from bumping into each other in the mornings. Hang on now, you look like you got a good head on your shoulders. Do a guy a favor and help me with this. Yeah, okay. That's good. There he goes. 50 pick rats. Draw a path between one man's home and his work by connecting matching blocks. The catch is that these men can't stand each other. Make sure none of the paths touch. To make a path, all you need to do is tap a block and start drawing. Something tells me that B and B aren't just going to get connected right down the middle. Um. Yeah, well, how about we start with this one? Make it go, no. It's, uh, all the way around. Uh, like that. And then, um. Whoa. Thank you. Wait, that's not gonna do. That won't do. How about we inexplicably cut through downtown? No, that doesn't work. Maybe, oh. Oh. Wait, maybe these do that. And then this. No. Now you can't D. I'm allowed to do whatever I want. Hold on. Hold on, this is fine. Um. Hmm. 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 Okay, let's just let's just work backwards and figure out how to what did how how do. Hmm. 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 Uh, that's a dilemma. Uh, <coughs> yeah. Now nah, you can't D. Oh god, it's many motorways. Um, how about D? And then, um, and then, um, can't do that that way. Wait, wait, my god, I almost got it. That was really exciting for a second there. Well, hold on, maybe, maybe that can do -si do around. Um, not quite. Ugh. The blur. Nope. Nope. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna get it. Wait. Wait. Hold on. What if? Nope. How? 
They knew what they were doing putting an extra wide block here. It's very rude. Hmm. 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 Is that how we want to climb over a building? Yeah. Hey, is these the odd space going back around B or is that cut a red herring? That's just going around behind B. I mean, maybe. Could do. Uh, which one of them can parkour? Which one of them can do a parkour? I think that this C is actually correct, though. I think he's got to go this way. And then... Only he could just cut through there. If only... Um... Uh, yeah... Yeah, he pointed at me. Thank Every you, sir. Has an answer. Thank you, sir. That's right. Now they're gonna have to look at each other. Good job. Thank you. I'm a genius. Takes a million, guy. I can finally get back to work without blowing my stack. I really mean it, Pally. You're a lot smarter than you look. What do you mean? I don't look smart. Layton says with a vacant expression. Let me clue you in. See that big old mess of a tower beyond the town square? Take a tip from me. If you know what's good for you, you stay away from that thing. Well, right then. I'm off. Thanks again, buddy. I found a strange gizmo. Oh, boy. Nice work on your English, Pally. Nope. That's not my job. I'm a puzzleologist, not a therapist. Yeah, right. What do we got? Um, I got gizmos and gadgets. Boom. That's a toe. Yeah, you see, you think it's the tongue or, so, or like the nose? And it's like, nope, that's just his foot. It's messed up, man. I'm mad again, you see? It's been 10 seconds and I'm mad about something else. This time I'm just livid. It's just too much to take. The needle on my wrath meter is completely buried. Why am I so worked up? It's this blasted puzzle. I've been trying to work it out since yesterday. I just can't get it. It has me so steamed I can't sleep. You stupid jerk of a puzzle. Come here and take a look, will you? Polly. Therapists are the puzzleologists of the human mind. It's, po it's poetry. Thank you. A man has been prescribed 10 pills starting to get today. He must take one pill a day. Because the concentration of the medicine is different in each pill, he must take them in a specific order. Since the pills all look the same, the man has decided to write numbers on each pill to help him remember the order he needs to take them in. How many pills does he have to number? If he wants to keep track of the order. This poor man. Oh my god. What a terrible system. Um. I don't know if we're gonna 100%. Well, we'll see how it goes. Um. How about, how about, um. This, this man. This man right here. This guy. He takes all the pills. And he just grinds them up into a blender. Um. And you suffer. He's got 10 pills. Is it 9 or is it 8? Ugh. You must take them in a specific order. They're latent series. Nine, eight. What kind of doctor? Right? They all look the same, but take them in the right order, and also we're not going to help you. But if he cuts them in half, right? Cut them in half, and then uh, some... By eight? I mean, I don't know. Just because pro nine is the obvious answer, so it's probably eight. I'm not even thinking about it. Takes one of the day, labels always takes the last one. He just eats the first one, maybe? Eight, because he eats one today. Uh, he wants to keep track of the order. Starting today, so yeah. Hey, zombie. Well, let's, let's give it a go. Come on, buddy. That should do it. I feel like I'm gambling because I didn't think that hard about it. Okay. You're Every smart, Chad. Has an oh. answer. Since the man has to start taking his medicine today, the first thing he should do is take today's pill. Next, he should label the pills for days two through nine, and they shouldn't have to label the last day. There you go. Those are giant pills, dude. Yeah. I don't think that's a. I think it's an oral pill, my dude. What were you thinking, man? Here I was ready to solve it all by myself. Why'd you have to go and ruin everything? The noive. With that puzzle solved, I can finally sleep again. So I guess I owe you guys one. Thanks. I know you both have your work cut out for you, so good luck, yeah? 
Thank you for the strange gizmo. Mm-hmm. Practice. Oh. He needs a shoehorn to get that fucker in. Damn. That's a hell of a pill. What part of the dog is this? Leg. Good. That's me, Pogbones. Yeah, right. Wait, who are you? You weren't there before. Tee hee hee. That guy gets so worked up, he turns red like a tomato. He looks so dumb. Well, you're the one judging him, so who's the real dumb one? Goodbye. I know what a shoehorn is. Are you saying you don't know what a shoehorn is? Shoehorn is like a, a little metal, usually metal contraption to put your foot into a shoe. No, you. There's the cat. Hold on, that looks like a puzzle over there. Like a metal tongue. Mm -hmm. Some of the people don't know. Oh. Gotcha. That filthy jar. Ugh. So filthy. Reminds me of a puzzle, my boy. Bottle full of germs. Oh. A glass jar. Look at them. They're hanging out. A glass jar holds a single germ. After one minute, the germ splits into two germs. One minute after that, the two germs each split again, forming a total of four germs. Continuing at this rate, a single germ can multiply to fill the whole jar in exactly one hour. Knowing this, how long in minutes would it take to fill the jar if you started with two germs? I hate this puzzle just because it's saying that the jar will be filled with germs. What does that mean? Is it half the time? Is, it's, is it N minus one? Is it a quarter of the time? 59 minutes. That's the clue, though. Yeah. It's one minute less? Because it's one split in a minute? So you're only saving one minute? It's exponential. Are you sure, chat? It splits into two after one minute. You saved one step. The jar can hold so many germs. Look how happy- I know I'm happy Indiana for them. Indiana Jones Manic. has a phobia, and it's snakes, and it's snakes, and it's snakes, but he keeps living anyway. You got that snake vaccine. In a pit and he quakes, no snakes are bothering you snakes. now. snakes, and if there's a reason, I'm still alive, when the number of snakes here is five. I'll try 59. I'm willing 59. to wait for it. I'm willing to snake for it. Thank you, Manic. I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna give it a go. How does this sound? My gut feels like it's wrong. But it's right. So, well done, chat. Legends Apprentice. This is what happens to, when I play these games, my brain turns into spaghetti and mashed potatoes, so... I just overthink everything. Oh, the big boy has a mustache! Summer two germs instead, one only saves you one minute. It's the only thing removed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Phil! How you doing, man? What's up, Phil? Look, you're gonna- yeah, you're gonna help us solve some puzzles? <laughs> I have a captured DS and I'm... So far, so good. I don't think there's been any issues on stream, right? The audio's been working and stuff. Audio's in sync with the video, which is nice. This stream reminds me of a puzzle. It doubles the number of germs, doubles every minute. Starting with two is one doubling, only saves one minute. We captured a DS. We did. Excellent job. Anyway, there's a cat. This jar is kind of neat. Why don't we take it with us? We're going to get a video capturing DS. Uh, well, I got one sent to me by a viewer. Jake Doodle is their username. Um, the manufacturers that used to make them, I think, are out of business. So I think they're tough to get unless you get one secondhand. You look great, Phil. God damn it, Phil. Luke wants to keep the slime jar. Yeah, he does. My boy, it's covered in grime. What's this? Something's hidden inside the jar. I think you're right. Luke, reach a hand in and see what's inside, will you? Oh, no. Oh, it's just a painting scrap. Okay, good. That could have gone really poorly. Ah, something's biting me, Professor. It's all right, Luke. Hold on. I don't know, Professor. Yeah, yeah. Now look at look at me go. We can. It's basically solved now. Good work. Good work, Luke. And tetanus. Very good. That's a Ferris wheel back there. Oh, but 10 a.m. shut, 5 p.m. What kind of loud throws garbage wherever he pleases? Looks more like a forest. 
Anyway, let's look at the cat. Let's look at that. Look, it's full of eyeballs. Hoflex. Thank you, Hoflex. It's for the vine, Luke. Think of the vine. Professor, there she is. Quickly then, use the fish bones. Here, Claudia, come on, girl. Meow. Meow. She's happy now. We've done it, Professor. Here she comes. Excellent. Now we can head back to Reinhold Manor. Meow, says Claudia. She sounds like Willa. <laughs> we solved the mystery of where that cat go. There it went. We truly are the greatest minds of a generation. Having successfully caught Claudia, Professor Layton and Luke decide to head back to Reinhold Manor. We did it. Are you becoming accustomed to moving around and investigating St. Mystere? Here's some advice to keep your investigation running smoothly. Some puzzles will disappear from their location in town as the story progresses. But there's no need to worry. Most of the unsolved, most of the unsolved puzzles are sent to Granny Riddleton's shack in the village square. Visit often to track down puzzles you passed up and work towards completing every puzzle in the game. Boy, well, tell it now because no puzzles have been un uh, have been missable up to this point. But I missed juice pictures. So now it's hanging on there. So technically it's not missable. You just missed the NPC or thing on the wall that would give it to you. But you can still do it. It's a nice answer, I think. A nice solution to that puzzle of game development. Something doesn't seem quite right, Professor. Also, if there's a puzzle that's still out there that I missed, it's not going to go to Granny Realton, so it still pays off to be thorough and investigate. Professor! Oh, it's simply awful. Come quickly, please. Would you look at the smear frames on that lad? What's the matter, Matthew? If you're worried about the cat, we brought her back safe and sound. There she is. Oh, well, madam, we're very happy to hear that. But this is no time to worry about a cat. Just hurry upstairs right this way, please. So you're the famous Professor Layton, then? The name's Chelmy. Inspector Chelmy. I'm the inspector on this case. But I'd hardly call it a case. If this is about Claudia, we've brought her back safe and sound. Oh, Claudia, my baby. Mama missed you so much. Meow, says Claudia. What's this cat doing here? Why on earth would you bring an animal into a crime scene? Have some sense. We were out when this crime took place and don't know what's going on. Could you please fill us in? There's been a murder, Professor. A man was killed here. What? Who was murdered? The victim was a resident of this address, one Simon Reinhold. Simon was the man with the glasses who made us do math. Approximately two hours ago, we were chasing a cat for two hours. I received a report that a man had collapsed at Reinhold Manor. Upon arrival at the scene, it was apparent to me that Simon was already dead. I see. And the cause of death, Lane is unfazed by this. I'm currently conducting an investigation to look into it. I'll just let you know right now, Mr. Layton, I'm looking at you as a potential suspect as well. The rest of the details concerning this investigation are classified. Speaking of the details, who placed the call to the authorities? Are your ears clogged, you deaf? Didn't I just tell you those details are classified, hmm? All right, everyone, I'll be taking statements from each of you in the other room. Come in one by one. Let me make this clear. Under no circumstances is anyone to leave until I've talked to everyone. Well, let's talk about that murder then, huh? Oh, me turn into a bush. I miss him. Oh, cool. Hello, then. Also, he came to the middle of the country in two hours. From London Town. Matthew, did you notice any strange characters around the manor at the time of the incident? Not a soul, I'm afraid. I didn't even know about Master Simon until Inspector Chelmley showed up. And where is Simon's body now? I didn't see this, but I was told that the inspector carried the body out shortly after arriving. I see. Well, it looks like this... It looks like for the moment we are without a lead on this case. Ah, but you know, I found this in the room where Master Simon's body was discovered. What is this? I'm sorry to say I have no idea, but I thought it might be a clue, so I made sure to hold on to it. 
Amazing! It's a cog so small that one could search the room and miss it. It has an engraving. Dropped cogs. A small cog? Now that you mention it, I know a puzzle about an object that almost fits that description. What are you joking? A puzzle at a time like this? Now, now, Luke, let's hear him out. Ooh, find the dot. This is a good one, Luke. Are you kidding me, Professor? You're holding an eight-pointed shape with a red dot in it. If you hold the shape so the red dot is in the position shown in the diagram, ah, then flip it over, you'll see a black dot as depicted below. Now assume you're holding the shape as shown on the left side of the diagram. Where will the black dot be when you flip the shape over? Draw a circle around where you think the black dot, black dot should go. So it's, um, you spin it around, and then it's just two counterclockwise, right? Oh, wait, no, it's, 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 it's clockwise two, two to the right, and then flipped over. So it's, uh, so it's this guy. It's that one. That should do it. So sad. Mm-hmm. Ah! What do you mean, no? Every puzzle has an answer. I solved it with my brain. That's right. Take a look at the diary for the answer. See? I did it. You. You. No, I, I, it's fine. You'll get him next time, chief. You! My apologies, but I'm afraid I don't know anything that would aid your investigation. Not at all. This small gear is more than enough for us to go on. I'm Ingress with Solana, man. You're welcome. I do, oh, listen, everyone's good at different types of things. So when they're like, hey, move a chicken across the river, I'm like, oh god. This is the next year of my life. They're like, imagine a thing in three dimensions. I'm like, eh, I'm okay at that. It's, yeah, it's game's rule of fairy. Anything that's extremely simple will take me ages to solve. Anything that's remotely complicated or unlikely to happen is all but guaranteed to happen. I do wonder why you're giving this to us. I believe you're a good man, Professor. I'm confident you will put the whole of this puzzle together. I appreciate the vote of confidence, Matthew. Thank you for the dog leg as well. Quaternions, no. Boom. No, I don't have a brain anymore. Quaternions, you say? I hardly know them. There you go. Done. How underwhelming. I know, right, reprogram? I thought that was gonna be all day. Legit. Uh, you there. Talk to you. That gives most evidence. I'm evidence. Imagine. A murder in this very house. It brings a chill to my spine, it does. You're a detective, are you not? Do hurry and find the monster that did this. Thank you for subscribing. Appreciate it. My good sir, I am no detective, but I agree that your concerns are certainly warranted. No one is safe until that criminal is behind bars. By sentiments, exactly. I just don't understand it. Simon could be snide, but he wasn't exactly the type to be hated. If the criminal was after my brother's fortune, I could very well be this fiend's next target. You have a point. If we narrow the motive to stealing the Reinhold fortune, there are a few sus potential suspects. Good gracious, you don't think I'd do something like this now? Simon and I got along very well, I'll have you know. He wasn't very close with Augustus, though. Well, he's a professor of, um, professoring. Is he an archaeology professor? That's amazing. If something is easy, it may take very a long time to finish. If something's infamously hard, Barry will first try it. Or thereabouts. It's not a hard and fast law, but it does occur quite a bit. Uh, you know, all this talk of families has me contemplating a puzzle I once heard. Buzzer. Bickering brothers. Well, he's not solving the murder. He's solving other circumstances around the murder. Six brothers have gathered around a table to eat dinner. Each of the brothers is prone to fighting with the siblings directly above and below him in age and can't be seated next to either of them. Also, brothers three and five got in an argument the other day and refused to stand next to each other. The eldest brother, number one, has already sat down at the big table and is waiting on the others to start eating. Can you find a scene arrangement that will keep everyone from fighting with each other? Yeah, I mean, maybe. They do have good hats. So brother number one is having a sit. And uh, their ages are next to them? No, that's the same numbers. Um, directly above below him in age, he's the eldest brother. So the smaller the number, the older they are? I guess it doesn't really matter. Just that they can't be the numbers above and below them. So, um, 
just just spread them out like like um nope shit nope wait nope wait um how's that three and five can't sit next to each other damn it um um how about swap these two nope that's five and six swap these two that's four and five swap these two how's that uh no four and five shit uh um um Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How's that? Seven! Looks good. Things good. Luke, here's my answer. Three and five? Shit, what'd I do? Ah. Uh, I suppose I fought well. They're an unruly bunch. Hold on. Find three together? Ah. Uh. Well, listen. They, they gotta get along sooner or later, right? Uh, oh, they are next to each other. Um, and then, um, no. Um, no. Wait, no. I always went up with three and five next to each other. Damn it! Swap two and five. Wait. Um, hold on, hold on. Um, no, I can't do that. No. No. Um, five and six are next to each other. I'm just kind of doing this at random. I don't know if there's a smart way to do it. Almost every arrangement but the right one. That feels pretty good. Uh. 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 Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Have to be five. Be opposite. Um. I can do that. Like that. Three to one side of one and five on the other. Oh, you mean like that? Um, is that possible? Sure seems it. Is that it? Looks good. Seems good. <laughs> Checks out. <laughs> just like I don't know. I don't know if there's a smart way to methodically go through that. I'm just like, Every I don't know, just has an slap them around the room until it looks good. Since the boys have shown there shouldn't be any trouble, mere image of the scene arrangement is also valid. Finally, a meal in peace. And they're fighting. So that's the answer. Thank you for clearing up that puzzle. But we're still no closer to finding Simon's killer. I assure you I had nothing to do with it. So please go out and find the real murderer. Of course. I understand your position. It appears I am a suspect, too. I'll find out what I can. Good. They can still bicker. Now they're just yelling across one. So that's unfair for one, but... It's fine. It's fine. I got a toaster. That's the heart of the dog. Naturally. Alright. Inspector? What do you got for me? Is this everyone who was present at the site of the crime? I believe we're missing Ramon, sir. Ramon? Where is he and what on earth is he doing? Matthew, fetch Ramon at once. To be honest, madam, thinking on it, I've not seen Ramon for a few hours now. What? Don't tell me he was taken as well. Hold on a moment. He's a suspect too. He's also perhaps he fled the scene of the crime. Where could he be at a time like this? What if the murderer got Ramon too? There they go. What happened? Hey, Fiend. Oh, tell me. Wait a moment, Luke. Yes, Professor? There's something I'd like to discuss with Lady Dahlia. It shouldn't take very long at all. Where, where, is, where is she? I'm not allowed to leave. Because they want, they want to talk to someone that's invisible. Inspector! Where'd Lady Dahlia go? 
I believe Madam has retired to the adjoining room to relax on her own. She's a strong woman, but it's only natural she needs to rest after a terrible event like this. Very well, then. Would you please let her know that I have something I'd like to talk to her about? But of course, Professor. Please wait here. Lady Dahlia might act like an ice queen, but I guess even she was shaken by today's events. Luke, if you wish to ever become a true gentleman, you'll need to start showing a little more sensitivity. Of course, Professor. I apologize. That was wrong of me. Madam will see you now. Just head back through the doorway on the left. My, my, Luke. My, my. I thought better of you for some reason. She's a jerk, though. What a lovely vase. Those are some posh curtains in it, Professor. I sat down on a coin. You tickled me, Bob. Professor. Oh. He's thinking real hard about everything. Lady Dahlia, I have a deep suspicion this murder is connected to the mystery of the golden apple. What? It's too early to say for sure, but I think that it's highly probable the two matters are linked. And you think that Ramon is somehow involved in all this? Potentially, yes. However, as of yet, we don't have enough information to draw any solid conclusions. I see. If that's the case, I have a request for you, Professor. Find Ramon and bring him back here to me. It sickens me that I'm being considered a suspect in this brutal crime. I must prove my innocence at once. As you wish, Lady Dahlia. We will ask around town to see what we can find. I appreciate your help, Professor. Well, then I'll be awaiting the good news in the parlor. Good. This reminds me of a puzzle. The missing servant. Ramon's disappearance. What happened to him? He went oh hoo 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 and became an owl and flew away. Sorry, that's that's the twist. Ramon. Ah! He's stuck in the bathroom. The case of what the missing dude went. Where'd he go? Hmm? Whoa! Would you look at that? Look at this picture. What is it, Professor? Oh, isn't that Lady Dahlia? She's holding a baby. A wee babu. That baby must be Baron Reynolds' daughter, then. Flora was her name, wasn't it? Gosh, what a cute baby. Lady Dahlia hasn't changed much. Has she? Chat, no. You know, Luke. They say true beauty never ages. I suppose so, Professor. But even so, it makes me wonder. Maybe we can ask Lady Dahlia about it. Where'd she go? She's running around. Man. Pardon me, but we happened upon an adorable picture of you and your daughter Flora a moment ago. I beg your pardon? The picture of you holding a baby. The one that sits in the next room. I'm sorry, but you must be mistaken. I never had any children. Huh? My apologies, madam. I must have been mistaken. At any rate, time is of the essence here. Go find Ramon and bring him back, would you? If that's not Lady Dolly in the photograph, then who on earth could it be? I think we'll do well to ask the butler a few questions. Perhaps he can clear this up for us. It was Flora what did it. It was Luke. It was me. I did it. The player. By the way, Mr. Layton, I hear you're something of a puzzle connoisseur. This puzzle was popular in London when I left. I wonder if you have what it takes to solve it. Hmm. It was Fauna, not Flora. Five suspects. Five suspects are calling the police headquarters for questioning. They give the following statements. One of the five of us is lying. Two of the five of us are lying. I know these guys and three of the five of us are lying. Don't listen to a word they say. Out of the five of us, four are lying. All five of us are dirty, rotten liars. The police only want to release the suspects who are telling the truth. How many people should they let go? Everyone's telling the truth? I think it was one of them. None? No. He has to... Well. Because here's the thing. If he was lying about all of them being liars, then they'd be telling the truth. Would they be lying about them? Be there being five liars? So, that means then if D said four of us are lying... But then, but then if they're, if they themselves are telling the truth, 
then that's not one of Ulrich thanks for the hydrate um so E is lying right we can agree on that they're all paying the ass this statement is false so okay okay E is lying so then if D was telling the truth that four are lying that would include E but that means that D is telling the truth but then wait hold on D is possible a lot of us only tell lies they're capable of telling the truth, they just usually don't. I mean, in the context of a puzzle, you assume everything they say is a lie. Um, and you cannot find a friend. So, if D is telling the truth about there being four liars, that means that there's two people telling the truth. Wait, no, no, no. E is lying. So, D is correct. Right? Because then there's four people lying and one telling the truth who is D. A, B, C... Different numbers, so it's D and one person can leave. The answer is one is stupid, stupid. It's the answer is one. If it's not one, then I'm mad, but I'm probably mad anyway. There we go. It doesn't matter as long as it just matters about D. Every suspect accused a different number of people. If anyone was telling the truth, it had to be one suspect, no more or less. The only suspect whose statement fits that condition is D. Looks like he's a free man now. There he goes. Goodbye. Just keep them all just to be sure. Suppose I should have given you a tougher puzzle to solve. You'd do best to use that brain of yours to find that golden apple everyone's a buzz about. Ooh, another foot. Thanks, Inspector. The more the plot chugs along, the more I'm remembering about where things go. And the more I remember, the more mad I get. <laughs> and it's a lot of fun. And if you know what's coming, just smile. We won't get to anything today, but if I play more on stream, we'll get to the nonsense. Just stay with a smile. Everything's fine. <laughs> I don't know nothing. Me neither. This is Shakira, and her hips don't lie. This is Shakira's twin sister, whose hips never tell the truth. You may ask only one question. Which game has the hamster? I don't remember a hamster. Hmm. I'll play like half the game. Oh, you missed the best stuff then. Do you have a moment? Certainly, sir. How can I help you? It's about the picture of Lady Dolly upstairs. The one of her holding a small child. Is it the second one? That's the movie Bolt. Second one has the hamster. Pandora's box. I don't remember the hamster. Hmm. Miracle Mask got a bunny. Was it Last Spectre? With, um... Swamp Gas? As a main element? Whatever. About that old picture. That's not Lady Dolly, I'm afraid. It's a picture of Baron Reinhold's former wife. That's Unwound Future, is the time travel. Maybe. Something like that. I certainly understand why you would mistake one for the other. The time travel game wrecked me. The time travel game is emotionally devastating. And not for anything that, like, the plot is like, look at these characters. Just like everything about... The way they handle the time travel is just... Amazing. It's truly a work of art. That was two? So my guess was Diabol Bo Diabolical Box. Oh. You mean F Lost Future? Am I getting them confused? I don't know. They were virtually identical in their appearance, their gesture, and even in the way they moved. So that photo isn't of Lady Dahlia, but an earlier wife of the Baron. Imagine finding someone who looks that much like you. What are the odds? Is there a chance the two are relatives of one another? It's regional? So it is Unwound Future, right? But only in the States. Elsewhere it's something else. Lost Future? Unwound was yours. Gotcha. I never... I've never heard anything su to suggest as much, sir. It just happened one day. The Baron arrived home and at his side was Lady Dahlia. I'm sorry to say that's all I really know about the matter. Not at all. You've been most helpful. Thank you, Matthew. They're identical. They might be... <laughs> How odd. The more I hear, the stranger the whole affair starts to sound. Catch you later, James. Yeah, here's, here's the thing is it's like she's identical in every aspect, but no one ever asked if she was a twin. So... Why is this a mystery? She's clearly just a twin. <laughs> it's just... Hmm. Let's ponder on this, shall we, Luke? Ah, oh, she may be a twin. 
a long lost twin of the original Madame of the house. Yes, indeed. And off we go. Don't question it. Oops, I married a doppelganger. That sounds like an anime. All right. Cat, do you have a puzzle for us? Did, did, did the cat murder Simon? Hmm? Secretly the same person. What a twist. Mrar. <laughs> these are... These are Simon's glasses. But how on earth did they end up here? This could be a key clue in the investigation. I think it best if we brought this to Inspector Chelmy. The cat ate him. What's the matter, Mr. Layton? Inspector, take a look at these. These glasses belong to Simon. We found them out in the garden. What the? I imagine they simply fell off the body when it was being carried out of the village. Besides, if you have enough time to manage the village lost and found, shouldn't you be searching for the Reinald inheritance or whatever it is you're supposed to be doing? Of course, if you continue to interrupt my investigation, I have some ideas about what you can do. My sincerest apologies, Inspector. I don't like that chummy one bit. He reeks of smoke and he's so full of himself and the way he treats you, Professor, it's just too much. Luke, my boy, pay it no mind. Right now, we have other priorities. Let's go rask around town and find Ramon. Off we go. Wow. Thank you. Oh, there's a boat in that direction, isn't it? Would you, would you look at that? Right around there is a boat. Somewhere. I have a puzzle for you, traveler. Somewhere to my right is a water-faring vessel. Can you find it? Circle it with the touchpad now. I don't know. How many boats? I own one boat. How many boats do I own? Do you need to spend a hint coin? It's right there. One, the one boat I have. No? Mm-mm. No? Wrong? None. It's not my boat. I'm just borrowing it. I lied when I said it was my boat. <laughs> That's a good Look at you fretting away there. Whatever's the matter? Sorry to trouble you, but did you see Ramon around here today? He was here until just a while ago. It's my boat now. Look at me, I'm the captain now. I can't say I've seen him today, which is strange, considering how often he sneaks off the job. Enough of that. I hear you're quite nice with puzzles. Would you mind help me out with the puzzle I've been mulling over? No, right now? I'm sort of in the middle of something, but... If you insist, I can't say no to a good puzzle. One line puzzle one. Have you heard of one line puzzles? The idea is to place your pen to paper and draw a shape without lifting your pen from the pad or retracing any parts of the line. You can, however, cross lines. Now that you're familiar with the concept, look at the four pictures below. One of them cannot be drawn with one line. Which one is it? What, um, with one, with one, well, I could just draw over it, right? And be like, uh, do, 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 boop, boop, do, 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 boop, I fucked it up. Wait. Do, 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 boop, do, 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 you go out? No, 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 you gotta go in. And then go back out. Yeah, you can do that with one line. But this shit. Oh, fuck. Um, yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Yep, that's fine. Uh, this guy seems like, um, like it's maybe not this one. This one might not be possible. Hold on. Um, wait. Let's try the car. Um, do, 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 well, um, um, uh, da, 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 da. Do 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 boop. Wait, what if you start there? And then yes. And then yes. Yeah, that's fine. It's the house, it is. It's the house one, isn't it? There we go. What what it isn't it? it oh! Oh, has an answer. Nice. 
This is actually a very easy way to tell whether or not a given picture has been drawn in one stroke. This method will be revealed to you after you solve one more of these riddles. Is it like more than one point having three branches off or something? Kim. <laughs> That's some fine work there. I was stuck on this puzzle for I don't know how long. Odd or even number of lines. I want to say odd. Hmm. I don't think that's enough because you can just start on the odd segment and then work backwards from there. Because, like, there was that one point in the car near the front of the, uh, the front of the dashboard, I guess, roughly. Total number of points and lines connecting each point. Yeah. Because if there's one part with three lines coming out, you can start there. Then you're fine. If there's two, though, then you're fucked. So, I think that's how it works. I just had a terrible vision of you running into trouble tonight. Be careful out there, all right? Well, that was a welcome piece of news, but don't worry about me, because I don't scare easily. Ah! A gizmo! Oh, a puzzle index! Oh, Professor! Oh, I'm lightheaded, Professor. I need to lie down. Just for a wee bit. Nice. Wonder what it could be. N minus two. Hmm. The ones you can do. Mmm. Hello. Do you know anything about Missing Man? Also, Nolanator, 35 months. Raging Cajun 366 with 6 months. Pixel Ken J with 11 months. 1. It me birthday. 2. Lane's main theme made me appreciate accordings more. 3. Help you win all the Pikachus. Chew equals rat. I, that was like an hour ago. I apologize. I only just seen it now. But Pixel Ken J, I hope you have a wonderful happy birthday. Thank you very much for 11 months. I hope it's a wonderful day for you. And chat, if you didn't already, <laughs> do you join me in wishing Pixel Ken J a happy birthday? Sorry, it was so late. Charlie and Freeze, thanks for 47 months. One more month till next room unlock key. Also, hi, Barreled. Hello. Not as big farmer, thanks for 49 months and a tier two. That is a lot. Manic with a uh, hammy. Oh, Goopster, I just got my booster. Bracing self for sick. Well, I hope you have very mild symptoms, if any, and you feel right as rain real soon. Good on you for getting that booster. I got mine last month. And, uh, it did kick my butt a little bit, but I still prefer it to, uh, getting actually sick. So. Hope we get to take it easy and relax. Hot Flax, thanks for five gifted subs. To Peculiar Top Hat. That's fitting for Layton. The Zacatron. Zahaley uh, 13. Crash. Mm, and Fire Cat the Kid. Love that. Grand Cossack with 100 bits. Professor, I'm the murderer. I have a taste for blood. None shall solve the puzzle that is my bloodlust. Bar thunk. He's still in a thunk. Kiraselli, thanks for six months. I always wanted to get in this game, but it seemed like a lot of math for a thing to do in my leisure. I believe in you. Solve for X. There isn't that much math. And once you get enough hint coins, which is any, any puzzle that has math, you just spend hint coins. And by the third hint coin, it's just like, here's what you do. And also, it's the internet age. You could just be... And every puzzle's numbered and has a name. So you could just find a guide and be like, what's the answer? I don't care. It's not much math. It, 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 a lot of the puzzles are like, mm, gotcha. But that, that's like part of the game. If you wanted to have a real puzzle time, do like Sudoku or a crossword puzzle or something, which I love. But these games are full of mm, gotchas. And it's like, that's kind of part of the, part of the charm is you're like, damn it. I should have known. And then you feel real smart when you get them. Gotcha. Cheating. That's the answer. Sliding puzzle. Yeah. A lot of writing puzzles, you don't have to compete all, complete all of them. Th quite a few of the puzzles are, are not required. I don't know exactly how many, but they, usually it's pretty obvious when something's required to progress. Ox, thanks for 33 months. Welcome back. Appreciate it. Also, they make a point of telling you, like, in your puzzle directory, they show you, here are the puzzles you found but not finished. So you can... Be like, I don't want to do this right now, goodbye. And just go back to it later, and it'll keep track of it for you. Anyway, you two, what are you up to? Let me in on no secret. I got it, I got it. Don't tell me I told you I got it. Out searching for somebody, huh? Hitting the street for info, yeah. Sorry, I haven't seen your man. You sure you didn't see or hear anything that might help us? I gotcha. No, no, I got nothing for you. Quit asking me about it. Sheesh. I see. Well, in any case, thank you for your time. Oh, yeah, good luck with your crazy search. Two crazy kids on a crazy search, right? Right. Oh, but definitely do not go poking around the tower on the north side of town. Got it? Yeah, you got it. The tower on the north side of town? How do you even get to that part of town? 
You remember that clock tower in the square? I believe we must pass through it to get to the north side of town. Let's go check it out. Tens of thousands of mathematicians have been biting to solve this in a generalized form for decades. But we can probably figure it out at age 11. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably fine. That's the clock tower you're talking about, right, Professor? Yes, quite, quite, quite right. Hmm. Someone's standing under the entrance. Who could it be? Oh. Hey, where's, where's Granny? Granny Cream. There seems to be a puzzle embedded in this door. I could have sworn there was nothing there a minute ago. Fascinating. This puzzle appears to be acting as some sort of lock for this door. How delightful. Luke, my boy, why don't you give this puzzle a try? I'm almost certain the door will open if you solve it. Yeah. Get the ball out! Can you get the red ball out of the maze? 12 moves. Yeah, I'm not doing in 12. Move the blocks. Yep. We had a version of this um, when I was a kid. The version that has a little car and it's parked cars everywhere. So it's like little physical pieces that resembled cars. And the, 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 boy, I mean, call it a board game. It's like a puzzle thing. Was it called Rush Hour? Wow, 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 what's this? But it came with uh, cards of pre-made puzzles. So you'd set it up. You'd be like, okay, that's the arrangement. And then you have to figure it out. Go with boats. Nice. It's in my drawer. Nice. Okay, it's already messed up. No, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, that and that and this and some of these. If I move like that a little bit. Um, and then uh, a little bit of this. Wait. Wait a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of this. Uh huh. Maybe a little bit of that. If you if you if you'd be so kind as to um shit. Hold on. Hold on! I'm working on it. There you go. Wait, 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 there you go. How does this sound? Kind of an expert at everything. So, didn't even break a sweat. Yeah, your ball, the goal is harder than you expected, wasn't it? Now do it 20 more times. You're welcome. What are you, my therapist? Very nice. The door should open right up now. It's kind of messed up. You have to solve a puzzle in order to access the puzzle lady's extra puzzles, but it is fitting for the game. She got a house in the house. What the? What the? What the? What? What the? What? What the? Why, howdy! Do you often find yourself hopelessly, achingly, painfully stuck on puzzles? Well then, Sonny, you come to the right place. Welcome to Granny Riddleton's Puzzle Shack. Professor, I'd like to leave now. Hold on, Luke. This could be good. Granny Riddleton? Where can we find this lady? Isn't it obvious? She's right in front of you, boy. <gasps> Professor, I solved another puzzle. Very good, Luke. No wonder you have trouble solving puzzles. Yes, you are gazing at the beautiful and clairvoyant Granny Riddleton Guide to the Puzzled Puzzlers. Beautiful and clairvoyant. Professor, do you know what she's going on about? Fret not, Luke. Why don't you let me do the talking here? Sorry to disturb you, Miss Riddleton, but by clairvoyant, do you mean to say that you have psychic powers? Can you do things like, say, pick a criminal out of a crowd, or visualize the location of lost objects? This lady's ugly, Professor! Stop it, Luke. Pshaw! Any fortune teller can do that! So what if you can see a few days into the future? Big whoop! My specialty, you see, is puzzles! Puzzles people forget about? Puzzles people miss? Surely you boys have had a few of those, eh? No need to turn red, it happens to the best of puzzlers. What I do, you see, is I take those poor little lost puzzles and invite them to come stay with me. Wow, so those puzzles that we tried but weren't able to solve, those puzzles are here now? Ehe, it looks like you finally figured out what makes me so amazing, boy. Now go ahead and give a knock on the door of that little shack behind me. Inside you'll find rows of cute little jars, each one of them stuffed with a forgotten puzzle. I bet you can find those lost puzzles of yours somewhere in the midst of all my little pretties. Why are they in jars? Don't worry about it. Professor? Don't worry about it. There it is. Hmm. Well, suppose we might as well. Juice pitchers. Hmm. 
I'm here so you can get 100%. We spent a lot of time making these nonsense puzzles. Here we have an eight quart pitcher filled with juice, an empty five quart pitcher, and an empty three quart pitcher. The pitchers are unmarked, so your task is to divide the eight quarts of juice. So both the five quart pitcher and the eight quart pitcher are holding exactly four quarts. We found the granny juice. Touch pitcher, pick it up, move kind of stuff, pitcher like the look of the gum. I, it, it's not so much that they're making us do math, it's that they're making us do math with like quarts and inches and shit. I imagine in, in the European and Japanese versions, it's like meters and liters and centimeters and shit. Um, uh, I got an eight quart pitcher filled with juice, empty five quart pitcher, and empty three quart pitcher. Five quart pitcher in the eight or eight, only exactly four quarts. Oh, it's one of these. Yeah, the measurements are relevant. Yeah, it's just eight. So, um,. We do a little bit of that, and then maybe, um, maybe, um, um, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, wait, hold on. We got a little bit of that, and then, um, I can do, uh, 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 this gives us six, and then, um, I want to each have four quarts. So wait, hold on. No, the units never matter. It's just like, I don't know. Just thinking that it's quartz, I'm just like, nah. I don't like thinking about quartz. Um, hold on. Wait. And then, and then that. And then, um, and then, uh, and do that. I'm back where I started now. Just drink some. <laughs> Just drink a little. Now the liquid is in kilometers. Oh, good. Um, exactly four quarts. Eight slurp. Ooh, that sounds good. Um, so, what if I? What if I? Uh, <laughs> inspired those bullshit mobile game ads. Yeah. Three to eight and then five to three. Three to eight and then five to three. Three to eight. And then five to three. Wait, five to three. And then um wait. I was already at the step before. Maybe five and a three. No. What I want. Hmm? Hey, Despair is welcome. No, rip. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm just pouring shit around. No, that's fine. Um. Uh. I can fix it. So we got three, two, three. And then. Um, we got a. Well. Why are we. But why? Because an old lady told us to. What do you mean? What reason do we need? Puzzles. Seven. Having one and eight is the key? Oh, well, in that case, um... Let's... See if I remember how to get that. We got one and eight. So... Hmm. How do I use this one? Five to three? Well, <laughs> I was one I step away it. several times, wasn't I? You know, it seems obvious Rico once you've done it and it's success. settled. Well done! Seven moves. These liquid distribution problems have been around for ages, have even been spotted in Japanese texts from hundreds of years ago. It's an ancient scroll written in ink. And it's like, only 2% of people can solve this puzzle. It's got a drawing of... Some ink wells. Good. Ancient granny juice. Mm-hmm. Thanks, granny. Yeah, put that boot on that lad. He's looking real good. Hello. Oh, God, no. 
Ancient granny juice caused the visceral reaction. Why, howdy? You often find yourself hopeless? Oh, no. Oh, no. No. If the college is empty, it means you solved all the puzzles that are currently available. On the other hand, if you leave too many puzzles unsolved, they might not all fit in the cottage. If that's the case, you can see the rest of your lost puzzles by tapping on my little broom over there. See what you have waiting inside the cottage. They even had to figure out, oh god, what if they are so bad at puzzles that they have an entire cottage full of the puzzles? I only want to solve the puzzle of your heart. Is it true that what they're saying about the murder at Reinhold Manor? A murder in our little village, the very thought gives me goosebumps and a great idea for a novel. Excuse my insensitivity, I'm just always on the lookout for new ideas. How can I help you? I'm looking for Ramon, have you seen him around? No, I can't say I've seen him today. But if your search around town has turned up nothing, he's probably at the park or in the tower. You know, somewhere the villagers don't normally go. The tower, huh? They well, should stay as far from that tower as possible. There are all sorts of bad rumors about it. It sure seems that way. We keep running people who say that. Where are the rumors? You know, bad stuff. I am indeed, Venus. It's a, it's a 2DS. So I can do 3DS and DS kids. Stiff upper lip, and it? Someone commits tax fraud every day. There's something really scary about that tower. Oh, God. So how come this cutscene doesn't take into account the gap between screens, but then sometimes they do? It's fine. Unverified claims. Luke, think nothing of it. You got a puzzle for me or not? Still no luck finding the villain. What an odd world we live in. Well, you know what they say. Truth is stranger than fiction. Speaking of fiction, I just thought of this little gem. Please give me your honest feedback on it. There you go. How many sheets? I didn't want to make my bed. Several rectangular sheets of transparent film are arranged on top of each other as shown. The lines represent areas where one sheet overlaps with another. At the thickest point of this pile, how many sheets are overlapping? Um. Uh, 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 oh no. There's one, two, three, four, five. Five? Oh no, Gaia, welcome back. Praise the pile. I think it might be five. I think it's uh, uh, this this spot here. And it's got uh, uh, this lad, this lad, this lad, this lad, and this lad. All right. Can you draw? Sure can. Oh, wait, but there's, there's a smaller... Wait, is there a smaller paper inside? No. I think it's only these outside ones. So, yeah. Four? I think it's five. Well, I mean, I... There's this one, as well as this one. So, one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna try! Maybe it's wrong. Come on, what you got? Luke you better point answer. at me, sir. Shit, yeah. Critical Who's a smart guy? You're a smart success. guy. Yeah. Oh, God. It's quite formidable when you get right down to it. I mean, yeah. You know the meme of uh, when you're playing a game on a handheld and then the screen goes black and you just see your own stupid face looking back and you're like, oh no. In this game, he points and it goes to black and you're like, eh. yeah, it's me. Beautiful work. I think the puzzles are right to my next novel will be even harder than that one. If you have time, stop by later. I'm sure to have an utterly fascinating puzzle prepared for you by then. Thanks for the gizmo. Oh, shit. I did. I made the puzzle happen. It was me, professor. Did you see that? I'm Luke. Whoa. Very good. And let me in. Let me into the tower. Not a lot of furniture for the end yet. No. That is weird. It's fine. Hey there, you've been pretty busy solving puzzles, yeah. Yeah, this is eye lips eye emoji, man. If you want to pass through here, you need to have solved at least 12 puzzles first. Looks like you've already done that. Hmm. Well, I guess I just lied to you then. If you really want to pass through here, you're also going to have to solve one more puzzle. Thanks. It's fine. Strange thoughts. 
The dice below look normal enough, but if you look carefully, you should see a pattern start to emerge. You know the following, A, 0, B, 9, C, 6. What does D correspond to? What? Huh? Huh? Yeah. Oh, it's a clock. Three. It's, 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 it's three o'clock. I was like, what am I looking at? Nice. There we go. And it's the clock tower puzzle, so you know. Every puzzle has an They answer. gotcha. They got you with that. It's a clock! Do you know how to look at time? Way to go! You earned it, mister. Come on through. You still have to that scary cat? We're looking for one of the Reinhold's employees now. He's a man by the name of Ramon. You haven't seen him about, have you? Ramon, huh? Uh, yeah, I think I might have. Oh, gosh. Where'd I see that guy? Maybe you're better off asking someone else. Go ask Lucy. She's standing under the clock tower. I thought we were standing under... Are those eyes? Hmm. Oh! Now there's a gap for where the screen is. Okay, whatever. We can finally pass through the clock tower to the north side of town. How exciting! I can't wait to see what's in store for us there. What lies and waits for Leighton and Luke? We'll find out right now. Um, let me look at those dog eyes. Quickly now. Oh, he looks beautiful. He looks wonderful. Hmm. Look at all this cutscene, eh, Professor? Pog bones. Good. My friend. What's that about, huh? Look at that cat, Professor. It's not cloudy, is it? No, no, on second thought, it is a different cat. Yes, it's an alley cat, but judging by the way he bullies that poor mouse, a rather mean one at that. Speaking of mice, have you heard this one before? What are you doing, Professor? Doing a rat jam. Too many rats. Mice are famous for their ability to multiply at breakneck speeds. They have sex, Luke. That's how they multiply, my boy. You see, the understanding of biology is important for puzzles. What, dear? What? What? Say it. Say it. Ignore the mouse about to die. Yeah, don't worry about it. Also, hi, dear. How you doing? Vampire? The mouse is ready for another mouse. Correct. The type of mouse we have here gives birth once a month, birthing 12 babies every, every time, each time. Baby mice maturing can give birth two months after they are born. You picked up one of these darling baby mice at the pet shop and brought it home the day after it was born. In 10 months from now, how many mice will you have? Duh. I'll tell you back what I said about math. You eat the mouse and gain its power. Um, so they give birth once a month to 12 babies. Baby mice maturing give birth two months after they're born. You brought home the day after it was born. So 10 months only gives you nine cycles, right? How many mice will you have? Why is the answer one? Greater than one. Zero, you cannot own a mouse. You only have one mouse. Oh. 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 I feel extremely dumb right now. <laughs> oh. Your mouse can't birth any babies by itself. Mice can reproduce by budding if they want. If they so choose. He sure did buy a and mouse. Alright, mouse, get at it. And more mice. Excellent work, Luke. They did it. Too many mice. Too many mice. It takes a lot to look at a mouse. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, you betcha. Oh boy, howdy. Wait, how about... Oh, that almost goes together. Wait, does it go together? Yeah, no, that does. That does go together. Oh my god. Why are the extra pixels, though? Hmm. He took that literally. Well, it's fine. 
Goodbye. I think it's the bottom. It probably is. It's fine for now. Uh, you there! Did you murder anybody today? Not today. What you doing? I could tell you want to ask me something, but would you mind solving my puzzle first? My little brother and I came up with this one together. If I must. Brother and sister. A boy and his big sister are sitting around the kitchen table chatting. You know, sis, if I took away two years from my age and gave them to you, you'd be twice my age, huh? Well, why don't you just give me one more on top of that, then I'll be three times your age. Just how old is each sibling? Brother. No, it took two ways for me to be twice my age. So, one mouse. One, they're zero years old. Uh, okay. So, uh, uh, <clears throat> so we got, um, this one here. And then we got this one here. And this, he's holding up three. She's holding up one. Um, it's important to note that, um, the room they're in is on fire. This will come into play in the puzzle later on, but for now, I will just add the necessary detail to convey that the room is on fire. And also, he has been stabbed through the head with an arrow. Um, and she's wearing really cool glasses. Sunglasses. Mm -hmm. And she has a fake mustache. So, now that we know these details, they're twins, I think? No, they're not twins. Where's the white chest promised? Uh, Chad decided that they like the, the tower of the two screens better. Which is fair. I mean, I can show you, I mean, if in, in case anyone missed it. Look what I can do. Wow, wide chat. And now, and now look at that. The top screen's real big. So that's an option. Negative B plus minus uppercase Q, lowercase Q, T, B squared minus 4AC over 2A. I thought it was X equals A, B plus or minus the square root of B squared over 2AC, 4AC? I don't know. I didn't say I love wide chat. Chat's allowed to be wide. Now make the top screen small. No. Ba -da -dum. You can see the, the, the non brick wall. Wide mode. The screens will be swapped. No, I didn't set them up to be swappable because the top screen on the DS is wider. I didn't. I mean, yeah, for a DS game, you're not wrong. But then that would make this, this part even wider to accommodate that, so it's fine. Having them separate like that is weird. I just figured for a lot of DS games where they're kind of doing separate things and not really stacked, it's fine. Tetris in the negative space. Maybe you can. Like, for example, in, like, uh, Link Between Worlds, you have an inventory in the bottom screen or, like, a map. You don't really need that directly underneath. So, it's fine. Anyway. Um, but pe people were like, no, we like this better. So you get this. There's six? <laughs> Meanwhile, someone's actually trying to figure it out. Oh, if there's six... Uh, <coughs> but so like two years from my age and game to you, you'd be twice my age, and then one more is nine. They're both six. You're right. Oh no. Oh no. Thanks for that. There we go. Ah, don't point. Every puzzle Execute has order 66, Luke. Professor? Do it. That's right. Only works with the uh, currently six since we were born with it. Within a year of each other. Must have been. Who knows? Was that too easy? Oh well. Hey, you know the guy from the mansion, Ramon? He may look sedate, but boy, does he like the nightlife. He's buddies with that party animal, Jarvis. Jarvis? I don't believe I know the man. Where might we find him? You see, Jarvis isn't the type to play place much value being gainfully employed. How old are you? At this time of day, he's probably lazing about around those steps to the north. Just head up north till you head a fork in the road and take the path to the right. I have to go and let's play again later. There you go. At least six. <laughs> Twelve and forty-five. Thanks for all that. This doesn't look like it's gonna open anytime soon. Does someone live here? Whose house is this? Some a bit bleak and sad about this place, isn't it? 
Look, Professor, there's a puzzle hidden here. No. Oh. Did look a bit like a snoot. Let's we'll take a look. A worm's dream. Ah, to be a dream of a worm. This worm's life's dream is to make it to the center of the apple. It's a slamming block puzzle. Pulling eight pieces to manage the task might seem easy as playing. Oh, God. All right, well. Uh, oh, there he is. We found him. <laughs> there he is. That's his dream. Uh, okay. All right. Um, let me just, uh, 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 gotta, gotta scooch that around about, wait, wait, like that, and then, um, uh, uh, wait, 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 nope, this is fine, um, no, I flipped those around, hold on, wait, gotta, how do I, how do I get those in the other order? Uh, uh, I think I gotta do some nonsense like that. Scooch it around. Uh, crap, that's close. Damn it. We gotta swap two in like the other order. It's just like, ah, fuck, everything sucks now. Um, so I need, I need this lad there. Then the bottom corner, which is very far away. Oh, God. Get back down here. Get down there. There you go. Um, shit. No. 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 What if it was just really thin and tall, Apple? Isn't that, isn't that fine? That's okay. Who really needs it that bad when you get down to it? What do you mean I've done 166 moves already? Don't count that. It's very rude. You shouldn't count a person's moves when they're selling, but no, later alligator. No, I don't need help. I'm fine. Thank you for asking. I'm good. Get rid of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. wait. Nope, nope, wrong, wait. Get that over there. Nope. Okay. And then, and then this does indeed belong there. Yeah, no problem, Gam. <laughs> uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. No, 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 I got, I got, I got, I just got, I got to get into my puzzle solving pose. All right. Yeah. Yeah. The opposite corners are the same, which makes it easier. Because we can just make it even worse when we fail to solve it later. Da 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 da. Ba da da. Da ba da ba da. Da ba da ba da da. I need to swap those two around. How do I do that? I need to. I need to get this lad over on the this side. Um. Hmm. 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 Mm-hmm. Hmm. Now I've just made it bad on this side. Um. Wait. Wait, hold on. What if we didn't do this one? This one's optional. So we could just, um, we just don't have to. We could. Da 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 da. Da da da, ba da da ba dim, di bu du du, ba da da ba dum, da ba da ba dum, ba bu da bu du, di bu du bu du du bu du bu du 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 bu bu, bu bu ba bu bi, bu bu ba bi bu ba. Shh. The screen froze. Oh, it sure did. How'd that happen? Hmm. 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 Um. No signal. How did that happen? Let's see. Hmm. Weird. Let me just unplug and replug it in. Well, the music's not coming in through the USB. It's coming in through the um, the audio jack, straight into my computer. 
Bum, 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 bum. We're back. Did you miss me? Professor, my inputs are frozen. Good news, though. I haven't accomplished anything. Um, yeah, so the, the Capture DS, it's, it's got... Oh, God. Hit me with that prediction. I have a hundred moves to solve it. Um, we're back and nothing's changed. Yep. Um, the, uh, 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 just in case anyone's wondering. Um, uh, so the Capture DS that I'm using, there was, when the manufacturer of these, uh, stopped making them, they had a beta feature for audio pass through over the USB. So you plug in one cable, grab the video, it also grab the audio as well. That feature is for some reason not working on this DS, so I had to plug in via the headphone jack into my computer. When I did that, it created a bunch of awful garbage noise. It was like in the background. It was a mess. So what I have is a ground loop isolator. It's a little box. And basically the audio cable is going through that into my computer and that eliminates the issue. So in case you ever get your own capture DS or 3DS and you're like, wow, the audio is awful. Do that. Why just use an emulator? Uh, a couple reasons. One, uh, whenever I can use real hardware, I prefer to just as a preference thing. Um, for two, DS games in particular, I've never emulated one myself, but I just don't like the idea of using a mouse to, like, secondhand do it. It's like, I like being able to touch directly on the screen. Very PSP, yeah. Using mouse is fucky. I mean, also, there are some DS games on the Wii U. I thought about doing that before, but with this, I can just do it legit. And, uh, I just got sent a, a captured DS. By Jake Doodle, who I will thank again and continually, because it was incredibly generous of them to do. Yeah, I thought about that too, Tom, but again, you're still touching indirectly, and like, you have to keep track of where the mouse is. It just seemed like a couple extra steps, and I don't know, but now I don't have to worry about it, because I got this little guy. 3D is still touching, I gotcha. PS4 controller touchpad? I meant the inputs. That, that would be weird if that worked. Blue between those two screens, yeah. I thought there was a way you could, like, hold the gamepad sideways and would do the two screen stack. I might be making that up. Yeah, screen tablet. Yeah, because those are cheap. Anyway, um... Shit, I have 103 moves. To finish this. Screen for the over two days? No. 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 Why would you? No. Um... So... I gotta, I gotta swap the order of these guys. Now I'm thinking real hard about it. Um... Hmm. I gotta keep this slide over there. And I gotta flip these around. So I have... That. Shit. Hmm. That's not it. I'm back where I started. How do I flip those two around? Where I need to have... The corner one there. I need the corner piece in the top middle. If I can get that... And then... Um... How in the hell... I just replaced one problem with another, though? I did. Come on! What the hell? What the hell? I hate this. I hate this. I hate this so much. I'm used to these puzzles having the corner being the empty space. Having it be in the middle is like breaking my brain. I'm just making chasing the same problem around the board. Yeah. I'm not gonna hit restart. At least not until I hit 500. Uh. I'm just gonna shuffle it around. And the solution will present itself, I guarantee it. Shit! 
I got really excited for a moment. I was like, wait, it's coming together. No. You think they just shuffled around then? Okay, that's 500. Mm. Mm. It's probably a really hilariously tiny number required to solve it. So I keep winding up with two swapped around. No matter what I do. Get one edge in order and leave that edge only with the other six spaces. Well, that's what I did. I got the left side fixed really early. In like 20 or so. Mm hmm. Thanks, Lil Vindovin. Uh. Um. Hmm. How do I how do I flip two without just flipping two others elsewhere? And then yeah, I end up just chasing that problem around the board. Is this helping? Yeah, it's helping a lot. Thank you. Um. Hmm. Corners. What about corners? Now I'm good. I just have these two to swap. Just eat the apple. You safely flip two opposite corners. But my corners are fine? Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm looking at chat like I'm going to be helped in any way, shape, or form. Um. Yeah. Blech. Mm hmm. Mm. This is pain. This is pain. All I did is move it over there. Ah! I'm done. I don't care. I don't care. Do it later! Granny! Leave me alone! I'm not- I'm an adult. I'm an adult. I don't care. I'm over it. Just point at that man. Ugh. Move it left. Twitch plays slap pause. Listen, I have a very powerful brain that can't handle moving a couple things around. What's this? Is this a JoJo character? It's just as I suspect I can tell from here, sir. You have something you want to ask me, no? Don't even try to hide it, sir. It's in your eyes and ask you may after you solve this puzzle for me. Okay. Island hopping. It's Animal Crossing. Here's an overhead view of the cluster of tropical islands. As you travel from start to goal, your objective is to visit every island exactly one time. The island folks say this can be accomplished with the addition of a single straight bridge. The only other rule is that your bridge can't cross over any pre-existing bridge. Where should your bridge go? Um, <clears throat> yeah, well. Good. Let me just, um... I'm trying to draw, I can't draw. Uh, visit everyone exactly one time. So you go like, boom, 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 boom. Maybe bridge here. Boom, boom. Nope, that's not good. What if you boom, 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 yeah, they can do that. And then, dun, 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 yeah. Bridge. Bridge. Final answer. There we go. Oh, I'm so smart. Is there a puzzle that I cannot solve? That's a rhetorical question. Don't answer it. Now get out of there and enjoy the island paradise. I will. You know I will just expect a fellow detective your skills to puzzle solving half almost Dare I say they approach my own. They never lie. And when they do, I know. I got a gizmo. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Gizmos. Slap those parts in there. Oh, good. Oh, he's coming along. He's a little fella. Have a good snooze, Duke. Hope you feel better after you had a heck of a lot of a long day. 
So if you get good snooze. Oh dear, your fortune for this month looks abysmal. I recommend solving my puzzle if you want to avoid this terrible, potentially gory fate. Oh. Good. One line puzzle, too. I do have one line puzzles, but I know you're familiar with the Look at the four pictures. One of them cannot be drawn a single line. Which one is it? Um. 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 Well, what if you did that? And then. Uh. <laughs> oh, God. Wait. Wait, that's fine. Just start there. Nope, also bad. Wait. No, you good. No, you good. You can do that. That's fine. Totally fine. Um, it might be the hat. I think it might be this dang old hat. Wait. Wait. Um. Wait. I think it's the hat. I'm just gonna go with the hat. Hat! A puzzle and hat. Oh! I did it! Yes! I'm so smart. The key is my fix looking at the areas where multiple lines intersect. When looking at these areas, take note of whether the number of lines running through a given point are odd or even. If all intersections contain an even number of lines, or if there are two intersections that contain an odd number of lines, you should be able to draw a picture in one line. If they're all even, or if there's two intersections that contain an odd number of lines. But if there's an odd number of intersections with odd number of lines, then it's impossible. There you go. Odd vertices. That, that was quick. Were you that scared of a month's worth of bad luck? Oh, I'm sorry to say there's nothing you can do to change fate. You just have to tough it out. Well, thanks. You're so wonderful for that. Cafe hasn't opened yet. Yeah, it's fine. Quite a few people live down here, Luke. They said make a left, right? Let's go left. You have one with one honor in a second. Yeah, it's fine. What do you want? Market's packed with stuff to buy. Isn't it, though? Isn't it, though? Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, right. What's up? Circuits and paths. Lend me an ear, would you? I'd like your expert opinion on this puzzle. It won't take but a minute. How old is Dad? It's quite a puzzle. A father and son are chatting when the son poses this question. Dad, I'm 22 now, but just how old are you? The father replies, you want to know how old your old man is, eh? Hmm, well, I'll tell you what. I'm as old as your age plus half of my age. How old is the father? I'm as old as your age plus half of my age. So, so, um, uh, dad's age equals, uh, 22 plus X over 2. Solve for X. One mouse. 300. It's 300 years old. Correct. Uh, well done. Yeah, it's 22 plus X over 2. So then you can multiply by 2. 2X equals 44 plus X. I don't remember how to do math. Minus an X. X equals 44. Is that it? 44. I'm as old as your age plus half of my age. Mm, yeah, he's 24. I haven't done simple algebra like that in a very long time. There we go. I didn't trust my own math. Another puzzle. Why don't you say twice your age? Why be like this? Because it's a puzzle! Aren't you puzzled? He's 44. Half his age plus your age, then it must be double your age. It's a very roundabout way. Mm-hmm. I guess I was on the right track all along. Thanks for your help, boys. Sorry for taking up so much of your time. I'll let you get back to whatever you were doing. Good day. Uh, we're trying to find a missing person. You care? Hey, at all about that? Hey, Keke, how you doing? We're using our brains. It's going really well. How are you doing, Keke? Uh, oh yeah, now that's a dog ear. If ever I did see one of those, you should know this. 
99% of people can't... Cannot. He's using them, Jim Jam. Not for sale. Oh, is he sleeping? Not a soul seems to live here. A lot of empty buildings around these parts. Hmm. Bit of a run downtown. Nice. Give me them hint coins. Buddy! Feeling- Ah! That was pretty small. Feel that. Let me tell you, lately, St. Mysterio's become a dangerous place. Case in point, I haven't seen Ramon since yesterday. Is that rascal missing or something? I don't know why people are disappearing, but recently they just vanished. Poof! Can't walk the streets alone. Really? Could you please elaborate a bit more on what you know of these mysterious disappearances? Nope, can't say I know the particulars of the subject. Seems to me that the only folks vanishing were the ones complaining of feeling sick or tired. Ah, oh, shucks, I don't, I don't really uh, remember much about it. You probably have better luck talking with Zapone about stuff like this. Here he's in the know about pretty much everything. Zapone, you say? Where might we find this person? Who is it? Why is it? You mean you didn't bump into him on the way here? He's the slouchy guy with the fancy little stash. You know him when you see him. Well, it sure is hard to catch a lead on this case. The day is far from over, Luke. Let's see, see what else we can find out by asking around. Village disappearances. I catch the super malaria and then they're out of sight. It's the darndest thing. Hello there. Um. Meh. I hope anytime soon. Tap a tap, 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 tap. Yep. Yeah, tap, tap. It's eerily quiet. Hmm. Curiously so. But where? Hello there. Say, Sonny, you haven't seen a big coin around here, have you? I could have sworn that I dropped a lovely one somewhere nearby. See, I always seem to be losing things nowadays, and replacing them gets mighty expensive. I become quite a penny pincher. Don't suppose you'd mind advising me on a tiny money matter, would you? Spend less on candles. Simple. Oh, God! A rope and coins are arranged as shown below. As you pull the ends of the rope out to the left and right, the rope will draw taut and push the coins to either side. Assuming you only get to keep the coins that end up on the top half of the rope, how many coins will you have? Oh, no. One mouse will run by and grab them all. Also, I have received an important update from Bath. What are they doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? Oh. Wait. Just lay still. It's nap time. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my god. Cut it out. What are you doing? What's the matter with you? Oh god. Alright. Um... So we gotta find everything that's on the other side of the, the thing. Um, so that's on the, the bottom. Um, and uh, that seems to be on the bottom. That's good. That one's on the bottom, right? Uh, yep, not that one. Yeah, I'm gonna get this wrong, aren't I? Um, that one's on the bottom. Oh God, oh this sucks. That one's good. Are these on the bottom? They seem to be. That one's good. That one... Is not... I think? That one's good, that one's not. That one's good. Oh god. Oh god, I hate this. Oh no. Um... Okay, and then just moving along. Like so. Um, that's good. That's not. That's good. Um, what the hell? I think that one's good. And then that. Wait, no, those are the same. Is is this one good? Is that one? I don't. I can't tell. I think you missed a few. Probably. My eyes are bleeding. Yeah, I don't know. Um. Yeah. Because this is the top. The top has got to be that side. So I think those are good. Man, I don't know. Just 
Tell me. There's no special trick. You just need to be diligent and count those coins. Then it's not a puzzle. It's busy work. Try tracing the rope with your stylus as you count the coins you fill up in the area that will travel upward and the rope is tight. You'll be able to get it without too much work. That's not a hint. There are 32 coins. When all is said and done, you won't even pull in a third of them. Okay. Just count. Also, I got rid of my notes. Thanks. The hints are useless. Yeah. Hey, Mono. For the taste stream festival, I had to sprint to it. Hey, appreciate it. Welcome. If there's rope underneath it. Yeah, the idea is that you pull it taut and any ropes, any coins on the top half of the rope as they're pulled will come to you. And I'm just like, I don't want to sit here counting. It's less than 11. Yeah. Just the one of the, yeah, I know, but I just don't want to do it. <laughs> I understand what I have to do, but I don't have the patience I had when I first played this game in the long, long ago. So that's, that's my dilemma. You see? Ugh. Ugh, God. All right. Fucking. I mean, you could. I wouldn't stop you, Envy Major. I wouldn't. I mean, listen. I would never condone cheating in a game such as this. I would never. However, if you randomly appeared and started telling me what the answer was, I would I would not know what to do. Um, no, I spent all three of my hit coins. It was fine. So this was a doll. And, um, this was a doll. And, uh, that's a no, and that's a no, and, uh, that's a no, and a no, and that's a no, and it's a no, and it's a no, and it's a no, and it's a no. Basically, if they can, if they're connected within the amoeba, then you're good, or the opposite of good. No, uh, no to that one. Da 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 ba da ba ba da ba 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 da da no 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 that's good that's not I think wait did I fuck it up I might have fucked it up no coin is worth this it's nine we 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 that's what we counted right we just counted nine. That should do it. Nice. Critical thinking is the key to success. Excellent, Isaac. Isaac. Well, we 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 counted them real good. Thanks, guys. Yeah. It's really quite a simple puzzle, but it takes quite a bit of time. Mm-hmm. Trick question: Those are buttons, not coins. Nice. Bye, what a sharp fellow you are. Now do an old man a favor and help me search for that coin, eh? This was the first autocomplete? You're not alone as the one who thought, fuck this. It's because it's not like, maybe there's a gotcha, or maybe I gotta think of it from a new perspective. It's just like, do it. <laughs> like, it's not a great puzzle. Yeah. I mean, as a kid, I guarantee you. Like, play. I mean, I say kid. I was like 17 when this came out. As a young man playing this for the first time, I... I don't think I looked up anything online, but, man. I'm sure I just sat there counting, being like, this sucks. Oh, I got a snoot! I'm booping the snoot. You can't see it. But I am indeed booping it. Yeah, kid. Sure. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Follow the long rope. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Hey there. You! Zapelli. Tell me what's up. Looking into the mysterious disappearances around the village, are you? Well, let me give you my take on the situation. As a small child of 30 years old, fuck that. Uh, let me give you my take. Uh, hmm. Something the matter? Oh my god, Gam. Yeah. Now I remember. If it's rumors you're after, take a tip from a fellow detective and go ask Crouton. He owns the restaurant in town. His name is Crouton? Where is he? Where's the restaurant? Oh, I'm Pogbones. Figure it out. It's a puzzle. <laughs> he just falls asleep. Um, isn't this the restaurant? That's the cafe. Where's the restaurant? Uh, Crouton, huh?
You're looking for the restaurant now. It's not far. Head a little to the west. Before you run off again, I got a tip for you. If you want to experience all that same mysterious to offer, you can't just run from point A to point B. Take some time to explore the city. You'll be glad you did. Appreciate it. We'll be sure to give it a try. Come look. We have work to do. To the west. You don't need directions. Oh my god. The heck was that sound? No, oh, I've just had it with someone. Please stop with that awful racket. What's the matter, sir? Who are you calling, sir? I'm a young man. Ah, oh, never mind that. I'm furious. That sound, that horrible noise. Can't get a wink of sleep at night. I used to, used to be the tower only made noise every once in a while. But recently, it's been roaring nonstop. How am I supposed to sleep? Do you hear me, you big jerk of a tower? How am I supposed to sleep? Please calm yourself, sir. Do you have any idea what the source of that deafening din is? You know, now you mention it, I don't have the slightest clue about that. I've heard it's the roar of a huge monster that lives up in the tower. But who knows? So the noise is coming from the tower, is it? Curious. Are you still laughing at him? It's kind of messed up. You get used to it. Oh. That guy gets so worked up, he turns red like a tomato. You're the worst character in the game. Is this the cafe? <gasps> oh my god. Well, you look at all that. Yep. Oh, see you later. Wait, come back in. And, um... Nice. Business looks slow. Mm-hmm. You there! Crouton. So I hear you two are into puzzles. I can tell it's obvious from the way you're ogling these coins. Are you part rat, sir? You can smell it, can't you? Well, you're right. There's a puzzle in these coins. Have a look. Mm-hmm. Crunchy croutons. Equilateral triangle. It's not a puzzle. It's just math. In the drawing below, ten coins are arranged to form an equilateral triangle. The triangle's pointing up. Can you get it to point down by moving three of the coins? No, that's impossible. And then Luke, here's my answer. Every my God, has an answer. I thought that was impossible for hours. That's right. The interesting thing about this puzzle is the way the whole triangle changes shape with the simple shifting of a few coins. The trick is the thing about the corners of the first triangle, and it's easy to see the changes you need to make. They literally show you the solution. <laughs> it's just like, here you go. Just as I thought, you guys are a bunch of puzzle nuts. Thank you. St. Mystere is full of puzzle lovers like you two, but not all of them are nice like me. Watch your back. Mean puzzle lovers? I mean... Suppose it could. Where's this going, the dog? Yeah, okay. Just kind of let it rattle around in there. He's fine. He loves it. Okay. Crouton! I have words for you, Crouton. Ramon, he hasn't been around today. Uh, looks like we've hit another dead end. Too bad you couldn't find him. He usually skips out of work and comes here to gossip and have coffee. And you know, speaking of gossip, I've heard some weird rumors from my customers lately. Recently, there's been talk of some strange old man running around St. Mystere kidnapping people. A kidnapper? Who is this old man? I heard all this secondhand, so he got me there. You need to find a better source for village gossip. You might want to try your luck at the cafe. Usually, you'll hear rumors straight from the source there. It's almost sunset now, so the cafe should be open for dinner. A mysterious old man kidnapping village folk. Now that's a rumor. They're just very calm about it. We solved the chapter. He's still missing, but now we, we can... Oh, I missed a lot of puzzles. It's fine. It's okay. With your blood. Professor, it's getting dark out. I'm afraid that's my cue to start closing up shop. Come by tomorrow if you get hungry. Thanks, Crouton. Oh, shit, yeah. Oh, fuck, you hit me with that animation. What a great cutscene. I learned a lot. Look, let's take a moment to sum up our findings. It's like old YouTube. We have a strange, roaring tower. 
disappearing villagers, an odd elderly kidnapper. It's all so bizarre. I can't make any sense of it at all, Professor. I think we finally got some clues on our hands, my boy. Observing the nightlife in this village might tell us more of what we need to know. Great idea, Professor. It's turned dark and Ramon still hasn't returned. Continue the investigation to find clues. Mm-hmm. Save progress, okie dokie. That's me, Pogbones. That's me in the pog bones. Ha ha ha. Ha, he's so funny. He left hours ago, ma'am. Ho ho ho. I'm sorry, young lady. Could you help us? We're looking for someone you see and... Sorry, can't help you. And by can't, I mean don't want to. And b I barely even talked to Ramon. I am so not interested in this search. Hee hee. Maybe help me solve this puzzle might, you know, remember something. Tee hee. And just who do you think you are, young lady? I will not say no to a puzzle, though. Puzzled aliens? Yeah, that music's great. From high in the sky, a pair of aliens observes humans using a bizarre object. Perplexed, one alien turns to the other and says, How strange! The earthling is opening a hole in a sheet of paper and marking it with a line to show the other earthlings where the hole is. I've never seen anything like it! What could these extraterrestrial visitors be talking about? They're opening a hole in the sheet of paper marking with line to show the other things where the hole is. Butthole. The butthole. He's opening a hole in a sheet of paper and marking it with a line to show the holes. A map. Clickbait YouTube. Hmm. It is clickbait YouTube. Mm-hmm. How do I input my answer? Oh, by writing it out. Uh... Oh. Oh. Uh... You use it in geometry. Simple geometry. VLC media player. Opening a hole in a sheet of paper and marking it with a line to show them where the hole is. Oh, it's a penis. I gotta plug in the DS. The light turned red. We can't have it dying on us. Eh. It's not a penis. I don't believe you. I think we should try it. What if what if the answer was penis though? We did we didn't know. You got it. Oh, no. Pen 15. In geometry class. So you got, you got, you got a, you got a piece of paper. You got a hole. And you draw a line in it. You playing hangman? But they opened a hole. It's not they didn't draw a hole. This is a different puzzle in the UK version. Hmm. Not a straight line? So... A piece of paper, they cut a hole in it, and they have a curved line coming out of it. It's all the perfect line around it. Geometry tools, the only time you ever use it in class. Hole is a stretch. Is it a compass? If it's like that, and then it's like that. You don't really puncture the paper, you just kind of like hold it in place. If it's a compass, that's terrible. Is it compass? It does fit. The thing that draws circles, then it's a compass. That's a terrible answer. Or a terrible puzzle. Luke, here's my answer. If that's it. Yes, it's very bad. Yeah, no, I think Every they puzzle has an made a hole in a paper. I think of like at, like at least like a quarter size, like a hole, not like an indentation. Pretty much spot on. No, 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 from a bad person. Tee hee hee. You're the worst. You know, I've heard that if you aren't careful walking around seeing Mister at night, you can run into trouble. I bet Ramon wasn't being careful. What do you mean? 
And she's gone. Oh. The music in this game is so good. This puzzle sucks. <laughs> uh, let me slap that in there. Nope. Nope. Wait. Nope. I think this is probably the, the bottom. Like that. And then this is maybe this guy here. That could be a thing. Maybe. Yeah, whatever. We need more. More. Is the park open? Yeah. Hello. I don't fuck up using a compass. Oh, la di da. Excuse me, sorry to bother you again. Have you seen Ramon since we spoke last? Come on, Luke, let's go. <laughs> oh, I'm so bored of you talking to me. Oh, oh boy. What a day. Why are you blocking the door, man? Because we had plastic. My compass says I think we're... I think the base was wood, and then it was metal sticking out of it. And he would stick a pencil on there. Whatever shall I do? What seems to be the trouble, sir? Let's see here. Strong, young? Ah, you look like you have a good back. Oh, thank heavens you came along. I beg your pardon. I've searched everywhere and I just can't find the thing. I suppose I must have dropped it when I was out strolling by the park this afternoon. I would go search for it myself, but it's gotten dark out. It is awfully scary out there. Nothing of the sort. It's just that, well, I'm no spring chicken anymore, and my eyes aren't as sharp as they used to be. How about it, Sonny? Will you help out an old man and go search in front of the park for me? What? We're in the middle of an investigation right now. Now, now, Luke, no need to be rude. After all, the park is but a small ways away. And who knows, we might actually find some new information to aid in our case there. Besides, helping those in need is the duty of any gentleman. Professor, you said duty! I'll wait here for you when, uh, when you come back. I'm counting on you. One more detail, please, sir. What exactly did you drop? Drop? I. Oh, my. Now, what was it? Um, that's right. It was my watch. My best wrist watch. Bring it back for me, Sonny. Mm-hmm. Mm, back I go. You there, sleeping man. Where'd it go? Is it over here? Did you find it? Not like a kidnapper or murderer or both or the same person around. Gerard lost something again. I think he's getting kind of slow. He's always dropping stuff. What did he drop this time? Let me guess. Was it a wristwatch? Hmm? Indeed, he did drop a wristwatch. Did you pick it up around here? Uh, yep. Well, actually, no. Because Beatrice is actually the one to find it. Thing is, it was already late when she found it, so she de decided to hold on to it till morning. Go to the end, you can probably ask her for it. There you go, now I got your attention. Could you give me a hand and solve this here puzzle? Dark places give me the willies, but I want to solve this puzzle so bad, I came out here for help. This puzzle's all about stars, see? Maybe you can make sense of the thing, hmm? Of course, I'd be happy to help you with it. Of course. In the watch. The biggest star. And the second biggest star is this pop date for Bath. In addition to the previous pop date, I have received an image of great value, and it's quite good. So thank you, Bath. Man's corpse is rotting. Yeah, but I mean, listen, there's just all these puzzles in our way. What's a guy to do? Would you like to get away with murder? Hire Professor Layton to investigate the case. Thank you for the hydrate. Master Time Thief, thanks for 83 bits. You are a bus driver. You pick up five people, two leave, four come on, five get off, finally two get on. You began with seven passengers. Knowing all this, I ask you, why did my father abandon me? Why well, that reminds me of a puzzle. Amphi, thanks for 27 months. Sasama with 15 months. Hello from Vodland. We're planning a friendly uprising soon. Don't tell the live audience. It's a surprise. I didn't read that out loud. It's fine. Usaki Tan, twelve seventeen. Thanks for twenty nine months. A little Star Wars. Thanks for forty four months. My second favorite game series. I'm so excited for you to play it. Thank you, little Star Wars. Spectre Deflector. 
Thank you for the prime sub. Welcome to the house. I hope you enjoy the emotes. Tripwire 3 and 4 also with a prime sub. Thank you for those primes. Looks like some people remembered that with Amazon Prime, you get Prime Gaming. You can sub to someone on free every month on Twitch. Don't gotta use it here, but use it somewhere. Why not? It's already there. Thank you. D4XM. Thanks for seven months. Welcome back. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Gaming. Gaming, gaming, gaming. A legend has it that people used to stare up at the heavens and find images of animals or important events in the constellations. Looking up at the star-filled sky here, try to connect the five largest objects in space to form the largest five-pointed star possible. Connect stars by drawing a line between them. Make sure your line is passed through any other star along the way. The largest five-pointed star possible. Um. Okay. The five largest objects. So we got we got this guy and this guy and this guy and this guy. Is there another large one I'm missing? Um Yeah. Yeah. This doesn't seem right. Oh god, it's bad. Oh no, it's real bad. Oh no. Hmm. There's a trick to it? How dare they trick me. The ancients had poor vision, no internet. It's true. The largest object in space is me. I am allowed to work with this. That's not an object in space, though. Why would that be a thing? Hmm. Hmm, I've got it. What do you mean I can't draw any more lines? You did it. In space, but not in space. The five largest objects in space. Uh-huh. How does that mean make a big star, though? I might have been drawing Trogdor. Well. I still feel like I can just arbitrarily make a star, though. Like, I feel like I'm missing something. A five-line star? It's a five-pointed star, not five lines. Right? A pentagram-style star? That's not a star, that's a pentagram. Is it- is- is- is this- is this- is that it? Oh, 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 oh. I see. So you're saying, like... Um, wait. How do I not know <laughs> There you go. Like that. Okay. Mm-hmm. It is a downward pointing star. There you go. Do you not know how to make a pentagram? Gosh. The ritual is complete. Why are we using the tree puzzle? Because, welcome to Layton. I just, you know. That should do it. Don't point at me. Every puzzle has an answer. You're right. You need to connect the four stars to the Earth in order to form a star like the one shown here. It looks like people are still finding inspiration in the stars. The Earth is in space, so, you know. Thanks a bunch. I can finally go home and catch a few winks. Ah. Oh yeah, I remember. Beatrice from the end was in the one to find Gerard's watch. Ask her about it. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Come, Luke. Let's go. Stuffed bear. Hmm. Well, we should probably give that to Layton. I think it's important that Layton be in charge of everything. Maybe if Luke is good, he'll get some stuff later. Layton is somewhat of a geocentrist. Just a little bit. Let Luke hold something. He doesn't own anything. He doesn't need things. Luke is, uh, he's, um... He's, he's gone beyond the need for material objects and wants and desires. He can have things. What do you want him to have? A chair? Can have a good one, game. 
My room is barren. I need furniture right away. How about a stool? All right. Give him a little treat, Robo Doggo. Hello there, Mr. Bear. Ha 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 ha. Look how expressive the bear's face is. See? Layton loves it. Give him the stool to sleep on. Mm hmm. I'm gonna give it to him. Fine. What a dump. You happy now? Hello, Mr. Bear. Well, Luke, how's this murder investigation coming along? Ha ha! The bear is cute! Hee hee! See? Now we're not gonna get anything done. Hello there, boys! Tun turning in for the night already? Not quite. I heard word that you found a wristwatch out by the entrance to the park. That old thing doesn't belong to you, Professor? Oh no, it's Gerard's. He dropped it today while wandering about town and asked me to help him find it. Why am I not surprised? That man sheds more stuff than a cat sitting by a fireplace. All right then, here's that watch. You know, it figures that it belongs to Gerard. Just thinking to myself, the professor is far too fashionable to wear this old thing. Ha 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 ha, you're right. Give it here, thank you. And just out of curiosity, you haven't seen Ramon about lately, have you? Ramon? That skinny man with the big purple lips? He hasn't come by today. You know, for all his fancy clothing, I hear he's actually quite the layabout. He's probably off idling at the cafe. Why not go check for him there? I see. If that's the case, I'd like to go to the cafe right away. Do you mind keeping the front door open a little longer? Oh, don't you worry, Professor. Another guest arrived to stay the night, and I'm setting up his room. Besides, my door is always open for a dashing gentleman such as yourself. Another... Where's he... St there's no rooms available in the inn. We're in the attic. Who the hell got a room? And how? And what did you lie to me? Now nah, Ramon's fine. The cafe's actually a pub, but a localization. They probably called it a cafe to get around, um, like the ESRB. Just because they'd be like, oh, there's alcohol references. We're talking about a pub and drinking. So like, no, it's a, it's a cafe that only opens after dark. Don't, don't think about it. Bye, game. Just playing Gerard's name wrong. Mm-hmm. There's no room at the end. You found my watch, did you? It's a milk bar. But of course, a gentleman always helps those in distress. That classic earthbound coffee. That's mean, Shiv. Take it back. We miss Gam every day, don't we, Gordon? I can't win. A gentleman always helps those in distress. Speaking of which, we're still quite worried about Ramon's whereabouts and should probably return to our search now. Same as stairs strange like that. Despite its size, it can be quite challenging to find people. Sometimes it feels like running in a darn maze. Speaking of mazes, you ever heard this one, Sonny? Let me tell you about a maze. It really must be. Take a look at this maze. Look at the maze. On the run. What is this man's deal? Who is he running from? A mysterious bandit is on the lam and trying to escape the police who are hot on his trail. His entrance into the part of town, into this part of town, is marked with an arrow. This particular bandit follows a peculiar creed and has vowed never to go backward or turn around. He's just like Sora. Additionally, whenever he meets an intersection, always turn left or right. Just like Sora. Now, as you can see from the map, this part of town has multiple exits, which are labeled A through G. Of all the exits here, which one will the bandit never be able to pass through? He can never go backward or turn around. And he always has to turn left or right at every intersection. Don't ever go backwards. Circle that horn. So he, he can just... He can turn and go to G. He can turn and go to F. He can turn and go to E. He can... Maybe not go to D. Hold on. Definitely go to A. He can... Do, 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 do. Does that count as going into B? Or does he need to, like, turn into it? Da, 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 da. Hmm. Because he can get right here, but I don't know if he can actually get into B. Whatever. Keep that in mind. Zigzag around. Get to C. And get to D. Yeah, I don't think B works. You can get right in front of it, but not turn into it. Cause yeah, let's try it. Circle a letter. Submit. Nope. That cool. should do it. 
I did it, though. Critical thinking is the key to success. Oh, no, Lady Ava Fox. I'm sorry about that. I've run into that myself a lot. It's incredibly frustrating <laughs> how often I'll watch an ad on Twitch and then the ad ends. I can hear the stream, but the video doesn't update. I have like the last frame of the ad. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'll refresh. That'll fix it. But it like doesn't log that I finished watching the ad. So I have to sit through another ad and the ads on Twitch are long. So it's just like, oh God, it's rough. I hope they fix that. Four minutes, and I hope it's not four minutes. Critical thinking is the key to success. Oh, lady. Last time I was actually placed, so you gotta refresh for another ad. Mm hmm. Yep. Same two ads. Yep. Mm. I was gonna be like, oh, I just saw this ad and describe it, but I'd rather not. Delta Conrad, thanks for 37 months. That's free advertising. They win. So why does Luke not just consume the Layton to claim his professorhood? That's spoilers for the fifth Layton game. Jojo the Oddish, thanks for 23 months. Amazing. Burrow underground to escape police slash heartless. Mm -hmm. A bad website. No matter how he approaches B, he'll never be able to leave through there. Nope. There's no way out. You got a sharp one, Sonny. You know, if you're looking for someone, you should ask around at an inn or cafe. As you know, the inn is right by the entrance to the village. The cafe's right at the fork of the road. We're just not here. We've already searched the inn, but checking the cafe sounds like a good idea. Be sure to stop by. I'm off to bed. An old man needs his beauty rest. Thanks again for your help. Think nothing of it, sir. A cream rug. Oh, I'm thirsty for cream. Can I have it, Layton? Not now, Luke. Maybe later. Aw, oh, Professor. You get all the cream. Luke has too much furniture. He has what? A whole stuffed animal? He doesn't need all that. Not now, Luke. You gotta wait for the lactate to kick in first. But I don't want to wait, Professor! The cat's back. Two rugs for the Professor should do it. There's a cat here! Ah, oh. Piss, piss, piss. Piss, piss, piss. Animals are very dear to you, are they not, Luke? Well, I have just the puzzle for you, then. A bed and a pillow. Cats and mice. Five cats can catch five mice in five minutes. With that in mind, how many cats does it take to catch 100 mice in 100 minutes? 100. 100. I don't know. You expecting me to think about stuff? Five cats catch five mice in five minutes. But couldn't five cats catch 100 mice in 100 minutes? Isn't it just five? I think it's just five. Yeah, Luke can talk to animals and don't ever think about it. No. One cat. Five cats can catch five mice in five minutes. Is it 25? 25? Well, they're all being multiplied by 20. One cat with a gun. One cat that's really good at it. No one questioned it. Nope. So if they're all multiplied by 20, then it would be... 100 cats, but I don't know. Now I'm thinking about it. Nope, don't. Yeah, they get overtime pay. That's part of the question. Will it still be five? That's why I was just like, wait, wouldn't it be five? One cat can catch one mouse in five minutes. Oh, each cat takes one. Each cat takes five minutes to catch a single mouse. So it is 20. You subdivide the cats to a minimal fraction. One to one per five minutes. Anonymous, thank you for gifting a sub to Lady Ava Fox. That is incredibly generous. And also, Lady, hopefully you don't have to sit through any ads anymore. At least for the next month. Appreciate it, Anonymous. Thank you. I don't know. My head is empty. I, I can hear the whistling in my own brain. Um, divide each cat into tenths. Get the rats to team up. That's, uh, yeah. It's not just five cats because the rate is the same. Each cat needs to get 20 mouse. Right, so five cats in 100 minutes. Each of those cats in... Okay. <laughs> Each cat in 100 minutes can catch 20 mice. Right? 
Yeah. So 20 times 5 is 100. One cat. But it's five cats. Each cat will get 20 mice to spin 100 minutes, and the five cats combined makes 100. So I was right, it is five. No? What am I doing wrong? <laughs> oh god. Yeah, I convert to cat minutes. Yes. I don't know. I know the stream delay. How many cats would it take? Five is correct. I thought I said five. Did I not say five? I thought I said five earlier. Well, first I said a hundred. I wrote a hundred. And I was like, wait, no, I think it's five. And someone was like, no. And I was like, well, it's not. It is five. I think. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what anything is anymore. Let's try it. I said a hundred and then I crossed it out. And then I think I said five. Well, that's fine. I did it, Professor! <laughs> Bar you with sunglasses is potent. Five cats can catch five mice in five minutes, and the mi mouse hunt continues for another five minutes. Expect 12. Ten mice to get caught. The same five cats catch ten mice in ten minutes. Five mice, twenty minutes. How long the five cats work? Yeah. But each of the cats has nine lives, so... Wonderful job there, Luke! I got a painting scrap, didn't it? Didn't I? Let me take a look at that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, hell yeah. Um... Yeah, you betcha. Well... What if, um... Yeah, it doesn't quite... Line up. Line up there. Is that line up? No. Whatever. Man, it's just some old painting scraps anyway. I say, Luke. How did you wind up with so much furniture? But I... Let me take that off your hands, Luke. Oh, Professor. Look at that happy little bear. He's so happy. Professor, could I have some furniture, please? Whatever do you mean, Luke? Your floors are... Four walls, a ceiling, and a door. Let's not get greedy now, Luke. Remember, as a gentleman, you must know not to be greedy. This is a mustache curls downwards. Oh. Second rug means extra gentleman energy. Mm-hmm. Give me your hat, Luke. <laughs> you can have the bear. There you go. Nice one. How these puzzles have you solved? Bum, bum. Good evening to you, sir. It's almost my bedtime, but I've got one more puzzle for you. Want to see it? I didn't answer. 1,000 times. Please count 1,000 a 1,000 times. Show your work. What on earth is this message getting at? The following is written on a piece of paper you picked up. Blank is 1,000 times blank blank. To turn this strange message into a proper sentence, all I need to do is fill in the blank with a single letter of the alphabet. But what letter could it be? He's the same letter for all three blanks. Sing something about Luke being sad that he has no furniture. Yeah, Quiddy. Give me a minute. A is 1,000 times AA. Ah... Thousand times. I don't. I don't. I don't. A. 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 Wait, is it Roman numerals? Could that be a thing? X. Do you know Roman numerals? I mean, some of them. Well, I think M is a thousand, right? But that's mm would be two thousand, not a thousand times a thousand. X is ten in Roman numerals. Oh, it's meters and millimeters. Uh, um, but excuse me, this wait. First of all, can we look at the face on the guy on the right? <laughs> he is not just. What the fuck? Mm-hmm! Mm. Mm. It's very upset. Uh, yeah. It's, it's, um... Luke, here's my answer. Ba -ba 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 Correct. Another puzzle solved. My brain's gone to bed. My brain went to bed a couple years ago. I'm still waiting for it to wake up. Oh, a millimeter! That's right. Where are their torsos? How'd you like my puzzle, pretty fun, right? 
He did just such a good job, I'm gonna tell you a secret! I heard there's a man-eating monster in the tower, and that's why everyone stays away. I'm not silly enough to think there's actually a monster inside, but the place is dangerous. Be careful in there, mister. A bookcase? Oh, Professor! I sure would love to be able to look at something other than a bare wall. Now, now, Luke, you don't know how to read. I'll take that off your hands. All right, Professor. When are you going to teach me how to read, Professor? Teach you what now? I don't remember promising anything of the sort. But, Professor, you said... A gentleman never tells a lie, Luke. Are you saying I lied? Well, Professor, I... Luke. Now fetch me some tea. There's even a book in it. Yeah, we're gonna get some books. It'll be great. O is a letter. O is a thousand times. Ooh! Uh, what was the uh, song tag? Luke not getting any furniture? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thought that was real time. <laughs> No, 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 no. <clears throat> Luke, why do you have that face? That expression so grim? Luke, look around. Professor, I just want scrap of furniture in my room so I don't have to sleep on the floor. Professor. But I said, Luke, if you don't learn to be a gentleman, then you'll have to rely on others for your furniture, Luke, and that just won't do. Professor. I haven't eaten a scrap of food in a week! But I said, Luke, if only food is only allowed for puzzle solvers, Luke, and you haven't been solving enough puzzles there. Professor, I feel a little bit faint, Professor. This took a very dark turn. Luke? Luke, where'd you go? Yeah. <laughs> Don't really know to get furniture for your apartment. Do a puzzle first. And then he's and then he died. And then, he, and then he's gone. Um But then Luca's okay, he's fine. Has he become comfortably numb? I forget what the chords are then. Yeah, I don't know what that was about. Is that a roundabout? No, this is a roundabout. Wait. Damn it. Yep. Mm. Play some Steve Miller. I don't know any Steve Miller, actually. Uh, playing it. it. Smells like Puzzle Spirit. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> I was just like, what are the answers to however many chickens could cross a river, but not being overpowered by a number of wolves? <laughs> just immediately bad. Anyway, let's get back to it. Yeah. 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 Bum, 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 bum. Anyway, what are we doing? I forgot. Yeah, I was working on that puzzle back in 94. Mm -hmm. You start mumbling. <laughs> However, may it take to slide this puzzle into my mouth. <laughs> Kurt, stop eating the puzzle pieces. <laughs> 
You're not looking for Ramon, are you? Definitely looking for Ramon. He still haven't found the guy. Listen, streets here are dangerous at night. Crazy dangerous. He can't go running all over town with the kid. As that's dangerous, crazy dangerous. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to punish your poor judgment with a puzzle. You still solve it, yeah, of course. So judgment, so puzzles are rewards and punishments. OTTF. Here you have a set of small paper cards and each card is a single letter, but one of the cards is missing its letter. The letter belongs on the blank card. That's a scent. Luke, did you try writing again? I'm only trying, Professor. Please. I want to do something other than solve puzzles, Professor. Um. Um. What? What cards missing? Um. Um. Is this Wordle? Um. I don't know what I'm looking at. Um. The. Uh, uh. Uh. I see it. I don't. Um. Hmm. I don't get it. I don't get it either. A uh, small set of paper cards. Each card is a single letter. Well, the card's missing its letter. Which letter belongs on the blank card? Oh, I get it. Oh, I get it now. Oh, I get it now. Yeah, yeah. Numbers is a good hint. All right. I have it. F steak. <laughs> F steak. It's gonna be a letter already used. It is actually, but that's not part of it's not a pattern. It's not a pattern based off of the letters, it's what the letters represent. Ba da da. No one's listening more to the answer. I mean Yeah. Right, thank you for the bits. Something other than puzzles, Luke. It seems I need to reintroduce you to my educational backhand until you're a proper gentleman. Ooh. Ooh. He's fine. He's okay. That's but the answer is that this is one. And this is two, and this is three, and this is four, and etc. Numbers! The answer is F for f seven. There we go. Every puzzle has an answer. You remember no I'm so happy. Yeah, well, you were gifted a sub. We have a fox, so anyone who subscribed. Doesn't have to watch any ads. If it was up to me, I'd say no one has to watch ads anyway. But it's not up to me, unfortunately. Well, it looks like you solved it, all right. Of course, we all knew a brainiac like you would solve it. If and you're looking for the cafe, it's right there. But it's way past that kid's best time, you know, way past. The tower could start making noise again anytime. Yeah, trust me on this one, professor. Get back to the inn, yeah, yeah, back to the inn. Ooh, a teak bureau. What's a bureau? None of your business, Luke. None of your business. All right, Professor. F is for fabulous. Uh, I don't think so, Track Rock. Certainly could look into if enough people are like, huh? What a lovely cafe. Ghibli fan. I did not catch the run logics, but I did hear about it. There's been like two or three world records so far, GQ. It's nuts. Here's a puzzle. As a treat. Um. Oh, is that a hidden puzzle? Yeah, it's just a normal cafe. There's a puzzle hidden over here. If it's sliding block puzzles, I'm out of here. How many glasses? Hmm. So my great game's on the DS. Yeah. I'm excited too. That man at the bottom is me. Hold on. He's me. Oh, I can't bring my pen all the way over there. Oh no. Oh no, this went terribly wrong. Oh no, what happened to this man? Oh god. Oh, I tried to turn him in the mean, it didn't work. How about instead he just ate a big, messy hamburger? And he got ketchup all over himself. In his hands. He had a messy day. Alright. Uh, on the top row of the picture shown below, you have three cups of juice, followed by three empty cups. Your objective, should you choose to not immediately quit, is to change things around so the cups are arranged as shown in the bottom row of the picture. Assuming you only move one cup at a time and that all rearrangements have to be done by hand, 
How many cups will you have to pick up? Only move one cup at a time? What? Don't you need to move two at a time? It probably is beer in the original. Um. Yeah, what? There's a trick? Oh, yeah. Can you just pour? Yeah, just... Just grab this guy and just pour it into that. This is the answer one. Yes, it's just one. Let me just, uh... One. Well, here's my guess. <laughs> Legends Apprentice saves the day. All right. <laughs> That's right. Pour the contents and then return to its original position. The fact that you only move one at a time is actually a big hint. Because I would think, oh, just like swap two. But... Let's go find more puzzles. You did it, Luke. I'm so proud of you. What's up? Yeah, it's a cafe. Regular, normal cafe. Fancy me and you here. I've got a doozy of a puzzle right now. It's harder to crack than a coconut. Who knows? It might even have something to do with the case you're investigating right now. What do you say? Help a fellow detective out, will you, brother? That's all very interesting, but I do believe there's been a mistake here. I'm no detective, you see. Say no more, undercover and all that then, yes, very well, but I know a fellow sleuth when I see one. Us being in the same trade now, I suppose it couldn't hurt if I let you have a look at this puzzle. Might help you, might not. Might have nothing to do with anything. Who knows, it's a crazy world. A certain town has only two barbers in it. There aren't any other towns nearby. Everyone gets their, lives there, gets the haircut by one of these two stylists. Looking at these two fine gentlemen, which one should you go to for a haircut? The answer is A, because he cuts B's hair. Done. How does this Done! Sound? Next question. Saves the day. C, the answer is me. They close the two barbers themselves because we all don't cut their own hair. Usually, assuming it's probably the more skilled. Trick of the light. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, squeaks. Yeah. I mean, that's that's how they get you. <laughs> You're like, wait. He has solved that monster of a riddle. How does that help with the investigation? It doesn't. Goodbye. He runs away. Even I couldn't do it. Mm-hmm. Pre-pandemic, yeah. It wasn't that difficult. But on a more important subject, have you heard word from Ramon lately? What's that you say, good sir? You want to solve more puzzles? All right, here's the gem of a tip. Go visit Granny Railton's shack. That's all I can say. There's another case developing as we speak. All these kombucha bottles and tea and water. Uh, perhaps I'll see you tomorrow. Painting scrap, good. Well, what you got for me? Grum. Oh there, I've never seen your mug in here before. What'll it be, pal? I'd like a small cappuccino from this here cafe. Uh-huh. I'm not ordering anything. I'm actually just came by to inquire about a certain matter. Long Island iced tea. Hold the Long Island. Just the tea, please. Not here for the special then, huh? What do you want to know? And sometimes they just buzz your head when one has asked for it. Mm hmm That's tradition. No one has seen or heard from Ramon, the servant at Reinhold Manor, since this afternoon. We've looked about everywhere to no avail, just like he vanished from St. Mystere. While talking with Crouton earlier, he mentioned a strange old man who said to lurk around the village. Do you perchance know anything about such an individual? An old man? All right, that old rumor. So you have heard of him before. If you have any information, anything at all, please share it with us. Um, not from here, are you? Thing is, I can't have you spreading crazy rumors about St. Mystere to the outside world, now can I? Of course, if you're a puzzle lover, then maybe, just maybe, I could find it in me to trust you. I see you've solved 30 puzzles. All right, then. Here's an earful for you. 
I know a fellow who swears up and down that he saw a strange old geezer skittering, skittering about town. The fellow I know is Prosciutto. He's a wee one, but he's got the appetite of a wolverine. Do you know where we might find this Prosciutto? Can't say for sure, but at this hour, well, he's probably at home snacking on something. His house is on the road that winds up north from here. Why don't you go and pay that walking icebox a visit? Yeah, huh? Then, don't mind if I do. Catriel Noise. Up, uh, which way? I didn't remember which way he said. One of these? Apparently that was a hint coin. Let me in. Oh! Well, hey. How you doing? Um. Ba -na 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 -na. Nice. Give me all the coins! It's a hidden puzzle, Professor! Pursuit on the Grateful Dead. Tetrahedron Trial. The image below is of a tetrahedron that's been disassembled so that each of its four faces lie flat. Which of the triangles which you insert to the place of the question marks so that when the tetrahedron is put together, red and blue lines continue unbroken from one face to the next. Oh no. You can probably rotate them as well. Rotate. So the blue line is in the middle. So A is already out of the question. As is D. And maybe C. Is it B? Just off the blue line alone. I'm going B. I'm rolling the dice. I'm so embarrassed. Nice. Okay, good. Hmm. Yeah, well. I mean, C is close to the middle. This is the bottom part of C. Might work. So let's try C. <laughs> Just like, I don't want to think about that hurt. Yeah, there you go. Yeah! Nailed it. I've solved it. Professor! I've done it! Mm hmm. Crucial. Or, you know, just mentally flip a coin. That's also good. Let's go find more puzzles! Good work, Luke. I'm so proud of you, my boy. Ba 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 Every puzzle can be brute force, Luke. Hey, what do you want? Start drawing so I can get back to dinner. I heard from a fellow at the cafe that you witnessed a strange old man prowling about town. Could I ask you for a more detailed account of what you saw? Okay, chomp om nom nom. Think it was something like four days ago? I was on my way home from the market when I saw this creepy guy sneaking around. So I took a closer look, right? Wanted to make sure he didn't clean out the butcher before I got there. Up close, it was some spooky old guy with a huge globble snarf sack. Chomp nom nom. I yelled at him, but the geezer just bolted. I was all like, man, look at Gramps bust the move. <laughs> Professional shoot, though. Were they after an apple? Mm hmm. So we came to the town to find to find the missing golden apple treasure as alluded to in the will of the, the Baron who died. And then we got here and we had to find the cat. And then we found the cat. When we came back from finding the cat, there was a missing gentleman. Well, no, there was a missing gentleman and a dead gentleman. One guy was dead and the other one was missing. And we're trying to find the missing man, hoping that that connects us to the, the dead guy. So we're a, little, a few steps away from finding the golden apple, but... There are pressing concerns. Thank you. Tita! For the hammy. Prosciutto, you know you like. You know like a hammy. A hammy's like a kind of prosciutto. And chill skeleton, thanks for 19 months. I really appreciate it. Thank you. The friends we made along the way. Maybe. Could be. Thank you. Man, look at Graham's bust a move. I think that weirdo's the one who's been kidnapping people. If you gotta be out at night, watch yourself, you hear? Interesting. Interesting. Well, thanks for that. You got a puzzle for us or something? Thanks, Tita. Appreciate it. What do you want? Start John so I can get back to dinner. Suppose you haven't seen Ramon the Cern from Ryan Old Manor, have you? Gobble snarf nom nom. Of course I've seen him. It's kind of hard to miss with those huge purple lips. I haven't seen him today. 
Now, if you haven't noticed, I'm in the middle of some important business here. Could you leave me alone now? Of course. Please excuse the interruption. Well, what a great mystery. Hey! Oh, gosh. Sorry, Professor. It's not that the investigation's boring me or anything. I'm just a little sweepy. It's gotten late. Let's report our findings to everyone at the mansion and wrap things up for the day. Mm -hmm. The only person who wants to solve a puzzle. Professor, look over there! Oh my gosh, is that Ramon? <gasps> oh, oh. Luke, hmm? sir, what? hold it there. Right behind you. I'm sure it's fine. Oh no, we've lost him! Look at that hat though, right? Luke, you saw that too, didn't you? No doubt about it, that was Ramon. Does that mean that the kidnapper killed Ramon too? Ah! Steady there, Luke. I think we'd do well to return to the site of Ramon's abduction. The kidnapper may have left a clue behind, you see. Right, lead on, Professor. Mysterious rumbling. Hmm. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, we made it back. We need to go sweep the site of Ramon's abduction for clues. You're absolutely right, Professor. Professor, look at this! Dun dun. What is happening? Don't worry about it. This appears to be identical to the item recovered from the crime scene at Reinhold Manor. Do you think it might help us find who is responsible for both crimes? Perhaps. At any rate, our first priority is to report our findings to Lady Dahlia. Come, Luke, back to the manor. Some kind of a uh, cog champ. I'm worried about it. No, I bet. It. It's dark, but no longer. Mystery solved. After witnessing Ramon's abduction, the professor and Luke returned to the manor to report their findings. We have urgent news! Ramon has been abducted! What? Who? How? I must inform Madame at once. Madam, something terrible has happened. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So are you saying that Ramon has also been involved in some kind of foul play? No, we can't be sure of that yet. However, time is of the essence. We must organize a search to locate him post-haste. Mr. Layton, what's the meaning of all this? Why do you insist on whipping the town up into a frenzy? The situation has changed recently, Inspector. We saw Ramon being abducted in town. I'm afraid you may have a serial murder case on your hands. We must rally the people of St. Mysterio and organize a search. Mr. Layton, last time I checked, this was my case, not yours. It's too late to start looking tonight. We'll organize a search first thing in the morning. We've no time to debate whether or not to wake a few sleepy villagers. While we sit here bickering, poor Ramon may already be. Everyone, your attention, please. Honestly, Matthew, can't you see we're busy right now? What is it? My sincerest apologies, madam, but it's Ramon. He He's returned. Returned, but... Yes! After the professor honored us with a visit, I went to the market to do the shopping. Why do you ask? Just what is going on here? There you have it, Leighton. Now will you finally leave the detective work to the detective? But we saw it! We saw it happen right before our eyes! Ramo, don't you remember any of this? That's enough, Luke. But no, he was... I must apologize, Inspector Chelmy. It was dark out, and it seems that I was mistaken in what I saw. Now, if you'll excuse us, it's been a very long day. I do believe we could all use a little rest. Case closed. Well, I certainly agree. The last thing I need is some drowsy scholar creating a panic in the village. Well, good night to you all, then. You know, Betts, he's, he got, he's got, like, at least one rug. Maybe two. Luke, go sleep on the floor. I took your bear back. 
I just can't seem to find that special someone. Tell me, Professor, what does an eligible bachelor like myself have to do to find a goyle? I had an epiphany the other day. I think the reason I'm alone is because I can't solve this puzzle. Oh, well, I've tried to solve it, but no matter how many nights I spend pondering it, the answer eludes me. Please help me, Professor. I don't want to spend the rest of my life talking to my stuffed animals. It's true. If you solve all your puzzles, anything's possible. Make a rectangle. It's not a puzzle. Just make a rectangle. Hmm. If you want to cut the piece of paper shown in diagram one in two pieces, and then raise some of them in the form of a rectangle, all you have to do is cut the paper as shown in diagram two. However, in order to assemble the pieces as shown in diagram two, you need to flip one of the pieces over before putting them together. Where should you cut the paper if you want to turn the paper in diagram one into a rectangle without flipping either of your two pieces? Uh huh. Uh huh. Without ro without rotate. It's all the pick rats. You see a man like that, you know he solves some puzzles, and damn, you can just tell in his swagger. It's the sexy beast. Do your daily Sudoku. Rotate is fine, but no flipping. Mmm. Hmm. 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 I mean, I'm thinking, um, um, if we cut out some kind of a bit like that and then rotate around down, you can't see where I'm drawn. Um, we have room to toss it over the top there. Like, uh, like some kind of like that. That doesn't work, but you know, like something like it. Uh,. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. My brain. It's fine though. Hmm. Don't you dare flip. I might. I might flip it though. What are you gonna do? It's like this. Oh, how many cuts? I think as many as I want. I mean, as many, like, angles, but it needs to be one cut across. It's gotta be a, a rotate. One, two, three, and then it fell over. Let's see it. Um, I don't. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and flip. Turn the paper into a rectangle without flipping either of your two pieces. No flipping, it just rotate. Do a T. Hmm. 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 What if, like, we did that? Nope. Nope, can't do that. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Nope, that's funky. Mm, yeah, I don't know. None, none idea. What if we just cut all of it into grid, and then we can just rearrange it, rearrange it however, however we want. Right? How hard do we backseat right now? Go for it. I mean, surely this is the answer. Right. Your first idea was very close. I don't remember what my first idea was. Um, I wanted to create like a long bit and then like a hook for it to go over the top. But this leaves me with a weird little extra bit. Captain Lower section has the clue. Make it symmetrical. Make a line with a little weenus. Like this. Oh, I see. I see. Now the clever, clever. Well, that's smart, your chat. Every puzzle has an answer. I, I said it before. I'll say it again. Chat's smart as they are cute. Now it's simple. Now that you know the an that's every puzzle. Oh joy! I'm positively tingling with excitement with that puzzle solved. I'm sure I'll find a bride in no time. You're welcome. Happy to help. Goodbye. You there. Three brain cells acquired. Inspector Chelmy and Madame have already retired for the night. Ramon is likely off to the cafe. You've had a very hard day, Professor. Do try and get some rest. Good night, sir. 
Um, we should go talk to Ramon at the cafe then. He's, he's incredible. We saw him in a bag. I wonder if we really did just mistake what we saw on the street. No. I'm certain that was Ramon. When we saw him, there wasn't the slightest hint of life in him. He may have lost consciousness, but how odd that he should return healthy as can be an hour later. Stranger still is the fact that he seems to have no memory of what we saw happen to him. It's so peculiar. Plus, Ramon wasn't even the first. Lots of people seem to have had the same experience. Any other village would be in a panic over something like this, but Saint Mystere... Well, it's peculiar, that's all. There's something very peculiar about this whole town. In most places, no one would stand for this. But we've seen that Saint Mystere is anything but normal. Ramon's memory. We can marry anyone we want. <laughs> I missed a few puzzles. It's a curious village indeed. Boop. Good morning. There's a city called Peculiar? That's great. Yes, yes, don't you worry, I'll let him know. Oh, hello there, there was a phone call for you. It's from Inspector Ch something or other. Inspector Che Guevara. From Inspector Chelmy? me. He just kept saying that it was urgent you should meet him at the Rhinold Manor at once. He probably wants to talk about what happened yesterday. Maybe so, we won't know until we get there though. Come, Luke. Professor, can I have some furniture tomorrow? No, no, no. No, no, no. Star scarf and stash, stash and, stash and scarf and. <laughs> Looks like your fellows are getting used to St. Mister. But stay sharp. Believe you me, you'll be buried in all sorts of difficult puzzles before you can shout, Stash and Scarf. By now, I'm sure you've realized that you can retry the puzzles you fail to solve, eh? However, have you noticed how some puzzles just seem to vanish before you can get back to them? You see, that's the way it is with some things in life. Once they're gone, they're gone. For good. But they're not gone for good. They just moved. You must seek out Granny Riddleton's shack. Should be easy enough to spot. Don't get sloppy just because you don't know how to retry puzzles now. There's no honor in laziness. Let me throw a puzzle your way to keep you sharp. Fine. Luke, you can have furniture when you've earned it. The local museum has an exhibit that spans nine rooms as shown in the diagram below. The entrance to the complex is marked by A. The exit is marked by B. The security guard is on duty and has a bit of a loafer and wants to walk each room of the exhibit while turning as few times as possible. What's the fewest number of times you can make while still visiting every room? This diagram shows a course that involves six turns. Fewest number. How about, um, he stands in the doorway and looks around. Um, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Did it. One, two, three. Nope. Um, uh, 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 do 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 do. What why is that on top of where I can draw? I was trying to turn him into Eggman a little bit. Just a little, just a small amount. It's fine. Draw a going goal. Can do. Meh. There you go. Egg boy. No, no, no. What do you mean? I, I got I got so much brain. We just walk all the walls so it's one room. Easy. Knock all the walls down. What's the fewest number of turns you can make while still visiting every room? I, I don't know if it's... Can you do less than six? Uh, one... Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. No. Very sharp turns. Is the back seem to say the answer? Go for it. One, two, three. We're all solving it together, right? Mm-hmm. Think more outside the box. Someone before turning. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's still six. Well, Penny, I sort of know it for a fact. I mean, then you're smarter than I am or have a better memory. Don't follow that path. Um, but we have to enter at A and then leave at B, right? He's like 40 degree angles. Why are you like, like you walk in like this, uh, one, two, like that. Ugh. Cares about turning. So is that two? Mm hmm. Feels gross. All right. Y'all so smart. Go. Ah, don't point at me, sir. Every puzzle has an answer. Sure. That's right. You finish patrolling all rounds and just two returns. Since the example shows the card turning, right angles to go from in the room. It's easy to assume your solution works the same way, even though it's not the case. Yep. It sure is. Now that's what I like to see. Seems the training I've been giving you has paid off. No, 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 Thede. No need to thank me. I'll be seeing you around. Ooh, a desk. Professor, I could hide beneath it when it gets dark later night. I'll be taking that, Luke. All right, Professor. I could put my bear upon the desk. Now, now, Luke. I need that desk. It's important. Since we misled you, you might have assumed that's what we wanted, right? Wild art! Thank you for five bucks. Yes, this lets you know when we update our username, so hi, I'm not wild card anymore. Wild card, no longer, now wild heart. I like it. Thank you. Feel free to update me. You don't have to spend money to do it. But I do appreciate it. Thank you. Luke, never tear the bear open. There's a dark secret inside the bear. Hey, professor. Looking busy as usual, yep. Yeah. Oh, I got this puzzle I just can't figure out on my own here. Can you lend me your thinking cap? It's not removable. Cut which one? I appreciate it, Wildheart. Thank you. Below are six linked rings. They may look like a tangled mess, but there is one ring that, if cut away, would leave the remaining five rings connected end-to-end -end in a long chain. Which one must you cut in order to make the chain? Choose! From below. So one, one ring... To, we'll just leave them all hanging out on their own. My, my, my instinct would be like somewhere in the middle, like B or E, but I don't know. G. All of them is G. Between E and B. Yeah, right? If you cut A loose, well, E, C, and F are all intertwined. If you cut E loose, I think A, D, and B are connected, right? Looks like it. Uh, is it D? Aren't C, B, and E connected? Uh, wait. E is on top of B. Oh, sneaky. There you go. I think it is D. Because then... I think it goes C, then E, then F. I think it's D. You're right. Let's give it a go. Luke, here's my answer. Like a long chain or a circle chain. Like each each I ring is connected to solved. two others on like either side, so it makes a like a chain. You know, like a chain do. There you go. The connections for each. Yeah. A choo-choo chain. To see for these puzzles. Yeah, I mean. These are games that I take my time with when I when I played them as they each came out. Let me tell you something neat, and by neat I mean terrifying. Nice. Um, because it's like, you know, I don't want to use my brain that much, but it's nice and relaxing. Like, these these are like the kinds of games I would be like, okay, time to hop into bed with my DS, do a couple of puzzles, and then go to sleep. And then stretch this game out for like a couple weeks. But it was really nice for that. I don't think they're games you're meant to grind through in a weekend. Don't break that. Don't break that. Terrifyingly. Chill out to nice music games. Yep. Be like, I can't solve that puzzle. I'll come back to it later. Definitely not a game I normally would be like, I'm going to stream that. But nostalgia, plus I wanted to test. I wanted to test the DS and, and different stuff in a game that I knew would be like, here's a bunch of nonsense and 
also it's a chance for me to show off Layton. I did find in, in my collection of DS games, I found uh, my old copy of Elite Beat Agents. And I would love to stream that, but um, I think the VOD would get obliterated by space. <laughs> from from space. Um, yeah, every song is a copyrighted song. So I was playing a little bit last night. I was like, still got it. It's a fun time. If you've never looked up Elite Beat Agents, it's worth looking up because the cutscenes and like the plot of each stage are absurd. Like, absolutely bonkers in a very fun way. Memory unlocked. The Christmas one. All of them, I think. The Christmas is one of the ones that I replayed because I remembered it the best. It's, it like, from the first fucking moment, it just punches you in the gut. It's just this little girl and her, and her mother. And then the dad's just like, well, I'm off to work. And they're like, be safe, honey. And he's like, you, get, you betcha. And it's like six months later. And the daughter's like, when's daddy coming home? And she's like, don't talk about daddy. And she's like, he wouldn't have lied. And you're like, I haven't even started the level yet. Oh, God. Yeah. And it just goes up and downhill from there. It's excellent. Um, no, I never played. What's it? Was, uh, 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 Asu, Ta Take, Wendan, whatever it is. Yeah. The and I've never played the original Japanese games. This doesn't Rolling Stones. Chicago, Destiny's Child. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A Wendon, that was it. Yeah. Most songs are covers, maybe they're being EBA. I mean, covers still get hit by uh, content ID on YouTube pretty often. He was gonna fly safe switch. Yeah, no, I don't. I I don't think I'll risk it. Maybe, maybe someday I'll risk it. Whatever, it's fine. Just it, it it's a wonderful goofy time. I'm just like, Ugh. it'd be messy. Other land games, I'm not opposed to it. See if we get through this one first and see how people feel about it. But let me know if you'd love more Layton. I've actually seen that old man with the big sack coming out of that tower up north. Mm. Mm. I bet you dollars to donuts that he's the one behind all these disappearances. I wonder what he does up there. Wait, no. I don't even want to think about it. It's just too scary. A pile of books? Why, Professor? With those, I'd be able... I'll be taking those. Now, now, Luke. Get your grabby little mittens out of here. Won't be having any of that. We must head to the manor. Okay. You're right, Professor. Do, 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 do. It's fun for me because I don't remember the solutions to 99% of the puzzles. I just remember, oh yeah. I remember that this was a puzzle in the game. But it's been long enough that I don't remember the solutions. So that's fun. Hey there, what you got? You would love some Layton. Well, how about right the heck now? Boom. Your wish has been granted. Well, if it isn't Claudia out and about. Yeah, you can throw in the rec doc. Appreciate it. Fill out that form and be like, I want you to stream this thing. And then, but I'm like, what should I do? And then it pops up. I'm like, oh yeah, maybe I'll do that. A cat clone. Four years ago. For me, it's been a little bit longer than four years, but. Zelda games. <laughs> Zelda games to relax and avoid Twilight Princess too, Yeah. No, I, I still would love to do Twilight Princess at some point. Just, yeah, we'll see. Chicken fox seed puzzle. Mm-hmm. Well, if it isn't Claudia on the bound, that reminds me of a puzzle. Give it a try, my boy. Give it a try. Weighing cats. There are three different colors of plush cats before you. The color of a cat denotes its weight. One and two shows the relative weights. You have three red cats and four black cats load on one side of the scale. On the other side of the scale, there are four white cats and one black cat. Will the scale tip left, right, or level? Tap your answer on the touch screen. So, uh, 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 three, three white cats is equal to five black cats. Two black cat and a white cat is equal to three red cats. So we can replace those three with two black and a white. And we know that white cats are slightly heavier than black cats. That's four white cats? Where? I, whatever I said, don't listen to it. Um, the three red cats are equal to a white and two black, which means we have one white cat and six black cats? It's a lot. It's a lot on the left. 
The white cats are slightly heavier, but is four four white cats and a black cat? Man, I'm gonna have to math that out, aren't I? Figure out better ways to put them. Um. So if we say these are, oh, I can't write. Great. So we say the white cat is like a quarter, and the black cats are a fifth. Man, I'm just gonna have to open up a document. I think in the later games, there's actually like a notepad thing built in where you can sketch out stuff on top and they just let you write whatever you want. Begin petting cats and do not question their weight in time the puzzle will be forgotten. Mm-hmm. White cats are one-fourth, black cats are one-fifth, and red cats you don't have to worry about. So then we wind up with um, one white cat and six black cats versus uh, four white cats and one black cat. So the one white cat is a quarter. We have six fifths. So however the fuck we want to math that together. The white cats are four white cats, which equals one, and a black cat, which is a fifth. So we have one and a fifth versus um, more than that. I think it's leaning to the left. Three red cats and two black cats. So you're saying the right is six black cats. If you swap them out, you can remove five, four black cats from each side. Right. Can I buy a vowel? Well, let's do it your way. So, you have one white cat. If you replace the red uh, uh, cats on the left, you have one white cat. Six black cats. And then if you replace the black cat the white cats with black cats, you end up with six black cats on that side. You have six black cats on both sides and one white cat on the left side, so it's leaning left. So that was right. Because uh, there you go. You can null out the red cats as well as the black cats. So you end up with just a single white cat extra on the left. So there you go. The fraction seems easier. Oh, well, you end up with like quarters and fifths, and I don't want to math those together. Yeah, that's that's what they recommend. Yep. Boom. I mathed. I mathed and I mathed and I mathed again, and I got some stuff. I'm gonna look at that stuff, and then I'm going to have a brief break to replenish water and expel of water. That sounded very bad. You know what I mean, though. Look at this! Oh, look at all this! Look at all this stuff. A quarter is 25 and a fifth is 0.2. Yeah, if you turn it into decimals, it's easier. That's smart. Um... Uh... Yeah. 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 No. 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 Well, it's fine. Whatever. Get that in there. Uh. That lines up. Boom. Nice. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. That was it. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Just, I got whatever. I mean, well, we need more to fit them together. I had it. I believe you, but also it's fine. I will be right back. Have a jam. Have a jam. Bum, bum. Solve the puzzle of where I went. If you needed to use any hint coins, there's no shame. I'll be right back.
So. Ah. Did you solve the puzzle? While I was gone? Of where I went? Oh. Bring back wide chat? I can do that. I was on the moon. Nope. You want wide chat? Do you like wide chat? PC rank is amazing. Nice. Wide. The answer is yes. Why did chat? Why did chat? Is the question. Let's go to the manor. Pull me in. Thank you, Clover friend, for 16 months. Appreciate it. Wow, looks nice. Hmm. Love to be wide. <laughs> Love to be wide. Uh, been away in Vodland for a while, currently sometime in December watching MGS, but I made a detour from AGDQ to pop and say hi to Barry and Q. Chat! Thank you very much. Hope you're enjoying the VODs. Hope you're enjoying AGDQ. And also, that reminds me that I forgot to mention that the December 2021 highlights are out. They're on the VOD channel, so if you're like, I forgot, or I didn't watch a lot of streams, or whatever, you want to watch Gam's nonsense that he adds to the highlights every month, give him a look. There's some good stuff in there. Thank you, Gam. Anyway, if you want me to switch back to tower mode, let me know. Um... Up the stairs. Up we go. Oh my god. Are you trying to poison me? Wide chat, my beloved. Everything's wide. Well, if chat gets the wide, I also get to be wide. It's only fair. So. Are you trying to poison me? What are these vile things? You oaf, some butler you are. Look at how sad he is. I'm so sorry, sir. I detest sweets. The very sight of them turns my stomach. Get that plate out of here at once. Oh, yes, but of course. Hmm? Wide berry, wide room. Mm hmm. This be perfect touch screen and top screen were replaced. Suppose I could. I guess because a lot of text is on the bottom screen. How about this? Because we're already over five hours in the stream. Um. We'll just leave it like this, or I can go back to tower mode, whatever you prefer. But if we do more Layton, I'll have it set up that I can swap them back and forth. How about that? How's that for a compromise? I'll do it later. That's what I call a compromise. Thank you, Cam. Make the bomb screen big. I'd have to fiddle with it, and I just don't want to be... I don't want to do it right now. Not be posted more Layton. Well, I'm glad to hear it. I can also just put us back in tall mode, if you prefer that. I think it is technically a little bit bigger on this bottom screen. The layout. Get back to the tower for now. You got it! Freaking tower. More late and forever. RIP wide chat. I hope you enjoyed it. Such a nice compromise. Compromise accepted. Thank you. Well, chat wants to be wide, but also, you know, I gotta fill with it. Bara, go! How are you? 40 months! That's a lot of number. Also, please tell me Layton sounds the same as Jason from Heavy Rain. Yes. Layton! Jason! Thank you. Well, I have a lot of pings. Um, because I was talking about the December highlights, and that, uh, you, you're great when you make them, and you work on them. It's good. Team Big Bottom Screen. Mm hmm Have a focal screen at the top of mine, and then a full vertical next to it. Oh, so you double it up? So you have- you would have, like, a tower, and then one of the screens real big? Huh. Only bottom screen. Well, I can do only bottom screen. That I set up. There you go. There's the big bottom. Might and there you are. I mean, look, the top screen I know is just a static image, so, like, it kind of works. Get that crunch. Look at them pixels. Oh, you want to see them pixels? In the software, I can turn off the bilinear filtering. Oh, boy, isn't that crunchy? Mmm. Mm, isn't that look? Isn't that look good? Yeah, and no, let's, let's put. It's like you can't even read it. It's like it doesn't scale well. The filtering really is nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying there's pixels. Mm -hmm. He invented pixels. So says that between both screens thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just figured I wanted a couple different options because different games do different things. Some games like to be like, here's something that's both screens. Now it's only the bottom screen. Now it's only the top screen. It's like a 
I feel like by the 3DS, most games went, everything's on the top screen, and then you have a menu or a map or something on the bottom screen, which is kind of what the, the wide setup was for, is like, more for 3DS games, I think, where you want to see the top screen the most, bottom screen's got some extra details on it, but I'll leave it tower mode for now. Uh, boop. You requested our presence, Inspector Shelmy. Never played the original Twaiwi. I never played Bowser's Inside Story. I know, I remember I played, um, whatever the 3DS Mario and Luigi one was, Dream Team? And that had a couple sequences that were flipbook mode, whatever. Big bomb screen if one, yeah. Well, as I said, for, for next time, I'll have an option to flip the top and bomb screens. Never played Paper Jam. I didn't get far into Dream Team. I got like maybe five hours in and was like, I don't care about anything that's happening and I'm not having fun. I'm an old curmudgeon. I liked the first Mario and Luigi a lot. And then Partners in Time, I finished and didn't fully enjoy it. Never played Bowser's Inside Story. I heard that one was good. Paper Jam, I heard was good. But. Oh, Color Splash. Oh, no. Oh, God. I could play uh, Sticker Star now that I have a 3DS. Oh. Superstar Saga is real good, though, right? It's not just nostalgia. Please don't. <laughs> Please don't. Ugh, stickers. Don't torture yourself. Ugh. New Leaf stream. That'd be a weird stream. I don't know how that would go. I feel like you can't get that much done in a single Animal Crossing stream. Have to be over the course of a lot. The best. In the garbage. Anyway, my sources tell me you've been out stooping about and interfering in my case. What are you up to? Dream drop distance. Their dream islands. Yeah, that's fair. I never played Wild World. That was on the Wii, right? Or was that DS? That was DS. City Folk was the Wii. Yeah, I didn't play it on the DS. You gonna play Nintendogs? I've never played Nintendogs. Ever. So. Second half is time travel. <laughs> right. Have you played the three good Paper Mario games on stream? If not, I beg you, please don't torture yourself with the bad ones. I played Origami King on stream, which parts of it I quite enjoyed, and then I got really upset. Um, but there's still some stuff about it I like. Just overall, I was, like, bummed. I mostly wanted to pick a side. I think they, they... The issue with all the Paper Mario games since Thousand Your Door, in my opinion, is that they can't decide what they want it to be. And I feel like instead of doing a couple things in an interesting hybrid, they do a couple things well and a lot of things poorly. And, uh, the music was incredible! Excellent soundtrack. Um, but yeah, I definitely plan not like it's in the works, but I would love to do the first two Paper Marios at some point on stream. They would, they would take a while to get through, but I think it'd be a lot of fun. I haven't played them in a long time. I don't have a lot of interest in revisiting Super Paper Mario. I know people love it. I remember being a little bit indifferent about it, and I don't want to just bump people out if I'm like grumpy for 20 hours. So I've not heard of reading the story yet. Because you already didn't age as well as the Paper Mario games, but I know all of them are good. Interesting. Hmm. Good game flavor chewing gum, not the quite thing the flavor disappears quickly. Yeah, yeah, it was chewing gum. You're like, ooh, this tastes good. Wait. Nope. Why didn't they just make this a puzzle game or an action game? Why are there still weird vestiges of RPG bolted on here that don't make sense? I was I was gonna say, I I, I from what I remember, I would feel like Thousand Your Door is aged better than the original, but No, I've never played Twilight. It certainly wasn't my intention to interfere with your case. However, a few things don't make sense. Leave the investigating to the police and go chase after that golden apple or whatever it is. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it. I'll find Simon's killer or that you... Of that you can't be sure. Hmm. Now, unless you have something else to say, I got work to do here. Understood. Good day, sir. That inspector has some nerve dismissing us like that. Like I said before, I don't like him one bit. Hmm. What do you say we go ask Ramon about yesterday, Luke? Let's go. Yeah, the platforming of Super Mario is the game. Avalon code. Mm. Excellent game. Mm. Got rid of the HP, FP, BS, and just made Super Mario a full pure platform giving the powers. That's the thing. Yep. I mean, I went on many, many... If you want my thoughts on Paper Mario, you should... Check out my my Origami King VODs. I spent a lot of time ranting and rambling about Paper Mario in there. The, my my v basic short version 
is that I really enjoyed 1 and 2. And every Paper Mario since then, I feel like it's just like... It feels like they still want to treat it like an RPG series, but then, you know, we've been told that they were told... The developers were told that they're not allowed to make new characters, and so everything became Toads. And then it felt like, well, they're like kind of trying to get away with it a bit in Origami King, but it just kind of sucked. And then Super Paper Mario does not have that problem. There's a ton of new original characters in, in Super, but they just didn't grab me. I wasn't a huge fan of the art style. Some parts of it I really liked, to be fair. But over the course of the whole game, I kind of got a little bit bored of it, rather. But look at him! Hey, Dan. Yeah, they turned out pretty good. The rant hour. I think there were several rant hours in those VODs. But Super was an RPG and that was annoying. But again, it, like the other ones, it has like weird little RPG things kind of attached to it that I feel like don't make a platformer more interesting. It's just like a weird distraction. I haven't played it since it came out and I beat it, but I haven't played it since then. So if I did do a stream of it, it would be with that in mind, but I don't know. Think about that nut. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about, let's talk for a moment. Evil guy, thanks for 39 months. New year, who dis? Thank you. Immerse creativity. I know. I know. I, 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 the, the, and I went into this in, in Origami King, so I'm not going to repeat myself too much. The thing that really gets my goat, though, is that the understanding, and I don't remember if this was, like, actually verbatim. I think it was just kind of hearsay. But the idea is that, well, we have Mario and Luigi. That's our sort of traditional RPG series. And they've had some weird decisions and missteps. But the Mario and Luigi games are RPGs, right? You never get the sense that it doesn't really know what it wants to be. They just kind of go in directions and add on gimmicks. And they seem to work better and worse in different contexts. Paper Mario, they don't know what to do with. And it's like, okay, they don't want to have two separate types of Mario RPGs. Even though Mario and Luigi and Paper Mario always felt like they had their own identities. They felt very unique. Uh, to each other, but Mario Luigi doesn't exist anymore. That that studio shut down. So if we get a new Mario Luigi game, it's not going to be the same developers. But we're still getting Pepper Mario games that still don't have an identity, other than what if Mario was flat? And uh, it's just kind of baffling that we still have not. They give us these weird little half steps away from Sticker Star and Color Splash. Like Origami King was like a half step. But it made me more mad because I'm like, you're not even like, like, what is this? It just, uh, yeah, it gets me. They went, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, if Mario's flat and the gameplay was flat, damn. There was an evil clown, more of a jester, but yeah. Yeah. Was Pimmer more, more popular than Mario and Luigi? I don't know. I don't know which one was more popular. What if he was popular? Good day, Ramon. How are you feeling today? Ramon. Fit as a fiddle now, Professor. Perhaps even as vivacious as a violin. <laughs> that awful fatigue from last week seems like it never happened. As you can see, I'm bursting with energy and my skin is soft as a baby's. I feel like a teenager again. A baby teenager. Is that so? It's good to hear. My Luigi haven't spoken. He doesn't seem to remember what happened yesterday, does he? He has no idea what happened. Hmm. Yeah, that's the thing, is, yeah, we have a lot of indie games. What if Crispy Rat was a Luigi? It, every now and then I forget that that movie's happening, and then I remember and I'm hit with this existential dread <laughs> that it permeates my soul. Man, I'm back! He's fine. What's our next move? Aliens. We shall respect the inspector's wishes and leave the murder case alone, Luke. It's as Inspector Chelmy said, solving crime is the police's job. Besides, something tells me that this case and the Golden Apple are more related than we suspect. That's the intuition of yours talking again, isn't it, Professor? First and foremost, we need to find a clue that will bring us closer to the Golden Apple. The entire rant. <laughs> Perhaps one of Baron Reynolds' relations or close friends can help point us in the right direction. Of course, there's also someone else. Let's see if the family butler has anything to say on the subject. Mm-hmm. The hunt begins! Finally time to start the search for the golden apple. Explore St. Mystere for clues. Yeah, I'm gonna save. Pog bones. Mm hmm For now. Oh god. <laughs> Don't get me started on that rant. I, there was a, a trailer for Arceus uh, a couple days ago. 
And boy howdy, does that game... Is that game rough on the eyeballs? Oy. See how it is when it comes out. I'm not planning to play it myself, but... I can't help but watch those trailers and be like, Ugh. Maybe the next trailer would be better. Ugh. Maybe one more trailer. Ugh. And it's like, it, well, I mean... It's not even just like, oh man, these polygons are small. Or these textures are low quality. There's like a distinct lack of art direction. It is baffling to me. It is an ugly game. And it... I'm smiling and I'm laughing about it. It brings me no joy. It sucks. It's just like, how? There's some shots of the terrain in the distance where like some of the trees are extremely bright and saturated and stand out from the background and the rest is all dull and muted. And it looks so weird. It doesn't look like a style. It looks like someone dropped in a prefab and forgot to change the asset. It's just, it's like bizarre. It's always the trees. The trees are hard. But there's a lot you can do to stylize trees and make them look more exciting. Mario 64 is better looking trees, and they're just 2D cutouts that rotate the face of the camera. But there's like a vision there, there's an art style, they're like, they're like it's just... Man, I don't know, it's baffling to me. No. They weren't allowed to see Fame Vegas ideas. I mean, I love the idea of like a historical Pokemon with wooden Pokeballs, that's real neat. Just don't know why they didn't push further into that idea. I don't know, maybe there's stuff that they're holding back on. They're like, actually, the rest of the game's great. We'll see. We'll see. <gasps> Doesn't work if it isn't consistent. Yep. Back so soon, Professor. Poke a guy. Gotta poke his bum. But only with explicit permission, poke a bum. Oh, he's my best friend, and I'm allowed to poke this guy. Poke this man. Matthew, I was wondering if you knew anything about the components in the direction of the golden apple. Matthew, anything you know that would be a great help? For example, did the Baron say anything before he passed away? Something ominous, mysterious, a code word, perhaps. I'm so sorry to disappoint you, Professor, but the Master never said anything of the sort to me. I'd very much like to help you in your search, but my duties here prevent me from leaving the grounds. If only Ingrid was around to provide some assistance. I beg your pardon, sir. Ingrid? No, sleep, no. It's been years since she left, but Ingrid used to work as a servant in the mansion. She was Flora's nurse, and she often helped me with my work. Matthew? Yes, madam, I'll be right there. Please excuse me, sir, the lady calls. If you're curious about Ingrid, why not pay her a visit and talk to her yourself? This time of day, I'd imagine she's out walking around by the general store. Please do me a favor and tell her that Matthew sends his regards. Certainly, I'll be sure to pass on your message. Thank you for all your help, Matthew. Isn't Ingrid that sweet old lady we passed by before? Indeed, we also saw her in that picture of young Flora. Come, Luke, let's go find the old girl. Off we go, then. The general store is just outside the mansion, right? We'll be there in no time. The place with the old bread and cheese? Excellent. Interested Pokemon not actually playing Pokemon games? That's kind of how I feel. I'm like, I'm interested in it, but not enough to buy it and play it. Nice. But I'm curious to hear Pokemon fans' thoughts once it's out. That's kind of where I'm at. I'm interested in talking about it, I'm interested in discussing it, but I don't want to play it. And I'm not going to be like, this is how I feel about it. I just want to hear from people who care and are invested and actually will pick up on the things different from game to game. Rather than me just being like, I don't know, I haven't really cared in a long time. That's what I do. What'd you do for a while? Uh, Ulrich's Workshop. Thank you for the 31 months. Big old thanks for all your fun streams and being my comfort VODs while I slept. Waking up at 5am to Sonic Lost World's fights. Sonic Lost World fights has been an interesting time. Have a brilliant last rest of the week. Thank you, Ulrich. Fargo. What do you call a lady who gets sucked into the Tron universe? Ingrid. Thank you for me. A DS on stream, hey, Pocket. It's a different long last time. Right, Joshua? I remember when they first were showing off Sword and Shield, a lot of us thought maybe this is them actually making a 3D Pokemon where you can walk around, and they're like, well, the Wild Zone is 3D. But the, the towns are just fixed perspective, and it's like, Mechanically, this is identical to the Game Boy. 
You just walk around the grid and talk to people. Go to shops. Like, it looked a lot better than the Game Boy, but I was like, I want a different kind of experience. I, I did play through Sword, and I didn't hate it. I enjoyed quite a bit of it, but I was just like, I'm good for another couple decades. I'm doing well, Pocket. But that's the idea behind someone like Ar Arceus. Arceus? Whatever it is. It's just like, look, look at this. It's all 3D. Yeah, we all thought it was. I don't think they were intentionally being misleading. It's just in the little snippets from the reveal trailers. It's like a little Arceus. Hard K. Mm-hmm. Steam and XD. Mm-hmm. Poke MMO. Oh, God. Yeah. Arceus. <laughs> Ingrid! There you are. What's that on the ground? What's that? They were testing, I bet. Yeah, they could have been. Planting a seed. What's that on the ground? It looks like a scrap of notepaper. What's it say, Luke? Well, let's see here. Ahem. It's just terrible. Lady Violet has an awful case of the flu and hasn't left her bed for days. I'm no doctor, so I can't think of any way to help her. Oh, what to do, what to do? Lady Violet. Oh, this journal must be talking about Baron Reynolds' first wife. My heart is heavy as I write these words. The loss of his wife has completely crushed the boss. If only there was something I could do to help. He walks around looking like he's had the wind knocked out of him. And that's the end. Gosh, whoever wrote this must have cared an awful lot for the Baron and his family. Hmm. Hmm. That reminds me. I need to see if I can find it. Um. There was a, um... Uh, 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 um, hold on, uh, da, 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 da. try to see if I find a quick web comic that I remember from a long time ago, it was by, um, it's an artist who goes by, uh, uh, GGDG, but back in the day, they used the username Hi, I'm Daisy. They made a lot of very, very good comics. Some of which were about Layton. I think their Metal Gear ones and their Persona 4 ones are more famous. But there were some very good ones about Layton. I'm struggling to find it. Um, at least not the one I am thinking of exactly. Um, ba 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 ba. Yeah, right? Oh, man. I can't find it. Well, okay. That's okay. Basically, it was just a comic of, um... What just happened, where Leighton finds a letter, and he's like, Oh, Luke, why don't you why don't you read this? And he keeps handing letters to Luke to read, and he's like, Professor, do... Wait. I found it. I think I found it. Yeah, there it is. All right. Great. Um. Look, Professor. A diary page. It must be a clue. Hmm. Luke, would you read this out loud? Leave it to me. Look, Professor. Another page. What does it say? Hmm. Luke, would you read this out loud? Sure, Professor. Uh. Look, Professor. Where do these pages keep coming from? Hmm. Luke, would you read this out loud? Professor, can, can you read? Luke, my boy, that reminds me of a simply smashing puzzle. <laughs> Sniff. I just think of this every time he says, like, Luke, why don't you read this? He's <laughs> just like, mm hmm, mm hmm. I'm doing the fight. Oh, oh, over there. Luke, why don't you give this a read? Anyway, yeah, those comics are great. And she's an incredibly talented artist. Who I think worked on Undertale and stuff, which is just awesome. Ugh. Oh goodness me! If it isn't Mr. Uh, Mr. Layabout, was it? The name's Layton, Madam. That's right, Mr. Layton. What can I do for you, sir? If you want to hear my wild theory about this game, whisper me and I'll tell it to you. If you're, not, if you're not allowed to tell me if I'm right. Fair enough, RJ. Mr. Layabout. You're right, Arch. <laughs> Whatever it is, you're right. Yeah, the Persona 4 comic, mm-hmm. As well as a bunch of Metal Gear Solid comics, um... And quite a few late in other random games and stuff. I think some other 3 ones as well. 
very funny. I I read all the Persona 4 comics, even though I never played Persona 4. Just I enjoy them so much. I saw someone reference F Steak earlier for crying out loud. Like, there you go. F Steak. They're definitely right. Excellent. <laughs> Earlier we were talking with the butler at Reinald Manor, and he mentioned you used to work there. We'd very much like to hear anything you might know about the Baron. Heavens me, you want to hear about the Baron? I'm afraid the only stories I have from when I worked at the Manor, and that was ages ago. That would be ideal, madam. Would you mind telling us one? Um... Into, like, the actual game focus? Oh, God. Um, if you look up, uh, Hi, I'm Daisy, one word... Like, Heem Daisy. Persona 4, it'll probably show up. Um, I... I played the first couple dungeons of Persona 5. I got up to... I got stuck on the boss of the, um, museum one, the artist. Uh, which is like the second one, I think. I got stuck on that boss with a lot of paintings. It kicked my butt. And I took a break from it, and then... Eventually I was gonna go back to it, but then, um... Bath, my fiancé started playing Persona 5, and I watched them play through most of the game. I missed a, a couple afternoons of them playing through it, but, yeah. It's only the second dungeon, uh, yeah, Madarami. But it is, that, that felt like it was pretty far, not, it wasn't far into the game as a percentage, but, like, it was many, many hours to get to that point. I was playing a lot of that game. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I only played a bit, but I've seen almost all of it, if that makes sense. But I haven't played or seen the other Personas that much. Anyway, uh, the Baron is former wife. It's a big game. Yeah. 131 hours. I think Bath spent about 80 or 90 hours and didn't even 100% it. It's nuts. Three days a day. You're right! Seven palaces? Yeah. Does Bath SoundCloud not work? They might have changed their username or something? Does that link not work? That link doesn't work. Um, real quick. I think it's linked from their Twitter. Um, bum, 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 bum. Yeah, it's just soundcloud.com slash bath and jam. You mind updating that for me, game? The SoundCloud uh, link it should just be slash bath and jam like this. Yeah, bath uses they, them. Or I think uh, she, they is also. Acceptable. Yeah, Twitter says she, they. So just kind of whatever you feel like doing. No, fine. <laughs> Persona 4 Golden references stake in a new social link. English and Japanese. That's, an, that's amazing. It's excellent. Yeah, Bath hasn't really been streaming a lot lately, but... They've been busy. Uh, in a way, Master Reinhold and his wife would carry on. They almost seem to be like children. You'd never seen a man so in love as Master Reinhold was. Steak. When he, she passed away, Flora was all the Baron had to remember her by. So he raised that little girl with all the love a child could want. The things he'd bring home for her. Toys from all over the world and teddy bears as big as yourself. He was in high spirits in those days. He really wanted to give her two parents worth of affection. Oh my god. So where is Flora gone? Your guess is as good as mine, sir. I have no clue where that girl went. She left the mansion well after I stopped working for the Reynolds. Some say Lady Dahlia put Flora on the street to keep the family riches to herself, but that's nonsense. After all, the Baron cared about Flora so much, I can't imagine that he allowed something like that. You know, you just reminded me. The grave of the Baron's late wife is located in the manor garden. I wonder who takes care of it now. The Baron's former wife is buried in the garden? Thank you, madame. You've been extremely helpful. Luke, let's head back to the manor. I have a hunch that the grave might hold the clue we've been looking for. Come on, Luke, grab a shovel. We're digging up a body today. Professor? This is apparently the bit in... in persona. If you drop the word beef from it, you don't get any sense of what it's made of. It should be like steak. Which is a reference to the comic that we were talking about. Yosuke and Ryuji can go fuck themselves. How dare you? F steak. F steak. <laughs> that is amazing. Uh, no. The original. 
Oh, oh, this is what the reference is to. Thank you. Hey, boys and girls, it's Shadow Teddy's Existential Kids Corner. The word of the day is futile, as in your futile existence has no meaning. Chie, do you know any other words that start with F? F steak? Excellent. These comics are amazing, and I recommend you check them out. <laughs> Go. fan comics yeah the the uh the metal gear ones they're called like let's destroy metal gear let's destroy the shago hod they're excellent definitely some level of inspiration for me when i did the kingdom hearts stuff just kind of like the approach to like the, the, the sort of intense energy of just like what is happening a lot of those comics have characters that are just like here's what's happening now and they're like uh-huh Okay, are you sure? And they're like, uh-huh. Yep, this is where we're at narratively. And they're like, okay. It's very fun. Recommend. Let's go back. You know, press your name. I mean, I'm just assuming. What are you doing over there, sir? He's just jamming. Look at him go. He's doing like the little Snoopy dance. What are you doing, sir? Can I help you? What are you doing? I mean, I would just assume that a... Uh, I'm assuming Chie is like... I don't even know. I'm assuming it's a Japanese name or like a nickname or something. But I would not expect that to be pronounced like Chi. So. Which is more convoluted and silly than Metal Gear Solid or Kingdom Hearts? Kingdom Hearts. 100%. Metal Gear Solid is perhaps more convoluted at times, but always, almost always, manages to wrap itself up with a bow. Might be a few loose ends where you're like, eh, that's fine. But from my experience, Kingdom Hearts is often convoluted in a way that doesn't unravel cleanly. But also, it's much sillier. It's not true. Mugger is as out of control as Kingdom Hearts. I'm just as more characters, folks. Not to shout on. Have you seen 4 and 5? Yeah, I played them. Four solved a lot of two shenanigans. Yeah. Two left a lot of shenanigans in its wake. Not for lack of trying. That's like, it's like, typically the most nonsensical parts of Melgar Solid, by the end of the game, you're like, okay. Maybe I'm more confused about 30 things, but those two giant what's are made more logical for me. The shenanigans weren't meant to be solved. I see the comparison, I think you're both wrong. I mean, that's also part of the problem, is that you're, you're comparing, um... a uh, 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 Disney-ified shonen fantasy babble with over-the-top military-industrial complex fan fiction with a heavy sprinkling of anime on top. There are some analogs, but they're drastically different, and... My, my, my take as someone who is admittedly not a big fan of Kingdom Hearts, I love it for how much it makes me confused and mad. Oh, well, I don't know how often Metal Gear contradicts itself, but there's a lot more, like, metaphor kind of stuff with Kingdom Hearts that ends up becoming literal. Um, but I feel like with, with the Metal Gear games, they have a... They have a- there's like a pop culture conception around Metal Gear Solid that they're extremely nonsensical and convoluted. And it's true! There's a lot of bullshit and a lot of nonsense and it is very convoluted as you're playing the game. I've long maintained the idea that as a dry, top-down explanation, you can sum up most Metal Gear Solid games very quickly. And if I were to hypothetically, hypothetically, asterisk, make something like a good enough summary of Metal Gear Solid or Metal Gear, I would include the nonsense and the twists because that's the fun of it. To just top down go, here's what happened, X, Y, Z, in order, done, would be like, well, okay. Whereas I feel like Kingdom Hearts, you can explain exactly what happened and it's still completely ridiculous. And that's what's magical about it. You know what I mean? And there's some some stuff in Metal Gear where it's like, even if you're like, here's what this character did and their motivations, you're like, that's stupid and makes no sense. And that is correct. That character is stupid and makes no sense. But generally, I think more often than not, 
things kind of shake out in a way that you're like, uh, I guess I can be satisfied with that. That's fine. Making enough slurry milk. Mm hmm. There is a right for the conversation, the argument around King Mart's dumb contradiction. Ha, huh? make no sense ever informs what people think about more than the actual game itself. Well, that's also true of Melgar Slot at this point as well. I think both games are kind of burdened by the the uh, the consensus being formed around them already. No, thank you, Drongo. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, it, the moment I don't want to get into any kind of spoilers for either of the franchises, but to 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 be like I, that. This is why I cannot say Melgar Slot makes perfect sense and the character is irrational because all you have to do is look at Al Ocelot. And everything explodes. <laughs> He's single-handedly. He's not even the only one, but single-handedly, Ocelot takes anything. Thank you. Appreciate it. Ocelot takes any single aspect of anything. Melgar, you're like, what? 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 Ocelot is a lot. I don't know how you could unpack Ocelot as a character. And if you've only watched my streams, and that's your only experience with Melgar Solid, in Melgar Solid 1, Ocelot's just a weird guy. He likes guns, gets his hand chopped off. That's kind of his whole arc. <laughs> like, not a lot happens. And then you have a little, uh, uh, post credit stinger with him. Whenever I get around to streaming MGS2, which I would love to do at some point, you will you will get a better sense of just how immediately off the rails Ocelot becomes his character. And then there's several games on top of that. So it's just... Yeah. Anyway. Well, look, it's Matthew. Right. Let's go rob a grave. Good day, Professor! You could say the same like Hammer's one. That's fair. Ocelot is just what? <laughs> Ocelot is, um, entirely... Nonsense. So, so no, I, I, oh, excuse me. I love talking about this kind of stuff, but yeah, we gotta move on. And also, ideally, I would have Gam in a call and we could yell at each other about it instead of me talking and then Gam furiously typing and be like, hold on, no, wait, hold on, which is, of course, entirely valid. I totally understand where Gam's coming from, but it's a debate I'd rather have over a call rather than via text slowly. So, MGS2 is a hoot and a holler. And, um, I, I again recommend the HDQ run of, um, the first chapter of, of MGS2. Even if you've never played MGS2, it's not going to spoil anything other than snakes on a boat. Um, but as a, it's a blindfolded run of the tanker of MGS2, which is awesome. <laughs> it's so cool. You see Mickey Mouse face and clothes and concludes makes no sense at all and is filled with retcons. I'm going to go get some Natala <laughs> crackers. Get some snacks. Get have a good snack. Gundam and the various side stories are full of plasma. There's just gonna make zero sense. Yeah. Yeah. Matthew's been waiting for so long. Good day, Professor. Were you able to track down Ingrid? Yes, we did. In fact, we were just speaking with her. I mean, no disrespect, but she said the grave of the Baron's late wife lies on these grounds. Do you have any knowledge of this? Lady Violet's grave, sir. I was just about to visit it myself. Would you mind if we came along to take a look and maybe dug around in there a little bit? Not in the slightest, right this way. And there it is. Here's the entrance, sirs. Please watch your step on the way in. In? Oh no, it's a tomb. This is Lady Violet's grave. Gosh, this place is really nice. It's not creepy at all. The late Baron, rest his soul, told me to keep this place in proper order, and I have tried to do so. Time heist, no. Maybe. Here lies Violet, my one true love. I'm sure Lady Dahlia loves to hear that. This statue looks so much like Lady Dahlia, it's hard to believe it's someone else. Back when Flora was just a tiny little thing, Lady Violet used to take her to the park in town. Some of the flowers in the garden grew from the ones Flora planted here for her mother. I forgot to tell you about the Baron's journal. It should still be on the desk in Madame's room. It's possible that it might contain some information that could aid your search for the golden apple. My thanks, Matthew. I'll be sure to give it a once-over later. Now then, Luke, we'd best head back to Reinhold Manor. Let's go. Time heist is imminent. I love playing through Forgotten City. That was great. Put me in there. Back to the apple and the kidnappings? Yeah, we're back to the apple. Because the kidnapping turned out to not really be a kidnapping. He's fine. Um, murder still happened, though, but that's for the police. So, yeah, we're back to, uh... Figuring stuff out on our own. Is that it? Whoa. This must be the journal that Matthew spoke of. I have to admit, he seems to know where everything in the manor is. There's something about reading someone else's journal that just doesn't seem proper to me. 
However, the investigation must continue, so... Why don't you read this, Luke? The craftsmanship of it is simply remarkable. It reminds me of my sweet Violet when she was alive. What do you suppose it refers to? Flora doesn't look like... Do Flora doesn't like the thing at all. I've seen her run away from it on multiple occasions. Recently, she spends more time playing by dear Violet's grave than anywhere else. I'm sad to say I doubt Vi Flora will ever take to it. I can't blame her, as I've changed its memory. I felt terrible forcing that change on Flora, but I just couldn't bear to see it like that anymore. Violet, there can never be another you. You are my first, my last, and my only. Changed its memory? I'm not sure what the Baron means, but this is clearly vital information here. I collapsed some days ago and have been bedridden ever since. I feel as if I failed Flora as a father. I can only hope that when I am gone, the people of the village look after Flora and care for her as I did. He must have been terribly ill. It seems I'm not long for this world, and the time has come for me to say goodbye to my little Flora. I have left everything in Bruno's care now. Flora, I pray you find happiness in this life. I've disclosed the location of the secret place in a note that I've left with an old friend. It is my most fervent hope that the seeker of the golden apple finds it and grants my dearest wish. Professor? Baron Reinhold's old friend. We must seek out this person, Luke. But Professor, how can we possibly find this person with nothing but this journal to go on? Haha, <laughs> it's like I always say, Luke. Any good investigation starts on the street. We'll just have to ask everyone in town about the matter. What? I mean, of course, you're absolutely right, Professor. Let's get to it. Of course, any good investigation also needs direction. Let's start by asking Ingrid a few questions. She seems to know a great deal about Baron Reinhold. No, off we go, then. Oh, hello there. You're allowed to be lost. I was lost when I first played this. Everyone in chat who thinks you're figuring out, just you wait. Oh, Professor, you just simply have to help me. I've got another puzzle on my hands I just can't solve. As a man of the world, you know there's nothing women find more alluring than competence. I'm counting on you, sir. Don't do me to an eternal bachelorhood. Or just maybe it was the butler did it. Usually the butler did it. Pinboard shapes. The cross shape on the pin board below is nine pins inside and, nine, and 16 pins outside it. Remember that example because now it's your turn to construct a shape on the board. Can you create a cross that is 17 pins inside and 16 outside? Make it any size you like. Do anything about it? We'll check it after stream. Thank you. Um. Um. 17 pins inside, huh? Um. What if I just make a wide cross? Make it wide. Oh, that's far too many. Wait. Huh? Wait, huh? So it's nine pins inside, 16 outside. And he makes 17 pins outside, inside and 16 outside? No, it's possible. Four nine pins total. You need 17 inside, 16 outside. Might have to make chat wide for this one. I might need to. Hold on, we're gonna pull off a dangerous maneuver. Hold on to something! Oh god. There you go. That no, doesn't help at all. That's a lot more. Ah! Sorry, you're too wide. Alright, I'll put you back. Oops. Better? I ordered pizza. Max lazy. Hell yeah, Dan. Oh, what should I get for dinner? And is it pizza? Uh, Snail Physics, thanks for 15 months, by the way. Thank you. Hope you're doing well. That's super valid. Dan, it's GDQ week. If there is a week to just lay on the couch and do nothing, it's GDQ week. A lot of different energies in different contexts. It does. I have tip if want. I want! Want tip. Please receive to me. Um, what if we do a diagonal? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Did I do it? Did I solve it? Oh, Pedro. 
did I do it? So, in the inside, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, done! Ugh. Luke, here's my answer. Don't point at me, Layton! God damn it! What did I Another say to you? Puzzle solved. That's fine. You can point at me, Layton. You're so smart and handsome. The puzzle's a cinch once you figured it out. Says the game. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, old boy. With this puzzle solved, I feel I've drawn one step closer to the altar. Ooh, a wall clock. I love telling the time, Professor. When I look at the time, I know that I'm not just alone with my thoughts. And time is progressing. I'll be taking that. Thank you, boy. All right, Professor. Hey, you there. From from Scotland Yard. Mr. Layton, you have some skill at solving puzzles, yes? I once cracked a case by solving a puzzle left behind on a note I found hidden at the crime scene. See how you fare against it. Mm hmm. You can point at me if you want. The mysterious note. A detective who was mere days from cracking an international smuggling ring has suddenly gone missing. While inspecting his last known location, you find a note. The note appears to be nothing more than a series of numbers, but your gut instinct tells you this note will reveal the name of the crime kingpin. Currently, there are three suspects in the case, Bill, John, and Todd. Can you break the detective's code and find the criminal's name? Hmm. 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 Ba da dum ba dum. Ba da dum. Ba da da ba dum. Bill is boss, he sells oil. Ba da dum. Da ba ba da da da. It's Bill. Bill! That one. Bill is boss. Nah! Did it. It's a lot easier on a handheld. Because you can just flip it around. That's right. Oh, look at him go. Nice. Maybe he just has bad handwriting. You picked up the note upside down. Didn't think about that, did you? It seems the rumors touting your skill weren't totally unfounded. But don't go getting any ideas. Do the smart thing and leave the detective work to me. In the meantime, you can occupy yourself by searching for the golden apple. A painting scrap? Did I? Did I ever? Did I get any more uh, I mean, this stuff? My, I say this inn is really quite pleasant. Don't you agree, Luke? Oh, I don't know, Professor. Really wish I had some furniture. Yes, yes. Now keep, keep down. I hear you through the wall. Oh, all right. <laughs> Good work. <laughs> get more stuff from my room. See you later. No, don't flip around. You have to hold it like this. Yeah, it's part of the thing. Um, how's this? Um, no. Wait, that connects. Cool. Um, um, I can't tell if this is twisted around the wrong way or not. Um. That's fine. I have lost my mind years ago. Some of y'all don't diva 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 and it fucking shows. It fucking shows. Thanks for that, Fargo. Oh, Professor, how fortunate that you're here at a time like this. I have a favor to ask of you. Please, Madam, ask away. I'm happy to come to your head in any way I can. Thank you, Professor. Could you solve this puzzle for me? I'm not feeling up to the challenge. It won't solve itself. Oh my god, Layton's the internet. And I'm Dahlia. How old is mom? Our father and son are having a conversation. The father turns to the son and says, You know, son, there was a time when your old man was twice the age of your mother. What? 
Of course, the next year I was only one and a half times her age, but still, that's pretty amazing, eh? If the father's 44 years old, how old is the mother? Well, it must have been when they were young that he's talking about. Um, this time map. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, first we need to figure out what time he was talking about, and then extrapolate to how old they are now. 43. Um, the time when I was twice the age of your mother. Next year, I was only one and a half times her age. So, let's say he was, it was like, 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 like six and three or something, right? She was three, he was six. And that's, that's one and a half times. Done. Done. So, she's three years younger. 41. Next question. That should do it. Shit. Frankly, I'm ashamed. My confidence was misplaced. You're currently in the whole story. Father's choosing his words very carefully. Yeah, well, uh, hmm. When he was two, she was one? Big br- Fuck. Um. Father's this is five years in. Father's next year is only one and a half times her age. Oh! Oh, I went the wrong way around. Yeah. So, if she was, if it was one and two, twice, that's one and a half times. I don't know how to math. So, one year younger, so this is 43. Nope. Three. You know, son, Luke, numbers really do. Answer. Oh, God. Brain and... Critical thinking is the key to success. Brain and... Everything starts to make sense. Who's the person reading the comic about the father and son? Who is it? What a relief! I can finally stop thinking about that silly puzzle. You have my thanks. A splendid painting, wouldn't you say, Luke? What's it look like, Professor? You'll never know, will you? All right, Professor. That's fine, I suppose. Talk to Ingrid. Well... Are you algebraing, son? Ingrid, what are you doing here? You don't work here anymore. Get out of here. Oh, look who it is. Professor Layton, was it? The name's Layton, madam. Oh, that's right, Professor Layton. All that talking about the mansion we did last time got me reminiscing, so I decided to stop by for a visit. Enough about me. By the look on your face, it seems that you have something you want to ask me. As a matter of fact, I do. Do you happen to know who Baron Reinhold considered his close friends? His friends, you say? Well, he wasn't exactly what you'd call a social butterfly. I'm sorry, that's really all I knew of his friends. They didn't have any. Oh, wait a moment. I do believe I saw that Zeppony fellow vis pay a visit to the mansion a few times. Professor, could she be referring to that man we met by the same name? Yes, that gentleman with the fancy little mustache. We should ask if he knows anything. I would wager he's still hanging about about the fork in the road just beyond the clock tower. Oh, we must go. Post haste, Luke. Post haste. Yeah, let me go. Yeah, all right. Does anyone call anyone a social butterfly? Yeah, I've heard the phrase before. Um, let's see. How are we doing on our mysteries? We've solved all of them, right? Oh my God, that's a lot of mysteries. Tiny Cogs, Lady Dahlia, she didn't have a baby, abductions, towers rumbling, the hell's up with Ramon, there's two other mysteries, we haven't solved a single one of these, the crank's missing, oh god, a social mosquito, <laughs> oh no, oh no, there's so many of these, just give me a, I'll make, mark all his red button, oh my god, there's eight pages, Oh, no. No, I don't care. That's fine. Um, wow, Luke. I really must say, this inn is much nicer than I first thought. Oh, Professor. That's lovely, Professor. At least I got you, Mr. Bear. What's that? You have a thing? Who said you're allowed to have a thing? That's better. Much nicer. Thank you, Luke. Now yeah, you can have it. That's so sad. Kill a bit. No, he's fine. Luke loves it. Um, I'm going to save? 
Mr. Pogbones. And we are going to be done for now. Uh, I need to stop streaming and go have dinner and turn off my brain. God, I had to think for about five seconds today. Thanks to you all, I didn't have to think for as long as I originally thought I'd have to. But thank you, everyone. I hope you enjoyed Layton. If you want me to continue this and or finish it, if I continue it, I would finish it. Uh, let me know. Would definitely be a good time. Um, starting with the slang puzzle. Oh, God. Why would you make me do that? Um, ba 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 who has been very gracious to raid us a couple times. He's playing some Deep Rock Galactic with Ricky Simmons, apparently. Who's the voice of Gurr? So that sounds like a good time. Um, go throw some, go, go throw some, uh, uh, some pog bones over there or something. Yes, you can pog bones. Yes, you may. <laughs> yes, I will do that swear. Well. I, I don't check it like all the time, but certainly in between games and stuff. Not the same as Rick. I think it's Ricky Simons. And I misspoke. Have a good day and a good night. Thank you, everyone. Appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed that thunk and thunk. I'm very happy with how they turned out. They're really good. Um, I guess quickly, before the raid goes, I can share the uh, larger art so you can see them a bit better. Um, bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. Wait. There he is. God, the man doesn't have a single thought. It's literally me going, I've got it, doesn't actually got it. Um, yeah, yeah, Romans, when I was working on it, there, I had friends on a call, and they were like, it looks like one of the Wind Waker kids. And I originally drew Luke, um, because he actually has, like, white irises. Um, but didn't really scale down his Nemo, because I mean, I'm really small. So he also has the same, look at him! He doesn't, God. Maybe he'll have a thought. Maybe at some point. This is real good. Anyway, go enjoy some uh, 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 Deep Rock Galactic. See you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you later. Goodbye. Oh! Fall Watchers, don't think for a second I forgot about you. Hope you enjoyed these janky DS times. Hopefully they weren't janky. Hopefully you're like, this is great. If you have any feedback on what you would like, other than maybe having this screen, but swapping the bottom and top screens that people mentioned, I'd love to hear it. If you have feedback on this weird wide overlay thing, it's a whole thing. Uh, so take care. Thank you for watching and everything. And hope you're being good. And good luck with that revolution or whatever the Vibe Watchers are planning. Bye!